Did you see it? I, I really enjoyed that. We had Hoyt, Hoyt uh, Holt in here, the lead, and uh, I liked that uh, mm. show a lot. I chose not to watch that one. No? Instead, I watched the Paris Hilton show last night. Ah. Because yes, we have Paris Hilton coming in. What the fuck happened to us? Yeah, We're getting real celebrities coming in finally. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, this one I guess we've been waiting for, huh? Yeah, for a while. Yeah. And then uh, Roland and I were wandering around the neighborhood yesterday, and he's hinting that there's a big A-lister coming on the show Tuesday. Oh, yeah. Did he tell you? Yeah. Are we allowed to announce it? Probably not. Not yet? Yeah. Big A-lister. It all started with Brooke Shields. That's what he says. That that was a big one, and I just wanted to take full credit for that. Brooke Shields uh, turned 46 yesterday. I just wanted credit for something positive. Well, Mm. there you go. You get the credit. She was blowing out (laughs) candles in the paper this morning. You know what? uh, I I might just want to ask Paris... Nothing more than does Nicole Richie know where the clay head is from <laughs> Lionel Richie's video? Hello, I, I don't back know. in the uh, day, you know the it, big clay head. It's funny because <laughs> I, I don't think she gets along with Nicole Richie anymore. Because why? She would have been part of that show, but she grew up with her, right? Yeah, and they, yeah, yeah. And that reality show they did, I have no problem admitting, I liked the Nicole Richie Paris Hilton show. That whole dynamic, Simple Life. Was it called Simple I Life? Simple Life. I kind of liked it. It was goofy and stupid. And Nicole Richie's a, f- f- she's funny, man. But I asked Nicole Richie about that when we had her, right? But now I want to know because if Paris and Nicole grew up together. You know, maybe she knows where the big clay head is. Possibly. And, and you know, th- a little more uh, stories about the big clay Lionel Richie head that the blind girl made. Is that all you're going to ask her? Uh, nah, I'll ask her a few other things, you know. we got to ask her about Kim Kardashian. We'll keep it all on the QT now, you know, because they're listening. I want it to be, like, kind of spontaneous. <laughs> yeah, they're... The big uh, clay head. Supposedly, the they're, clay. supposedly they're listening to us to make sure we're, it's kinda, we're on the up and up. Wait, the yeah. big clay head has its own Facebook page? Why yeah. wouldn't it? The clay head from the Lionel Richie hello video. Uh, 8,606 <laughs> 8, people like it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, come on. Wow. That's great. That's great. Is look at, look at the big clay. Like <laughs> it does look a little like Gaddafi there. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's funny. They're stretching a little bit. But that's, all right. uh, no, it looks well, like it looks like Jaws from uh, oh from James from Bond. Bond movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah Superman yeah. two. A little bit. So yeah, that's a good one. All right. Well, we have Paris Hilton later. That's very cool. Did everyone shower and, and put on their nice shirts today? Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was down. just. <laughs> I have a photo with her, and I'm. I, I just. What? I don't look good in it. You look fine. You look. You do look good in that. One. I look unshaven. You look good in that one. My grays are poking through. <laughs> yeah. How many years ago was that? I want to say two and a half. She was being interviewed at the other uh, Time Warner facility, and uh, Iraq called me, so I went over there. I didn't shave. I didn't either. I wanted I to think we were rugged. rugged. Yeah. So Paris Hilton's going to be here at nine thirty. <laughs> Can't wait. Where is she now? Is she flying from, from Paris? <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I sh- wish. <laughs> She's got a show called The World According to Paris. Yes. It started last night at 10 on the it's, Oxygen Show. Oh, it certainly did. I'm kind oh, of big. amazed that we're talking to Paris Hilton today. Uh, yeah. Uh, she likes to that? flirt, by the way. We're a mover and a shaker these days. We sure are. Tell you. You know guys have stalked her? She's had a lot of creeps. Really? I mean, it's a, it's a, it, it makes you really... Like, I hate stalkers. Yeah. And, uh... Really? Fuck, man. Um... Do you? Uh, Has she gone away? Hi. I uh, just want to say um, I don't want to hear from you again. Unless it's good for me. Um, no, I haven't heard a peep. That means you found somebody else. Thank God. Some, some, Probably, found somebody right? else. Good. Good for you. It's usually how it There's happens, somebody else going, what do I do? Pass the tape on to someone else. <laughs> Let them watch it. It's the only way you survive. <laughs> it's probably some guy that you gave the number out. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. said, you know what? She doesn't seem that bad. Doesn't seem that <laughs> bad. This, and I was like, <laughs> fuck! <laughs> I can't stop this! Now this guy's in hell somewhere. Oh, yes. I would love to know who it is. Oh, exactly. I, I hope he comes forward, dude. The why do you keep uh, <laughs> uh, texting me? <laughs> Probably some fucking cock blocker, you know. Go, oh, that, you and it's a dick, man. Oh yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And now he's just yeah, like, oh, he's bro. Uh, fuck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
All right, Chop Chop, we're going to do Paris Hilton soon. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll do some more shit before that. I don't wow. Know. Wow, I got to tell you. But you think she's going to have a lot of people with her? Fuck She yeah. has a pretty big entourage. Yeah, she'll have yeah. five-person entourage. I think. You think it's a five-person entourage? And she has to have security. Security. They're she all going to be poking their fucking faces in the window. Fuck yeah. And there's going to be people outside the building today. She can't go anywhere. I'm going to jump on yeah. her like old Jesse Dixon. <laughs> she legitimately needs security, though. We got yeah, celebrities yeah, coming yeah, and going yeah. in this building all the time and there's never people outside every once in a while for wrestlers or kind of like the pop stars but there'll be people outside she's gonna have her. what do you think a publicist paparazzi oh, security paparazzi will be right? outside. publicist uh, maybe even two publicists Ooh. uh she'll definitely have secure one security security photographer a photographer she'll have five people with her and an assistant and obviously. an assistant right the p personal assistant and mm. uh maybe somebody else from uh a network rep too Publicist? Oh, from NBC or something. Is it on NBC, she's the show? On. No, oh, no, no, no. Uh, Oxygen. Oxygen. Somebody from Oxygen will be with her. A publicist, security, a mm. photographer, and an assistant. I'm going to guess five. And they didn't try They didn't try that rule shit with us, which is good. Why? So. They don't talk about something? Well, or we get that, that from or... time to time. We've talked about that. Uh, really? They didn't oh. try the rule shit with us. Well, there's one. Oh. oh, there is one. You want to jot it down there? Uh, can, can I know? guess? Uh, I'll, I'm gonna guess. It's too. gonna be. Uh, I'm gonna guess too. Here it is. Okay, hold on. match game time. I already know it. Oh, there. Thanks. Wasn't there a noise when you put the paper in the slot? Bing. Wasn't there? Oh, Bing. Was yeah, it something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think it was. All right. Do we have a match? There's Fanny Flag. We're just waiting for her to finish typing this pull out. her no, fucking from your reaction, butt ready? plug out of her ass. And the answer is yes. Well, I am going with yes. We have, match. we have matches. Wait, wait, wait. Why did he write it that way? Wait, did you write it that way? No, Why I just wrote. It that way? I just wrote oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah, I should have just put that. <laughs> like no one could figure that out. Jesus Christ. We'll get there. Yeah, of course yeah. we will. We always get there. Of course we'll get there. we will. I have to pink. Uh, I was going to say pee or tinkle. So I have to have pink. To pink sock yourself. I have to pink sock myself. <laughs> yes, I have a portable fist I carry. And I sit on it and it expands in my anus and I pull it out angrily, like a Molly bolt. <laughs> they call that the old Brock Lesnar. <laughs> <laughs> pull out a foot of colon. Oh, poor Brock. I know. Just poor fella. Chop it off like Play-Doh coming out of the Play-Doh Fun Factory <laughs> with that plastic knife they gave you. Look, a star. <laughs> I used to love that smell of Play-Doh. Play-Doh is good, yeah. Do they still make that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I want some Play-Doh. I like the smell of Play-Doh's retreat. <laughs> Holy shit. Can I write something down? <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Oof. Oh, go, go, go. my God. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, that's <laughs> the worst catastrophe I've ever seen. Oh, the humanity. Wow. I'd like to, like to crack your head open with a fucking Play-Doh. <laughs> Tectonic Plato. <laughs> Tectonic Plato. <laughs> oh my you. God. <laughs> Oof. Oh, the huge manatee. <laughs> That's hilarious. And it's That's a giant a manatee a crashing manatee. into the tower there. With nah, but that's supposed to be uh, a, a blimp. That's not a. Right, right, right. Yes. It's spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting this suggested on my Twitter right now. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, let's see. Oh boy, that would cause major uh, rift, I think. Yeah, in what yeah. community? The Roland community. Yeah, in the Roland community. It'd be bad for us, and it would accomplish. Well, nothing. do we like Roland? Is what we have to ask. No, uh, some right. days. Hey, Roland's really funny when he's dropping fake coffee on people. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, we'll, we'll, nah, we'll be cool. Yeah. Because I know they're listening. They're a little worried about us. How are they listening? We'll be fine. I don't know. They're not listening if they're driving a, a BMW X6. Yeah. Or if they're, they're listening to the online feed. <laughs> Fuck. Did they, was that solved at all? We brought it up in the meeting. We sure did bring we it up. We know that a lot of people are having problems with the online feed. Yes. Uh, it just it, it goes to shit. It cuts out. And, and for some reason, it's only our show. But uh, Seems to be. That's yeah. what a lot of people say. And then I, yesterday... I 
after we had our meeting and we were talking about it, mm -hmm. it cut out completely. <laughs> it just completely shut it, off. In the middle of telling the guys it's yeah. a problem. Yeah, yeah. Our Twitter's <laughs> exploded. When we were talking to yeah. Steve, we said the online feed there's a problem with, and he said, uh, and I quote, there's an online feed? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So I don't know if we're getting anything done here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, he, just, he, wasn't, he wasn't really up on the computer stuff. He thought I said online feet. You know, because it's... <laughs> it's, wow. it's... Wow. This is it sounds just, like It sounds like this feet. This is fucking Dresden. <laughs> sounds like... Holy no, no, but it's, it, it sounds like feet. <laughs> I meant F E A T. Oh my <laughs> God. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I think we all better. Oh, uh, no, no. Take we a got piss. St Steve's got a good question. Steve. Yes. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Steve. Yes. Who, why am I with a partridge? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. yes. I used to sing that theme song when I would see another man's penis. Come on, get happy. <laughs> Come on, get happy. A whole lot of loving is what will be given. <laughs> will make you happy. I'm a producer for Danny Bonaducci. <laughs> yes. First, first day on his on the job, uh, he was he was asked, you know, it's not important who you used to work for. <laughs> yeah, on the that's that fear of mentioning oh, the other show names. I know. How weird is that? Do you think Susan Day would be a cam girl? <laughs> <laughs> you think she'll wear the Foundry yeah. Music yes. T-shirt? Maybe we could get Shirley Jones to insert a Foundry logo into her. <laughs> Anus. Yes. With yes. some kind of industrial music in the background. <laughs> yes. Everybody. <laughs> yes. Here is singing Foundry. Together with Danny Bonaduce. <laughs> I could. Oh. I, I weigh as much as five <laughs> of us. <laughs> Yes. Reuben. <laughs> yes, uh. that reminds me of what I called my anus. It's, it's a Reuben cum cave. Reuben cum That was either going to get a zero or an 11. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, when we're eating. Uh... That's great. <laughs> Poor oh, Steve. Getting a communique. Hold on a second. <laughs> I think I fucked you. I put on a foundry logo. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get surgery. <laughs> <laughs> put on my lame Brian dress. And you can hear me singing. When we're scrolling. <laughs> Scroll, 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 scrolling and scrolling. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, how about that? Mm. Meet everybody. Being together when the pendulum swings the other way. Yeah, he's still on there. When when was yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I got I got a communicate from Roland. Oh, we can announce the A-lister that's coming in next week, and we'll do that after the break. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, oh Steve's still here. Steve. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yes. Uh, I just want to make sure that you treat Paris Hilton like a normal guest and don't start fawning all over her and freaking out over her. And, and just treating her and kissing her ass because it really gives me the douche chills every time. Yeah. Yeah, because we get scared when pretty girls are around, right? Well, no, it's not that. It's, you have to remember that I'm driving in my car, and I'm not hypnotized by her hotness like you guys are in the studio. So she's still done with, and everything that she says is just what 
you know, Paris Hilton would say. She's not the type that's going to get me like Gaga and Why, stuff. Man? I don't know. It's she's just, fucking hot. I think yeah, she's but very, it's not, the, it's not sexy. that. It's not that type. Just because Steve's a queer and doesn't find women. Yeah. Uh, uh, don't, don't ruin it for everybody else there, Steve. No, she's not that type, though. Why? No, it's just that you guys. I have a type that drives me like. Is, is her feet too, gog, gog, is her feet too big? She's got um, big feet. Yeah, there's something going on there, but she's also. There's just something that. She's got it's pouty that, lips. It's that um, kind of blondish. She's got the big eyes. Thing that very she's got that Russian stripper whore look. That yeah, yeah, that, that is annoying just by looking at. That's her. That's pretty much it. You Let's guys, go to break. You guys just are wreck crazy. this. <laughs> I have to when she anyway. walks in that door, we're all going to admit she's fucking stunning. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not exactly. saying that, but it's not the type that drives. You could me say like, it's not your type, but you're going to go, wow, she's stunning. No, 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 no. You're misunderstanding. It's not the type that makes me get all goofy. I think it's gonna. It's the type. I think, she, I think she's hot as fuck. I think she's, she's so good looking. You're, you're gonna be, but not the type that back. gets me goofy. What's, what is Steve saying? No. Oh, nothing. Your type has a vagina and breathes, uh, Anthony. Why? Exactly. Your fucking your phone sucks, dude. Yeah. What, dude? What happened? I'm what you, sorry. Steve what'd you say? Said, what? We didn't hear you. Listen, listen. she's hot. Yes, we hot. heard yeah. you. Shut up. Exactly. <laughs> Don't worry about what we're going to do in the interview. We're going to yeah. do what we do best, which is not do a good interview. Right. <laughs> exactly. No, right. We'll be nice to her. She's, I, I'm not going to be mean to her just because she's Paris Hilton. I mean, I've met her once. She was very nice. Like, yeah, she'll, she'll be fun. I'm yeah. going to tell her I stay right. at the Parker Meridian. All right. Does she stay there? All right. No, I'm going to tell her I stay there. I don't stay at the Hilton. She doesn't either. She probably stays at the W. Why? She doesn't stay at the Hilton. She doesn't stay at Hilton's. Who would? Plaza. Uh, will you shut up, Steve? It's endless. He's just blurting <laughs> out hotel names now. What are you doing? You want us to change the poster? It's not happening. I like staying at the Pierre and ordering tissues <laughs> and just fucking groping the maid that comes up. <laughs> Jesus. Fucking that Egyptian piece of shit. You see oh, him? He's awful. He's great. Some old fucking guy. They're leading him out in handcuffs. He's great. She's like, ah, he's grabbing her tits and her pussy. What would you do at that she age? She gives him a, a fake phone number and he's like, okay, I'll call you. But what would you do at that age? Call the fucking woman up so I could grope her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> of course you would. What else you got to live for? The Pierre's pretty posh. I think the older you get, the more chances you take. The more you get, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you put a lower amperage fucking perv switch in. You got your co- the trip's a lot easier. You got your kids through college. And yep. The doctor's hinting that stuff is starting to grow on you. What, do you, what else yeah. are you going to do? There was a 20 amp in there. Let's just throw a 5 in. I don't care anymore. <laughs> <Right>. Click. Tits! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Turlet time. Paris Hilton next. And right. we'll announce an A lister that's going to be on the show next week. Yes. That most of us sort of don't give a shit about. <laughs> but we'll announce it anyway. Uh, we're going to have Glenn Close next week on the show. Who's he and how close? It's a woman. Why you got to take everything and just make it stupid? Sorry, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> There's no winning with Chip. But I, imagine I, if she was a guy her name would be John Glenn Close. <laughs> Is Paris here? I wouldn't. <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Very close, though, I think. You'll, you'll know, because there will be what I like to call a hoopla. A, a hoopla in the uh, hallway. You will see pandemonium, excitement. Uh, as they bring kind of like when I Hilton. walk in the building, yeah, exactly. Without the the boredom and disinterested <laughs> part, which I would bring when I walk in the building. That's great. All right, that means we got to do filler. If what do we uh, talk to going close about? Like, um, um, did you really cook a rabbit? Go. <laughs> so, What's where have you on? been for the? <laughs> <laughs> where where the hell have you been? What happened to you? Wait, just because she used to be famous, why are we taking her? Roland tricked me on this one. He tricked me too, because he goes. I'm no, thinking a... about it. I don't give a fuck about her. I don't mind talking to her. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I would have said no, but fuck yeah, it. I mean, don't all matter. right. So, but, but the way he, this is where Roland is he smart. He kind of tricked me. He yesterday. tricked all of us because he goes, "I'm yeah. really close. It's 99 percent. I'm working on an A-lister." So all me. of a sudden, he says that, and you go, "Oh, good. Who? You don't think? Let me make a judgment on whether or not I want this person." I'm thinking maybe Will Smith. Uh, exactly. Uh, maybe uh, who else? Would he didn't say what decade the A-lister was from. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, what are we doing? I don't care. Where is he? He's getting good. He, he is, is getting good. He's, he's getting, getting good. good. This is our fault, though. I mean, he, he did fucking, he did trick us by the way he set it up. 
He is, a, as my father would say, a sneaky Pete. A <laughs> sneaky Pete? Oh, he's downstairs waiting for Paris Hilton? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Paris. We're going to take you upstairs. Tonight. What? She'll be like, what? I don't understand what Opie's words a, you're Ant's, saying. Opie's a blonde guy, and, and Danny's a hat, and Jim and Anthony's. Did you get the ticket? Here's Roland asking me something. Uh, did you get the ticket once when they give you? Yeah. What? Am I, I'm not hearing right? What did you just say? I did, I did, did you get the vaccine that it we're, send you? We're doing filler. I, I've always wanted to ask Jimmy this. Sure. Oh, you sit the closest to guests. Yes, I do. Are you ever, like, freaked out? No. Because, like, I have a buffer. I got this whole, I got yeah. this and that and a whole bunch of shit between me and the guests. Uh, buffers. And Ant's got some buffers, but you're, Lots like, of buffers. Sometimes you turn around and they're uh, 18 inches from you. Totally you know? fine. The only time I've been freaked out... Um, was the first time in XM when Ozzy came in. And he was right there. Uh, Gene Simmons got me at NEW. That's many, many years ago. Yeah. I hadn't introduced the, I, I was so scared because it was Gene. And when Ozzy was in, and Aunt, I loved Ant that day because you were so Ooh. good with him. You were so good with Ozzy, and I was panicking. Because I, I don't think I had ever sat I down with Ozzy. No, at that point you hadn't. That's right. I fucking helped out pretty good that day, too. Yeah, I, rem say, I remember that day. Where me and Ann are both looking at you like, oh, my God, he's not talking. And it's his hero. That was funny. But I, I said to myself, this is Ozzy Osbourne. And I just started talking to him. And I forget how the trip. But that, that day I was nervous because I was sitting. Too close to him. I hadn't talked to enough like guys who I love like Ozzy. And, yeah, uh, you know, yeah. there had been some guys that I really didn't care about, as much about. And now you're pals. And that so. was 2005. Yeah. So, uh, but, but now, I mean, even when Ozzy comes in, I'm always nervous because I like to be nervous around him, and I feel like I, I love him so much, but yeah. I'm not uncomfortable talking to him. So, I actually requested so that was the only time. Yeah. Uh, Patrick in Wyoming, what's going on? Isn't Glenn Close married to your guys' favorite Godfather character, or was married to him well, before he died? Uh, who's uh, our favorite Godfather character? <laughs> who's our favorite what? Godfather character? Mine was uh, Lucy. <laughs> the one who got fucked by uh, Sonny. Mm. Her name is Lucy. Yeah. All right, yeah. Fucked against the door. Yeah, well. Yeah. Sonny uh, was, was, she, was she married to Duvall? Um, no. Or was she married uh, to... Uh, not Pacino. Uh, was she? Uh, no. Maybe she was married to James Caan. Who died? John Cazale died, but that was uh, Meryl Streep's boyfriend. That was Meryl Streep. Her fiancé. Right. She was married to Fredo. John Cazale. What? He's dead. Hey, if I know, because the guy's dead. I'm trying to think. Of, well, Brando died too, but she wasn't married to him. No, that's why I say Fredo. Talia Shire's still alive, and she's not a lesbian, so that rules her out. <laughs> if Lou Gehrig was alive today, yeah, be seventy. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> he was minus three when he played for the Yankees. Really a phenom. First of all, if he was alive today, he wouldn't be moving too well. No, that we know. He's he would pretty much well. be a statue at this point. Uh, he would be 107 years old. Wow. Wow. But he could have made it to 100. Mm. I mean, the if he didn't get that man of the world. Luke Gehrig thing. Yeah. But uh, look, when we got back on radio, he would have been, uh, he could have been 100. 100. That's kind of weird to think that he possibly could have been alive if he didn't get that fucking disease. Is Paris Hilton here? Yeah. Oh, who's the. Uh, oh, my God. Oh. But no, I don't. It's really it's, weird. Here comes Roland. Rolling, right, we got rolling, one rolling. assistant. Let's see one, how many two, two, three, four, two, five. Six, you always seven, know. Eight, uh, niner. Uh, you always three. know. There's a photographer. Four. She comes always with five. Yeah. I think we hit it right on the head. Five or six. Five, five. I think we hit it right on the noggin. Really? With that one. Yeah, I think we're done. Oh, damn, she looks wow. Cell phones. Are they bringing her in? So fun. Okay. What is Hillary talking to her about? I don't know. What everybody's, is Hillary talking to her about? Everybody's busy. Yeah. Oh, okay. She What's was, going on there? What happened, Sam? Mm. She's getting something she looks to eat. really good. She's really? Yep. Wow. She's what? She looks good. She's nah, stunning, man. Look at her. Yes, Sam. She's ordering a little brekkie. Well, that's good. Right. Brekkie. She's early, so... Oh, no, I want to punch on time. you. That's they call in England. Call do they? Yeah. How do you know? I live there. In England, you're a cigarette. I didn't live in England. <laughs> yes, I did. Hey, dude, that's why the Thanks, schedule you and the costume. No. Hey, yeah, I did. You didn't know I that? asked you once why you talk so you later. silly. Yeah. And then you you wind up that. Hello, Paris. Hi, Paris. How are you? Hi. Take a seat. Welcome to the show. Thank 
we're on the air, by the way. People don't usually realize we're on the air. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good morning. How many, we were trying to guess how many people do you come with? Uh, we guessed five. A publicist, assistant, photographer, somebody from the network, and who was the other one? And one security. Was five accurate or no? Um, yeah, it was. Oh, that's a good that, you. Plus, Roland texted me and said five or six people. <laughs> <laughs> I hate way. I'm weird when I travel. Like, I never like to have people around. I'm, I'm so, like, like, I don't want people touching me before I have to be, like, are you weird like that? Like, No you, one wants to touch you. All right, yeah, fair enough. I'm not saying that oh, everybody's it's... trying to get their hands on this piece. I'm just, just yeah. I don't like being bothered before I'm interviewed. Did you like Roland? <laughs> Was he nice to you? Yes, very. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did yeah, he creep he's... you out a little bit? No. Because he talks really odd. Nobody understands what he's saying. He's like, <laughs> and he has to nod and go, all right, I guess that kind of made sense. <laughs> <laughs> so now you're uh, wandering around uh, promoting... The World According, according to, to Paris. Paris. Yes. Yeah. On Oxygen, yeah. Wednesdays, yes. 10 p.m. Yeah. Saw the first episode. Yeah. And it starts with uh, you really freaked out over a stalker. Yes, I have a couple of those. But uh, this guy was in your, uh, in your house. Um, yeah, he showed up with two huge knives. Right. And, um, thank God my boyfriend was there to what a creep. protect me. How, can, how close did he get? Because, I mean, you live in a big place, obviously. Um, yeah, he was, like, right by the kitchen, and um, we got him. So thank God he didn't get to me. You're not packing any heat? I'm you not. You ought to pack some heat there, Paris. We, ha- we have some heat at the house, so. Nice. They talk about Dummy that. Dummy bring knives to a gunfight. Her boyfriend <laughs> pulled a gun. And it Good was, for him. But it's, a, it's like a reality show normally doesn't deal with stuff that heavy. I was kind of surprised that they opened with something that yeah. was like a guy who oh, was yeah. actually, she's like, he was there to stab her. Was yeah, like, wow, yeah. That wasn't like yeah, a, the show, a light, lighthearted way to open a show. The show like the, opens huge, yeah. absolutely. Why, why didn't he uh, shoot? Um, he had every right to shoot, right? Yeah, yeah, probably. Because it would have been too much. That's a mess, right? Yeah, you didn't <laughs> want to clean, clean up the it. blood and all that. <laughs> That'd be funny. They could play wacky music while you're just cleaning up blood, and you're both digging a hole in the yard. Oh, what are we going to do with this guy? <laughs> that would make for That's great reality. Great. Show. It really would. <laughs> that would be good. You're murdering all and that, burying stalkers. All that, that Paris. <laughs> Boy, would people be shocked at the first episode. Yes. <laughs> Coming up next week, the murder of the guy who's been bothering her on Twitter. You, know, you, you tease it every week. Some new creep is dead. You, yeah, you say you get a lot of uh, stalkers and stuff like that. I, I'm sure there are probably different levels, like guys that come to your house with knives, and then, and then uh, guys uh, on, on Twitter and online and stuff like that. You get a lot of harassment that way. Um, there's a lot of weird people out there. Yeah. I just don't pay. I block them on Twitter. You do? Do you, do, yeah. do you take some of that to heart? Like, we talk to a lot of people, and uh, some people say, well, I don't care what they say or something like that. But do, do some people kind of, you read something, you go, you son of a bitch. You kind of got, to, yet like they kind of got to you a little bit, you know, make you mad. You know, I'm a human just like anyone else, so if I read something. No way. It's ridiculous. <laughs> You're a superhuman. I don't, I don't really pay attention anymore. Really? Yeah. yeah. There's been so many lies and ridiculous things written about me that at this point, kind of, I don't yeah. pay attention to it. It is a little hard to figure out what's true and what's not about you because there has been so much written over the years. And uh, some of it, like, so outrageous that you're like, that can't possibly be true. And then other things that it's like, all right, I could see that. But um, have, have you read things that you're like, wow, where the hell did this come from? It's complete fabrication. It happens all the time. And really? There's, there's actually this lookalike, and she lives in L.A. and New York, and I always get blamed for things that she does. Oh, sure there is. Sure no, there is. I'm not kidding. No. You, can, you can literally go online, and she has a website. She looks exactly like me if she puts really? sunglasses on. Really? What was the worst thing she uh, did as you? She, like, during New York Fashion Week, she'll go to all the f- shows and sit front row. She'll go to the gifting suites and get all this free stuff, pretending it's me. Damn. And it's just annoying. Yeah, wow. for you, for her, that's great. I, w- I wish I looked like somebody, other than just I just look like somebody that doesn't belong in any kind of a, <laughs> an event. Like even when I belong there, they're like, "Do you have ID?" <laughs> what is uh, what is your relationship with the paparazzi? Because we always wonder, like, because they're so hateable. But then again, celebrities use them because they can help, help promote a film before yeah. it comes out. I mean, they do serve a purpose. So, do you kind of have a love hate relationship with them? You know, just like anything, there's good and bad. They are really annoying when it's every single day following me everywhere I go. So I think it's okay to be at like a red carpet event where they're supposed to be, but just everyday life, it just gets really invasive. Well, you, like, you, there's a scene in the, in the show where you're, you had community service and you had to kind of clean walls as part of the community service. And the paparazzi is literally five feet away Taking just pictures. snapping photos. Is yeah. that irritating or is that like kind of that kind of comes at the territory? 
It's I'm I've been doing this for 15 years, so it's been a very long time. You just get used to them. But the community service, she didn't take it seriously, Jimmy. She was goofing around a little bit. Yeah, it wasn't exactly. I think people are going to be sentences. very mad <laughs> I like that she wasn't painting the wall properly. <laughs> Even community service, you like having a little well, bit of fun. Well, she brought another person. Yeah. I just want to show her that I saw the show. She brought her assistant. Yeah. So it was two people working on the wall that day. So she's thinking maybe she should get the double time. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, right? Because you brought people with yeah, you. Yeah, she brought yeah. it up, well. too. And the guy like who could care less that, that Paris is painting a wall yeah. wasn't happy with you. What was the uh, community service for? Um, I just have to do some for a little thing. A little thing. Yeah. It was a little uh, possible. A little mishap. Jesus. <laughs> really? Your assistant, by You're the way. You're out of your mind. You're a little You're a little too wild, I think. No, not anymore. Not Calm anymore? Down. Have you? I'm so busy. I run a huge brand. I have 17 different product lines. I am constantly traveling the world, working. So, um, yeah, I'm way too busy. No, much, uh, no more time for, like, complete shenanigans or... No, I'm actually getting up every morning early and sucks. Living That's life fine. to the fullest. Did you spending... still staying up late though a little bit? Not really. Take a drink every so often. Not really. I don't no. Have time. No. no more partying for Paris. No, I've grown up. Jesus Christ! Did the, spending time in jail kind of change coming. you at all? Like, did it make you go like, ugh? Like, I really don't want to do something that causes me to come here for a long period of time. I spent one night in jail doing a radio stunt, and I'm like, I will never. Go back. Misbehave. One night Scared made me you. never want to go back. It's just a disgusting, horrible place. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty brutal. So what did it do for you? Did it make you not want to get high anymore or party anymore? What did it, how did it change you? I've really grown up. I'm an adult, and um, I just I have so much to live for. Do you see other celebrities like uh, Lindsay and go like, oh, boy, what she's going through? Like, you just want to smack her in the face or something? No, I wish her the best. I you know. Yeah, but there's got to be something in you that goes like, okay, I've been there. I've seen what, 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 where that leads. Um, I just wish her the best. You know, she's going through a lot, and I thank God that I have such an incredible family behind me. And I think yeah. that's what it's about. Yeah, yeah, that's just it. Like, you, you don't have any of these uh, deep-seated family problems uh, that, that would, would have led you to do uh, things like drugs and hanging out and partying and shit. Um so what do you attribute that to? Just wanting to have fun as a kid? Yeah, I think everyone goes through things when they're younger and you experience life and you learn from your mistakes. Not with cameras around, though. Not everybody, anyway. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It, se it seems, too, it's like in L.A. at least, celebrities, it's hard to... A lot of times celebrities get away with more and it, it almost like it kind of sets you up for when... When they fall, <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> Nothing. I just want to come here to talk about the show. I don't really want to talk about Lindsay and things like that. You know, oh, it's kind of a waste of time. Just, just well, kind of talking I, about like I was you actually, know, I was, I'll, I'll tell you, attributing I'll ask, it to you though. I was actually kinda... talking about you. I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the look. Yeah, but the question was: get celebrities get away with more. Does it make it harder because without certain things stopping you along the way, when you finally do get in trouble, it's big. So that's kind of what I was. Yeah. Getting it. All right, let's move on. <laughs> okay, tell us all about the show. I guess we'll just talk about the show. The World According to Paris is amazing, and it's on every Wednesday on Oxygen at 10 p.m. And, um, yeah, everyone was writing me on Twitter and saying how much they love it and how funny it is. So I'm very proud. Are you annoyed? And excited. You sound annoyed now. It's very early in the morning. I'm tired. <laughs> 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 she sounds oh, annoyed. No. I've been, I know I've been on a press tour all week. <laughs> you know, it's, it's I, we been didn't, a lot of work. We didn't want to annoy you. <laughs> I'm a little good. annoyed. Are you annoyed, <laughs> Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, because Jimmy was, gets very annoyed. Only because uh, I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not too. asking a jerk question, and I'm not being a yeah, dick. Yeah. I watched the show. I liked the show more than I thought I would like it. I thought it was ballsy the way they started off. Mm -hmm. But it's a legit question. It's yeah, not. Yeah. It's not a hey. What about? I'm not trying to get a, a, a soundbite. I mean, it's a real. Question and the show is a reality show. Yeah. So kind of asking about your reality, I think is fair game. It's somebody asking in some tabloid way. Yeah, it was more like just lifestyle question. Yeah. Of, Does it make know. it harder? Yeah, I understand, Jimmy. Paris didn't. Fair enough. <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about that. No, she wants to talk about the show. That's why I'm here. <laughs> what uh, well, what uh, what other um, hijinks uh, you get into in the show? <laughs> <laughs> you know, every episode, you never know what's going to happen. My life is very unpredictable. You yeah. Me skydiving, traveling, going all around the world. And kind of an honest uh, assessment of what you, you go through in uh, your, your daily life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm. 
following around with cameras, interacting with your family and friends? Everyone. It's 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 pretty crazy. Your assistant, your assistant writes porn, mm. and there's a conflict about that. I don't know if I'm allowed to go there, uh, but it's in the show, so I figured I'd ask about it. Um, did she did she stay away from writing it? Because I know that she had to make a decision. So what did she finally do? You have to stay tuned and watch the show and find out. But I, <laughs> okay. so we'll talk I, wasn't, about, I wasn't happy about it. Fair enough. That. All right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, you're a tough one, Paris. You're a little tough. You know, we have a lot of people in and out of here, and uh, uh, some are easy, some are a little tough. You threw us a little with that um, the, the little spin around and the want to talk about the show thing. But the show, if the show's about your life, you know, we were just kind of leading up to getting to know you a little more about your life and stuff. So Huge. I think you kind of. I think you kind of took that in a well, weird I, way. I think a lot of people followed her lead. I mean, you've moved on to other things, but, you know, the partying and the, the oopsie shots coming in, going in yeah, and out you of kinda, limos. Yeah, you kind of were, you know, at the forefront of that whole thing that was going you on. You introduced the world to Kim Kardashian. Where are you at with her? We're great. We're fine. You guys are still friends and all? Yeah, I wish her the best. <laughs> she wishes everyone the best. I know, I'm happy for her. That's great. But you don't She's hang getting married, and I'm really happy for her. You don't so. hang out anymore with her, though? I'm so busy. I'm traveling the world all the time, so I don't really have time to hang out with all my oh, friends. Oh, I got a good question. Uh, obviously, you grew up with uh, Nicole Richie, Lionel Richie's uh, daughter. Uh, what about that big clay head in Lionel Richie's uh, video, Hello? You ever see it? Um, no, I haven't seen that. I love that song, though. God, I don't to, I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the big clay head. I have to check it out. Yeah, on YouTube. I haven't seen it because I thought it was uh, I thought it was on display somewhere in uh, uh, Lionel Richie's house, and I would assume you would have been there at some point in your life. Yes, and seen the big clay head. I haven't seen that one. Yet. Oh well, Jimmy, I'll check it out next time. I'm trying to think of something from the show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is a scene where she's driving a pink Rolls Royce, I think, which is a nice car. Is that yours? It's a Bentley. But is it a yeah, Bentley? Thank you. Yes. Uh, What's it like to just be so completely rich? I've worked for everything that I've achieved on stop, my own. Stop. So stop. I feel very blessed. You, you, I thank God every day. Re, you, now, worked in what way? Um, well, I run 17 different product lines. I have created my whole well, now. entire business out of it. Now. I've been working since I'm 15 years old. So yeah. This what was your first job? I'm making a model. A model. Yes. Okay, well, that makes sense. I, I would never. I'm not going to diss models. <laughs> Did you have a preconceived notion? Because a lot of people come in here and they think that we're going to be a certain way. Or they think that we're going to be aggressive with them. Or they think that we're going to try to do something awful. So they kind of come in defensive because they're expecting something that we're not going <laughs> to. Honestly. Yeah. I, I've I, seen I, that before. I've seen it happen. And I've walked into radio stations or whatever where I think that they're going to be a certain way and it's okay. Did you have a preconceived notion about us? Honestly. No. No. She's, you, she she's, just know on a, she's just on <laughs> Not a radio that she's tour. being very defensive about about like like I could see the way you're sitting like you're on guard and you don't need to be like I don't know why we're not trying to screw you over we're trying to help yeah. you promote the show but it's a reality show when we're asking you about life and you're getting like a little right the world according uh, to Paris yeah yes. it's on uh, Wednesdays at ten on the Oxygen huge so we thought we could talk about the world yeah we are <laughs> yeah. that world according that you to you. Live in. <laughs> Which is very different than the average person. That's why it makes for a good show. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. So as as the uh, season goes on, what kind of uh, situations uh, are we going to see you in? Um, uh, everything. It's there's a lot of fighting going on. There's a lot of drama. There's... Now the fighting and drama with who? Family members. Um... With my friends, my boyfriend, my mom. Yeah. Just How's like that anyone. Going? How's your fight? relationship going? Good. It's going really good. I'm really happy. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. means. How long has... you been going out? Um, like a year and a half. A year and a half? Oh, that mm -hmm. means they don't break up during the show. Well, how do you know? Because the show's already filmed. Oh, damn it. What, uh... <laughs> there is a good fight scene in the first one. The yeah. Camera in the car. I won't give it away. You have to stay tuned. There is, <laughs> there is a good argument, which I did enjoy watching. <laughs> um, <Thanks>. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy's really annoyed. Yeah, I am, but... Uh, Whatever. I mean, I did enjoy the show. I'm not going to tell you I didn't like the show. I didn't expect to like the show, but I did. And it's not, I'm not your target demo. Well, thank you. But I did like the show. I thought uh, the way you started was, uh, and I'm even saying this irritated. I, I have to be very <laughs> honest. The way it started was, uh, 
was ballsy. I, d- I didn't yeah, expect yeah. them to go into a genuine mm-hmm. statement about stalkers. It wasn't, yeah. it wasn't cute. It was done for real. And uh, they addressed stalkers a little bit, who I have a particular ha- ha- hatred for. Yeah, and yeah, And the way yeah. you addressed them and kind of mocked them and shit on them a little bit, I thought was... Uh, yeah, I've heard. I like that a lot. <laughs> Dealt with Again, that. I don't want to give away any dialogue. Just stay tuned, watch the show, and you'll get everything. Roland's doing the uh, wrap-up signal. Uh, it's a shame. But, yeah, he's uh, doing a wrap-up signal. Mm. All right. <laughs> They were worried we were going to talk about the sex tape. We weren't going to fuck with you for that. None of that stuff. I mean, we were just going to ask real questions. Yeah, just but... real little lifestyle questions. But it's all about the world according yep. to Paris. Uh, 10 p.m., of course, on Oxygen. Yes. Uh, so uh, tune in. Is it Paris, a... thank you very much for uh, stopping by. What, what thank you, mean? boys. No, I just was going to wonder if it was... Because for people to watch a reality show, they want to know that they're seeing your life for real as it is. Yes, you cannot write the things that happen. It's nuts. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if we sold the show it's nuts. Today. No. We didn't sell it at all. We did. Our listeners don't like her. What? Yeah, they don't really like you for some reason. I, I, spoke, I spoke highly about well, the show, probably... and I, but I wasn't bullshitting when I spoke highly about the show. I really wasn't. I mean, I, if I didn't like it, believe me, right now I would tell you, but I did oh, like yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well. Yeah, they're all getting up to a... Uh, yeah. yeah, Roland's uh, standing at the window... Um, just peering out. But, but uh, Paris, thank you very much. Thank you. For uh, stopping in. And uh, good luck with the show. Thank you, guys. Take care. Have a fun Bye. morning. We're not going to get off the air. We're just going to keep talking. So yeah. feel free to remove your headphones and, Huge. you know, whatever. We even took a photo thank together a while ago. I was going to ask did? you to sign it, but I don't want to bother you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind. Are you sure? Because, I, I mean, I, I hate to be more of a bother than I've been already, no, obviously. you're sweet. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks. This is a good shot of us, too. Look, Look at that, that picture, Look right? Look at how unshaven I am. I have gray hair. Oh, that's oh, cute. Thanks. That's a nice <laughs> picture, right? Roland, where did it go wrong? Roland? Where did it go wrong, you think? Where did it go yeah. wrong? <laughs> uh, Jimmy's um Jimmy's almost swallowing his teeth. I mean, it's very I'm not that it's bad. fun to Thank um you, Paris. to watch. Thank you. Thank you, Paris. Bye guys. There, there she goes. All right. Paris Hilton. Out Have the door. Day. Remember to say goodbye to Roland. He's a very nice Thank gentleman. You. You're welcome. Take Bye. it easy. You forgot your phone. Oh, damn. Zach, yeah. wow. That could have been huge. Huge. Could have gotten some pictures. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, Roland. Yes, a little, a little po- no, no, not don't stand. Sit down. You're gonna be here a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah Kenny's quote. got something. What? I got the quote direct from her mouth. What? She said, and I quote, I am not gonna sit and waste my time being berated. End quote. When, just now? Yes, walking out. But we didn't berate her. About what? I don't know. Her, one of the ladies in her entourage was making excuses out there that she probably doesn't feel like playing because she's tired. We weren't playing. Playing? We, we weren't playing. We were doing it. It's, it's a reality called, show. Called, wait, it's called an interview. When she comes in here, I understand they want to plug the show, but we can't just sit here for 10, 15 minutes saying the name of the show, the time it's on, and who's in it. We have to get... Like the people kind of, you know, involved and, and, and listening to her story and maybe something that, that what a, hasn't been heard. What a spoiled human being. And I'm going to tell you, I, I bit my tongue oh, I for know the better did. of the show. Yes. And for you, Roland, and by for, the way, we fucking. If we hear were nice one word you. of shit from a publicist about that, we, I have nev- we were oh not rude God. to her. I have um, n- no, no, nobody said anything. I have oh, never. You'll, you'll hear something. No, no, and I'm not going to blast her now because no, they, they were on your side, though. Yeah. They were all on your side. They were more of the... Well, what? They were saying, yeah. Give me her number for you. What? <laughs> <laughs> I th- uh, we should have atom bombed her. No, nah, yeah, it wasn't. Now that I'm thinking about it. You know what? Was it, it wasn't worth... It We're, wasn't worth... The listeners, burning bridges. The listeners I don't even care about the bridges. Things. It was just too easy. It was like <laughs> she's just going to sit there and just walk away like a baby. Yeah, yeah. And I was so fucking I aggravated. I played that out in my head. I, <laughs> right? there, was, there was no... There was no laying into her. It just would have hurt relationships that Roland has with people. I don't want to fucking do that. But it was obvious that she was annoying us. Beyond and, comprehension. And back, back there, all her people, no, they said nothing about you guys. Or I was just saying, oh no, she's having one Roland, of those days. I don't care. If she's ha- the Roland, bottom line, I've but, never oh. held back like that. I've never... I know. But and I, again, I'm not going to say it now that she's not here. I've, I've never held back like that in my life. You could call her Roland? spoiled, Brett. Hold nah, on, hold on, hold on. I should have said it to her first. You get her back in here for one more question, I'll give you a thousand bucks. 
see it coming back. No, a thousand bucks. I'll go right to the fucking uh, bank. The fact yeah, that she thought she was berated. I, I have one more question. Is mind boggling. Yeah, I, I, I have one would. more question. I mean, that's awesome deal. But I don't think she would come back. Why? I don't know. Because we're the guys want to talk to Because we're despicable. How are you? We're we didn't awful even do people anything. that we're trying to we just actually, ask her questions. We actually were being very careful I, and I nice. I was so yeah. fucking nice to her. There's nothing I hate more than when you... How spoiled are you where you think that legit questions... Do celebrities get away well, with more? And does that eventually hurt because you're not getting stopped on the way? That to me is a... You want to do a... That's a real question. And again, I should I should have fucking look melted down with her, so I can't do it now because she's gone. That that that's that's yeah, a pussy we, move. Yeah, we hate when we. Yeah, you're so right. I don't want to no, do that. No, not going to do that. But, but things. Do that, but. but there were things that were addressed when she was here. The Lindsay Lohan thing, and I said to her, I said we weren't trying to get anything out of you that isn't just, you know, because she had the same experiences Ugh. growing up. I was like, what do you think about what she's going through and what you went through, and equate it. And she's just like, eh, take it back. It's not like I was saying, what's the dirt on Lindsay? Can you tell me what you've seen her do? That's different than saying she's going through something that you went through with the press in your face while you're going through this time. What, you know, she was awful. What's your opinion on atrocious. that situation? And she was annoyed her. when I asked the first question about how many people. But I even equated it to myself because I didn't want her to think that I was saying, hey, how many people do you travel with like a dick? I was just saying that I, I personally hate when a publicist comes with me anywhere. I hate being fawned over before. And it, like, I, I want to be left alone. So I was like, uh, maybe, you know, do you hate that? Does it bug you to have somebody? It's great. It's great. Just atrocious. So it's if great. you want to watch the show on it's the nuts. way she sold well, it, um, fair well, enough. It's great. I'm happy I, I said right in front of her, where did it all go wrong? <laughs> it was just, oh. oh. I, sh I, I regret. Uh, the second she turned around and looked oh, at the yeah, publicist. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm getting, a, like, I'm, oh getting, I'm getting a great text right now. And, and I believe this. And now this second. Uh, seconds, my thought. Uh, she feels like she's too good to be there. I felt that. Oh, yeah. I absolutely felt yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the reason she has to be here is the reviews on the show are horrendous. Horrendous. And also, what, whatever, uh, I wrote, mm -hmm. uh, I wrote this to someone last mm. night, watching Paris' new show, Not Good. <laughs> I, I didn't like it. I, I thought it was better. I figured I would play it cool for once. I it's didn't, not my. It's not like my. I'm not her no, target I, demo, but it was better than I thought it was going to be. I, I again, I can't. I got to be honest, or I would have. Oh, believe me, I would have blasted it in front I of her. I didn't fucking I was, watch it. I, I didn't I, like it. I, I watched two seconds of it, turned it off. I, I was a fan Thank of you. the Simple Life. I thought Nicole Richie was hilarious. This show needs Nicole Richie. It's uh, Simple Life without Nicole Richie. I'm not going to sit there and be be. Be rated. Like, who what are you that? talking about? She did. To who? On the way out. Kenny just said On that. The way to out. That's what she said. Be rated. I've never held that. What? So you, you don't think that you can be annoying? She, uh, atrocious. I loved how Aunt goes, stop, when she says she didn't make her own money. Yeah, it's like, stop. I, 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 I worked for it's everything. It's one of the I richest have. families Shut in the world. Everyone knows you, you didn't work for your. That's why it was maybe like, uh, hey. making some money. Now. Did you hear what she said? She runs seventeen different brands. Yeah, yeah, great. What's wrong with you? That's Difficult. work. Yes. Let me, how many yes, brands sure. do you run there, Mister? Well, I um, run zero. None brands. Exactly. Wow. So none now. brands. I am. I. I Where's she now? Uh, she's doing Larry Flick. Um, who's the Larry Flick? The gay channel. Not cute. All right, so she's gonna come walking back this uh, way. We, I don't want to fuck with her now. It's like she was in, and I didn't blast her. I should have. I, I it was like a real no, you conscious kinda... effort. I let her know I was annoyed, but I was like, "What? Do, what's the way to do it? Like, do you blow it up, and then she just walks out, and we don't get guests, or what? What's the right fucking move?" But that was extraordinarily that that interview could have been played this past weekend. <laughs> well, well, part two's around the corner. So. During during the awkward interviews uh, mm -hmm. segment. Uh, Sam Roberts is in studio. Sam. Sam Roberts. Did you hear the entire Paris Hilton interview? You bet I did. Uh, opinion, comment, what, what, uh, was happening, how you maybe would have handled it? Just a little, you know, give us something. Uh, well, I was very excited about the Paris Hilton interview as I'm a big pop culture junkie. Yeah. Uh, I kind of felt like the way she responded to the first question of... Set the tone. Yeah, and she didn't really come out of that. That's not to say it was a bad question, because 
uh, another person would have said, yeah, five. Yeah, I mean, I don't really like them, but it's kind of necessary. And then you move on yeah. to the next thing. She immediately, she I mean, she was kind of shut down before she even got in here. I think there was this but feeling she was like, of, I'm sorry, she was like that before? Yes. Because she was ordering and she didn't come right in. So uh, And she didn't take off her big... Yeah, sunglasses. the giant sunglasses. Yeah. Better than, better than, better than us. Better than the room. Better she than get, the she show. She gave the impression she didn't want to be here. Right. Simple Ex- as that. Exactly. And it was you tough. We, I, we were going for an angle there. It's a, it's, it's, it's a reality show. She invented people being famous for no fucking reason. She has now moved on to being famous for other things. But she started out as just a beautiful girl that's famous, and no one can figure out why. And since then, there has been people like Kim Kardashian. Uh, believe it or not, Lindsay Lohan lately is famous for doing nothing oh, yes. but partying and, and, and showing you know mm. parts of her body by accident. So we were going somewhere with all that. Extremely pop, the, pop, pop the sex tape up for when she walks by. Extremely oh, pop un- the sex tape up. unrevealing. Well, we and it, we'd have to close this blind. You have to close the curtains. Oh, extremely un, 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 place. really not a revealing person at all and if yeah. you're gonna watch a reality show you would hope that somebody revealed it revealed something like a legit question was the girl who did your uh, your assistant was writing porn did she stay with that or what did she do do you really think that a teaser like you have to watch is more interesting. Oh, oh, I know. You you went through a thing where and I it's was like, listing shit that's happened in the show. I had obviously watched right, it. Right, right. Where it's like, hey, uh, what happened with that? You'll have to watch the show. What was the right move there? Because I really yeah. wanted to be a fucking dick, and then I'm like, ah. Uh, that was that was an atom bomb situation that we would have been uh, within our means of doing. We could have, but I, but again, like like Jimmy even said, it could have been so easy. What? And then she just went. Uh, smoky goodbye. She's she's and not a leave. tough. The thing look, was, someone got to her and said, "Look, if this show's gonna work, you're gonna have to do things you've never done before, like radio. You know, radio sucks to a lot of these a listers. Like, why the fuck do I have to do radio shows? But they said, look, if if this show's gonna have a chance, you're gonna have to do all this stuff. I'm not you're gonna, gonna be out of your comfort zone. And and instead of going with it, she came. She she sat out there ordering breakfast, knowing that we were like, come on in. And then she sat down, and then she had her glasses on, and she was just like... Ooh. Yeah, she was a mope. She, she was a mope, fucking mope. Because mope. she didn't want to be here. She didn't give that to Piers Morgan the other night. She was all chipper and fucking uh, rocking she's, the interview. She was very revealing with Piers Morgan. I watched it. Yeah, yeah, she sat there barely talking, pulling teeth to get three words, more than three words at a time out of her. And we're the fucking assholes. I apologize to the audience. I, I, I apologize. No, I don't. They, they aren't even worth uh, fucking I don't hearing anything good. I don't Fuck know. The fucking These <laughs> people, <laughs> I meet them. They suck. I don't at all because it was entertaining in another way, man. I it was so been, uncomfortable but, in here. But it was, I was openly laughing at how uncomfortable I'm it was. so annoyed, and I wow. should have been more vocalized how disgusted Jim, I was. You don't give yourself. Your passive aggressiveness and your annoyances come through oh, it came, loudly it came and clearly. Through especially very, very clearly. The feel, audience that knows you. It, but it, yeah, but it's almost like I can't. I, I want to blast her right now so bad my head almost hurts. But that was yeah. part of the fun of like, even in the other room, us watching, we were all, Travis and me were laughing because we knew how badly you wanted to blast her and we could sense that. But the it's thing like, is, she, Jimmy, he, Jimmy, here's it. She though. wasn't giving anything. That was blast worthy. Right. She wasn't saying anything mean. She was just being. An, I almost wish she had been nasty. Exactly. But, but here, here's the deal. Don't feel uh, that you can't voice your opinion of how the interview went, how she was in in blunt terms, because uh, we understood, and believe me, I understood also with the situation we were in. There are people, you can't burn bridges. I don't want to get uh, Roland in a bad position with publicists and whatnot. And that's the only reason that I kept my mouth shut. But I could call her a fucking cunt <laughs> now that she's not here without feeling like I'm a pussy for not calling her a cunt when she was here. Because uh, I didn't want to fuck with the publicists. And no, no, I, I understand I know how that, this game works. But the publicists are one thing, and we, we've been really good with that. But this was legit. She was awful. And terrible interview, terrible interview, not yeah. revealing at all. And it was like one of those people who didn't want to be here. Yeah. I, everything I despise because I'm very revealing in interviews. Yes. And I just, Real, again, yeah. I can't blast her now because I should have blasted her when she was here because she deserved it. What's one thing you want to say? Um, <laughs> a you're question. a fucking horrible interview. 
You're a, you're an extraordinarily coddled, unrevealing not person. To, not not to Opie, to her. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, I'm just blonde hair confused me. Enough with the shit. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. fucking around. I know, but enough. He's joking. Really. We all trash that. each other here. I was gonna uh, say Jimmy, but it's just funny. <laughs> I was actually gonna say me. <laughs> um, that I, I would love to have said that, but I didn't. So again, it's like it's it's to me, it's an absolute pussy move mm -hmm. to not say it and then say it when they're out the door. And I just, I mean, I've gone after people before. What's two things you would say to them? <laughs> that was the that was the main thing. It's like your problem is. Th this is why you're extraordinarily uninteresting to me because you have not one ounce of ability. To be revealing and reveal something about yourself, Sam. Um, <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I just I should have told her that she stunk as, as an did interview. She? No, as an interview, she looked good. She was no, tired. We did, though what we really did, I we called have said her out. Yeah, we, we did. We she absolutely knew. called her out. I said that the listeners uh, aren't aren't digging her. They find her. Uh, what did I say? I, I said they they don't like you. She did not leave here thinking this went well. Believe but me. But she didn't care because she didn't want to be here to begin with. So right. she doesn't give a fuck because right. she doesn't give a fuck about radio. Right. But someone got to her and said, "This is what you're going to have to do for this project." Someone on Twitter said, "You completely caved when you asked for your picture signed." I will tell you legitimately. That was kind of done to be annoying. Yeah. I'll never hang this. One. Honestly, I was beyond being starstruck at that point. I was, was legitimately aggravated. That's why when, when I was surprised she did it. When I said uh, 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 Roland is saying wrap this up, it was like, okay, you can take your headphones off and leave. Like we're we're still gonna stay. I'm, we're not going to break to take pictures with you. Uh -huh. Like it was in the situation. I knew no one wanted a fucking picture with her Plus, at that Jim, point. When Jim said. Uh, I would ask you to sign this, but I don't want to bother you. Yeah, I don't want to bother you because I've been aggressive. And then he goes, "Because like, I've been such a bother." <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> yes, you did. It was it was funny. Really? You underestimate like the, the brattiness and passive aggressiveness that you combat people with. It it, it hits on a different yeah, level. It really it does, but it's it hard. It's nauseating what you do. I know that, but again, <laughs> I, I'm only saying it ain't about me. But I, I literally. If I'm going to be a certain way now, not that I, I wouldn't have called her a con, because she honestly didn't do anything no, that, no, that, no, that no. merited that, that's just being that. yeah. verbally abused oh, like oh, that. Oh, wait, Iraq, e Iraq's e coming in. Do you have something? No, does he ever? Iraq, e yeah. <laughs> Ow, he pushed me. She left. Oh. She's gone. She so. blew everybody else off, and the ox oxygen people are like, why did we do Opie and Anthony? Yeah, see? They blame us. Fuck you, you fucking oxygen Where cock suckers, then! Yeah. How long ago? She blew just off every now, every other station she was supposed to. But did she do another interview? Nope. And o Man. and oxygen people are like, oh, it, Opie and Anthony shouldn't have no, done that show. We're not gonna get the it's blame our, for this. It's not our fucking. Don't no. blame us because your fucking client no. was being an uninteresting she was piece of terrible, shit. Terrible, and I never chair. held back like that in my life. Yeah. Yeah, I think we she, held back. We were trying to, to make be nice. Been nicer to we her were trying to make it work. But you know what? This is exactly what I thought was going to happen when I was shit. thinking about this interview last night. I just Holy knew it shit. wasn't going to work. I could not have I been just fucking knew. nicer to her. I could. It was Roland. No fucking way, man. I ain't taking the blame for this one. No fucking way on this one. Not what? one there were times where I never, I never said anything. No, no. You. I never but said I'm it's giving not your you, fault. I'm it's giving not your you fault. Ammun ammunition now. No fucking way on this one. There are times I'm like, yeah, I guess no. we might have pushed it or that and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Let me say it. Look at the unsigned e -rock. <laughs> The unsigned picture of e -rock and Paris Hilton. Un unsigned. Forever, forever unsigned. Uh, that's funny. And look, he, he, he's got one hand in his pocket. Not forever. You want it to look like you two are going out. No. You want to put this on classmates.com. No. Me and my girlfriend, Paris Hilton. We would have done it a long time ago. Oh, E Rock, I'm sorry. That's not even the bad one. Remember this one? Oh, wait, wait, there's another one? This is the one you guys gave me shit for. Oh, with your bedroom eyes. You guys remember this one? E Rock with his bedroom eyes. <laughs> look at this picture. Look at E Rock. He's in love. <laughs> where, uh, where's she now? Uh, what are you What are you doing, Roland? Roland. The information. Uh, you need to make a few phone calls. You need to get some fucking <laughs> answers, Roland. And again, literally, Oxygen may have just fucked them. Uh, but again, they might not have heard the interview. They may they, just. Yeah, they did. Uh, her publicist was right here. So no, no, but did Oxygen hear it? No, her publicist yeah. seemed almost cool with That's everything. Right. I'm gonna call that network carbon monoxide from now on. Okay. It's a chemical joke. Attaboy. Was fine with it and oxygen or the interview. And 
I, all he says, uh-oh, she's okay. in the mood. What? No, just tell him to turn the mic on. Oh, why? Oh, oh, why? He has nothing yeah. to say. She was a. Tr- <laughs> she was atrocious. Horrid. And I literally again. Travis has a clip of I, Jim being passive aggressive. I don't mind that. I, I don't didn't know curse if it was passive aggressive. I don't know if that is the. Aggressive aggressive. I think. Okay, it was, well, uh, well I, I have a clip of, of of how Jim decided to ask questions after. Okay. After. Energy. Okay. Oh, All right. It's it's pretty crazy. Your assistant, your assistant writes porn, mm. and there's a conflict about that. I don't know if I'm allowed to go there, uh, but it's in the show, so I figured I'd ask about it. Um, did she did she stay away from writing it? I know mm-hmm. that. Yeah, that just sounds. T- I should have been more aggressive. I should I should have told her the truth. I should have just said that you're, you're you're right now being extraordinarily unrevealing and horrendous, but I didn't, and I'm annoyed at myself for not. So again, I apologize to the audience. I don't think I should have called her a cunt. I shouldn't have screamed, fuck you, get out, none of that nonsense, but I should have been brutally honest. God damn rich well, cunt! God damn dis- rich cunt! I'm disgusted well, with myself. Wyatt did say, uh, we're gonna continue talking, so take your headphones off and leave, basically. <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. <laughs> we did get some little fucking you, uh, jabs in. Jimmy, like, that was a weird position for, for this show. Because cause we were trying very hard to be nice, and the interview was short enough where we couldn't really step over the line. It was weird. We were in a weird position. I know, believe me, I, I'm, I'm going a little nuts here that we didn't really unload, and I know you were holding back. <sighs> Uh, because you know you you we've seen what you've done with with Jesse Ventura yeah, it's, it's, and shit. It, it, it's like you reach a point where someone's being an asshole and you call them out on it. And she wasn't completely called out on it, but she knew to the point where she left the fucking building. She left the building and blew off all interviews and blew off all the other other but interviews. Nobody see the thing is. She was abysmal, and I know when we're aggressive Horrible and abysmal, interview. but I know how I felt when she came in. It was like, oh, cool, she's here. I watched the show. I wrote down some que- uh, fucking questions. It wasn't like. We, like, and I even Whoa, answered, we hold did, on, Al Q's ripping us? But they don't know what happened. We'll get to the bottom of that shit, calling us... Oh, don't say bottom. Are get they ripping the, into us? Get to the sloppy party bottom of that one. <laughs> did they get an interview, or are they blaming... I the think f- they're blaming us. They're blaming us. We did nothing She was wrong. Every atrocious. Every station that was supposed to have her is going to blame us for fucking that up. They're going to complain... To management, and we're gonna catch the shit for being mean to Paris Hilton. No, we won't. Fuck you. Fuck her. Fuck oxygen. Fuck out Q. Fuck everyone. Fuck it. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck a fuck. I'm tired of it. Uh, Joan, Connecticut. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I flipped over to Out Q Radio real quick to see what. Larry <laughs> that means you're. Guys. Yeah. Yes. Go ahead. What Sorry. happened? Uh, he called you guys a bunch of fucking assholes, saying you're fucking up other live shows, trying to be Howard Stern without the name Howard Stern. Why you ass- Fuck you! Suck a cock! Suck a cock! I've had it! Oh, he went off. Yeah, ah, son of a bitches! Ah, you fuck things up! Ass? Yeah. We were fuck. What bothers me? Nope, sorry. I'm not taking the heat on this nope. one. She was an abysmal cunt fucking interview. She was awful. She terrible. She why don't you fucking before OutQ blasts us? Why don't you fucking learn what happened instead of attacking us, you right. fucking idiots? She came in with a horrible attitude that we were trying to work through. Usually, when someone comes in with an attitude like that, we don't even try to work through it. We're, I have n- we're evil right off the never bat. Never. Never held back like that. She was awful. Yeah. We Pull watched the-, the show. We asked about the show. Right. I complimented the way the show started. I said I thought it was ballsy. I liked where it went with the stalkers. I couldn't have been fucking nicer yeah. to her. Pull the tape of the show first. Listen to the whole interview. And then tell us when we turn into assholes. All right? You alternative lifestyle motherfuckers. Tell us when we turned into assholes. Uh, what's going on now? If it's any consolation talent... Uh, She's gone, and Talent does not think that you guys did anything wrong. Well, then why doesn't Talent go tell out you yeah, tell out so they can then. apologize on the air? When we're yeah. nice to those fucking guys when we see them. We are. And instead of giving us the benefit of the doubt and going, well, maybe she was awful, they automatically... Wait, uh, uh, wait, Nicole. Did you guys lose uh, because of us? Did you lose Paris Hilton because of us, Nicole, from the morning mashup? She was we, atrocious. We had nothing she's to do with shit. it. I know you didn't. I've interviewed her Amazing. before. She's the worst interview ever. She's I had terrible. No, she has nothing to say. No, nothing. But I mean, like, I, I can be brutal, and I was consciously asking, like, real questions. Like, you want to be treated like a real person? We, we can't give you a coddled brat interview, but I was phrasing things 
like, like this is where she got annoyed when I was like, do you think that celebrities get away with a lot of stuff? And the point I was making was that it makes it harder because once they finally do have to answer it, they've already gone farther down the road. I asked her, hey, how did spending time in jail change you? Like, that's an opportunity to say, hey, it made me not want to do this, this, and that. And this dummy didn't know what she was being fed question-wise. Don't worry. You're completely not. <sighs> everybody's defending you. You guys didn't do anything wrong. It's terrible. A perfectly good interview. Now, granted, maybe we should have reversed the order. Maybe you guys shouldn't be first because it's a little bit No, scarier. we continue to be first. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, first. The thing is, but the thing is, we did nothing that no, would didn't. have led to, to a, and, a, a bad interview. She was what? horrible. We did our best. To to uh, make the interview move along and Probably whatever. Probably over or something. In but terms she, uh, of like why she was here, yeah, they said like their main prerogative in coming to Sirius was to hit who they usually hit, but they wanted to reach a guy audience. Yeah, they did for this show. Yeah, and they said as long as we the guys watch the first episode, which I did. Yeah, and I did. I made it perfectly did. clear. I did. And who else has a you know a guy audience here? There was a fucking hockey game on last night. I missed some of it because I'm like, shit, I promised I would see this show. What did you think about the show? It, it's not good. I, <laughs> it's really bad. I tried to make Matt, my fiance, like watch. Either. He's like, I'm not watching this crap. He it, was not happy. It's not no. good, but I said to Roland, I'm like, but I'm going to play this one cool, which I rarely do. Well, Everyone well, knows that. But I'm like, you know what? It's not that good. It needs no. Nicole Richie. Simple Life uh, was a great show because Nicole Richie was hilarious yeah. and played off Paris very well. This is not a good show. No. Here's a couple of the questions. I, I spit my gum That's into this. getting really bad reviews. <laughs> Here, here's a couple of the. Uh, here's a question. Okay. Um, uh, one of them was, do you have? Do you think celebrities have a much easier time getting away with things? Because I knew where I was going with okay. that. Can you be doing that question? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I, and I start off. I, I made the point about. Uh, uh, she had to stay with her sister because a stalker uh, with a knife, her boyfriend pulled a right. gun. It was kind of a heavy way to start a fun reality show. I wrote that down as a point to address. Then I put community service. Uh, you have uh, here's one of the questions I was going to ask. You had a problem with your new assistant who, who uh, writes porn, right? Uh, but you got very famous off a sex tape, um, and you referred to it as a sex tape nightmare. Wasn't it kind of a double edged sword? Meaning it made her more famous. I didn't right. ask that one, but that's one I was going to get to. Um, do you resent when people wonder why you're famous? Because she's, I think, resents yeah. that. Uh, was there any regret in making that sex tape? Obviously, there would have been. That would have given her a right. chance to go, yeah, it was a horrible line. low Nothing point. Nothing out of line. And I can't see. Uh, where was the worst uh, place a paparazzi tried to get a photo of you? Uh, or the most invasive place? I asked her about paparazzi when she came in. And I had like a little... Uh, uh, and, and I said it was a more intense show than I expected. And then I put, what is your relationship with paparazzi? None of those were fucking dick questions. Believe me, if I was going to be a dick, I would have been a yes, dick. Yes, we all know you guys know how but, to do that. But out cue, those motherfuckers Watch your mouth. blasting us on the show like it's our fault. And said, fuck those guys. Yeah, it's our fault that she, they didn't get saying, her. Saying, oh, we want to be like Howard Stern and shot. Instead of finding out what happened first. Yeah, listen right. to the tape Assholes. of the interview yeah, and you go. tell us when we how were being you, outrageous. How about you fucking listen to the tape yeah. and then find out. I'm, every morning I see those guys and they're playing. And you wouldn't give us the benefit of the doubt on a yeah. fucking parasite. Tell us, tell tell us everybody where. knows is yeah. horrible. Tell us where in the interview we went so wild and outrageous. We could, uh, the opening Shut question up. about how many people do you have with you right. was not intended to be a dick. Because I hate when people come into an interview with me. Publicists are funny. Yeah. It's just irritating. So I even said, like, I hate that when I'm being interviewed. I hate being touched or bothered. Same. Like, she stood out there on her phone while we were just waiting for her to she come in anyway. She fucking stunk. Well, 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 hold, guys, well, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Burger what? in Texas. Burger! Of course, Burger. Hey, yeah. I'm Burger. She yes. Was, <laughs> she was an absolute fucking cunt. Yeah, yeah. she was. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to be nice, but that that's the word yeah. uh, that certainly defines the situation. And, it, it, it was. It was. I, 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 we all, right, all get know to the that. point. Get to the point. The cue situation. It, what? It, it's going to be one of the most uncomfortable interviews, but it was not y'all's fault. You get to the point with the Sorry, cue thing. You want to fucking talk about this guy had him on the cue thing, cue. and now he has to go with all this bitching, shit. They were bitching about how y'all treated her so poorly. We didn't and treat her poorly at all. I, no. No, absolutely not. It at all. The whole talent department's on your side. Why doesn't someone go and tell those fucking dickheads that we didn't? They probably didn't know that. Roland, no, tell I know those they dickheads. Didn't know, and that's fair enough. They didn't know, Roland. But, they, <laughs> but, but they didn't give us the benefit of the doubt at all. They just started attacking us. Yeah. Oh, they want to be like Howard. St like that, that, that's what annoying me. If they said, hey, O&A are assholes... All right, fine. You didn't hear the story, but, but that's but shit that they probably wanted we to say being for a outrageous. while. We Rolling. weren't being outrageous. Yeah, I mean, Rolling. Yeah. Crazy glue your fucking ass cheeks together, and you march in there <laughs> and tell them 
<laughs> what is going on? Wait, is this like a war now? It's like an out. Oh yeah, we're all going to be crazy yeah, gluing our assholes together, and we're going to war. That. They, they're blasting us yeah. when she was a radio abysmal war for the ages. Abysmal. Yeah. I don't think talent got to them yet. Probably not. No excuse, but I don't think talent no, got I, to I, them I, to I, tell yeah, them. Yeah, obviously. Happened. And I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care if they you were even <laughs> if they were annoyed at us and they said, "Hey, those dickheads cost us whatever." But the fact that they're blasting us on a personal level, you know that that shit that they they've wanted to say for a while. It's like I want to attack them for the obvious, but I'm not going to. They're just they're fucking assholes. And they should know what they're talking about before they start blasting people. Yeah, Fuck I, do, you guys. I, I do want to be like Howard on vacation. <laughs> Holy shit, you're well, absolutely right. Yeah, we want to be part timers too, so you're right there. <laughs> yeah. Three days a week starting the uh, I do a lot of interviews. I'm interviewed, I'm revealing an interview, that. so I don't respect when somebody isn't. And if you're pushing a reality show, you fucking dummy, how about you be revealing? And I didn't say that to her. And yeah. I wanted to say that to her. There was I admitted like, I was annoyed because I can't be a total pussy and not say I'm not. I was a, a very. Doing? Annoyed. Why don't we talk about the show? Then? Well, last time. It's like, okay, so we instantly go into talk about the show mode, ask her a question, she's like, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, last time we interviewed her, she was just going, kind of smiling every time we asked her something, or she'd be like, yeah, and I said, Paris, listen, and I said it on the air, I said, you gotta, you gotta throw me a bone here, you're not on TV, you have to talk, you have to, people are only hearing, you have to say something, oh. and she didn't just get it, really. No, so. no. No, she was, she was horrible, and again, I feel, I don't even really want to blast her now. Because like I've said, I, 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 if I didn't attack her while she was here, it's like it's a pussy move to do when she's gone. But the out cue guys really annoyed me with that. I, I do have one more question. For and I like Sullivan. those guys, too. That's what bothers me. I genuinely like question. those fucking guys. What's the question? You're going to have to follow me on Twitter to find I out. I follow you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that is cheap. <laughs> it's a good question, too. Maybe Sam can have the you guys. I swear to God, if Roland got her back $1,000 just to get her through that door for well, one more she question. She ran right out. Well, she was out of here. Wait, All right, so maybe wait she went from here and left. She didn't even uh, think about no, doing anybody else. No, no, that I means she was here. looking for an excuse to get the fuck out of here because she felt uncomfortable that's, in general. Not with us, she, by the that's way. That's what they Thank think. you. She was supposed to be here till noon. <laughs> what a fucking a lot of shows. What got. a fucking brat. She left here like Opie and Anthony. <laughs> That's right. Quickly. <laughs> look, look what, what that elevator. Elevator. <laughs> Quickly and unhappily. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a look fucking Look what it takes brat. for us to stay past 10. Do you know what's way. funny? I don't like she, it. She wrote on the picture, "You're hot. Love <laughs> Paris Hill." It's like, what a fucking fraud. Phony. Yeah. Am I hot, really? That's the catchphrase. Well, no, it's hot. Oh, she's terrible. She, you should have. She said, did fuck the show. <laughs> you should have said, "I don't want your autograph on my picture, Jimmy." That's what I would have said. No, I kind of. Uh, you kind of I, I was it, asking huh? to be a dick, and I uh, believe me, if I, I, I'm, I am a worm, and I will ask at any point. But that was one that I. No, did, that was one that's like uh, legitimately and, did not expect. And when you said like. You know, oh, if, if I don't want to be a bother, I already have been. <laughs> God, was, that annoys me. I tweeted the picture of her signing your picture. Oh, good. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, my but those God. Those out guys owe us an apology. She was atrocious. Also, when she left here, she went to the green room, and then her people said they wanted to meet all the other people who were going to interview her first. <laughs> so I guess Larry was next in line, so they had to take Larry from his show to come down and to the And she probably room. said, oh, they berated me. They berated me. We did not. No, the, her people wanted to meet who was going to interview her next. She said, I'm not doing this anymore. And they said, oh, Paris is done. And they, they Paris left. stunk. What an entitled, spoiled, absolute fucking horrible brat. Usually when people come in, they're not what you think they're going to be, and it's kind of a cool surprise. We, we've gotten along with some oh, very yeah, odd... Yeah. I mean, fucking, we get along with Bernard Hopkins, who we probably all intense purpose should not. <laughs> we get along with everyone... The, who, who are some of the people we've had in here that we've... Brooke Shields was a great oh, time. Bruce that, Shields. to me, is a fun celebrity. She's got a great sense of humor. She's fucking open. She's not a baby. Mm -hmm. There have been a few when yeah, we had... Paul uh, Bettany. Yeah, George yeah, Wentz. Travis Tritt. <laughs> Didn't we have Travis Tritt? Yeah. yeah. He came in no, a Travis while Twitch. ago. Travis He's our producer. <laughs> <laughs> You, yeah, uh, it's Travis uh, shit. I should have said shit. <laughs> <laughs> but we had him, and thinking, you know, what are we going to talk to him about? It? But but it, it went off great. And then you have someone like her. You know, were, were you expecting? Yes, a bad interview. No, yeah. I was not. You were absolutely not. no, no, abs absolutely. I just knew it couldn't mm. go well. I, I and, and it's not because I wanted to blow it up or I knew you would try. I knew on this one we wanted to try to make it work, but I just had a bad feeling going into it. Absolutely. Really? Yes, yes. Huh. And then when I saw her out there ordering her, her breakfast, and then when she sat down, mopey with her glasses The second on, she sat down, I, I I'm was like, just this, like, oh, And then boy. I'm thinking to myself, this is going to be tough. But all right, let's try to, you know, it was almost like a challenge. That's why I wanted to get right into it. But I knew it would be tough. She and, looked uh, scared to me. 
She looked scared. And she's not as hot in person. I, I'm I thought about she was very attractive. I was attracted she's to her. She's got a bony, tiny little ass. But she was. Uh, she looked scared. Tiny, tiny. And it's like somebody who looks scared. Yeah. It's like I, I, I try, you try to relate to them and not, but, but there was not one ounce of aggression in, in what I wanted to ask her. And that's what is enraging. Yeah, yeah. Jesse Ventura is a guy who you're challenging his views. You know what I mean? Like he's saying stuff and you know it's going to be combated because you, you already know when he walks in that you don't believe what he believes. You're hot. Love Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean? It's like that's yeah. different. But with yeah. this one, there was to me there was going to be no conflict. I figured it'd be kind of a fluff thing. It wouldn't be a big deal. Maybe we get one or two real that's answers out I of her. Th- that's that's exactly what I was expecting. But I thought she would be fun with it. Her right, level right, right. going to be fun. A fluff thing. Get some info do out that of baby her. voice shit. Her and, level you know. of being unrevealing was mind boggling to me. She's doing a fake reality show. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's not even really a reality show. Oxygen. What else is on? Shit. What other shows on that Oxygen channel that we might? Even be interested in in having somebody on that. Well, w- oxygen w- is owned by NBC. Oh, oh. Well, then I talk about that. So, so what does that What does that Please. mean? No, just like you have the whole family of yeah. people who run NBC in there. So, so now is that going to affect us with anyone from NBC? Mm, shouldn't because it was not no. wasn't your fault. That's the whole thing. Even yeah. Yeah, that doesn't not. matter. You the think they're going to fuck it? They'll, they'll take, yeah, they, they, they'll they, take they, uh, all that word for it. Believe me. They ain't going to listen to... Oh, they're going to listen to dumb radio show over their fucking they'll hear the talent? Tape. They'll hear the tape. Yeah, they'll hear the tape. And the publicist, and... they know she's awful. <sighs> they know she's awful. They have Ugh. to know she's awful. Yeah, her publicist was here sitting down laughing. Look I cannot believe fucking shows. what an entitled... Ugh. Like, I, I know I'm being naive by saying I can't believe what a brat Paris Hilton was, but like, what a really what, you uninteresting kinda, interview. You oh. kind of thought she'd be like at least somewhat tongue-in-cheek about some of her outlandishness. You went to jail. Asking about that makes you more interesting to people. <laughs> you want people to watch your show. It's a show about you. How did going to jail change you? Oh, uh, I How- guess this doesn't mean this means we're not getting anyone from Tori and Dean. <sighs> God, I'm Damn not it. getting that. I love Tori. Oh, jeez. That a great sucks. Couple. Oh, all about Aubrey. We're not getting anyone from that show. How about yeah. House of Glam? I was so hoping to get someone from House of Glam. Oxygen sucks a cock. Whoa. Fuck the channel. Fuck them. Fuck her. Fuck everyone. Now and you're getting competitive. Can what? we go now? Oh, that's true. Let's go I'm home so now. irritated. Hair those... battle spectacular? <laughs> Hair battle spectacular? Is that competing with Jersey Licious? No. I sure hope not. Okay, good. That's more hair battling. Jersey Licious is not hair battling. Yeah. Jersey, Jersey Couture. Couture? That's a Jersey Licious Jersey Licious comp- competitor. Oh boy. I'm team Jersey Licious. I don't know. I got to check out this Jersey Couture before I make any judgments. What are you gonna do? It, I'm calling my local cable pr- cable provider and having oxygen removed from um, from my uh, cable. It went exactly how it was supposed to. Was it? Yeah. Did it? I mean, was mm-hmm. it? Was I it? will say this. I'm flabbergasted. Not blowing up and cursing at her makes me feel better now because now the rest of the platform can't blame me. Exactly. For uh, can't blame any for, of us for her walking out on her interview. Can't blame yeah. any of us. We were doing a fine interview with a bore. For with once, a fucking bore. For once, the Opie and Anthony show was the bigger person. That was for fucking. Once. That was two feet on the jaw nope. and a pliers in the mouth, to tooth pulling. That no. that uh, that we were trying to go through. You know what would have made this interview much better? Night vision. Nice. Like the porno. <laughs> Night vision. Ah, yeah. We looking should have at turned our... the lights down, and she would have looking at them glowing for us. The glowing eyeballs. That's right. Right. And you know, to her credit, Nicole Richie. I had a much better answer for the Lionel the Richie clay head. head. Yeah. I tried to, you know, I tried to bring it all around and lighten it up with the clay head. Yeah. Didn't work at all. Oh, look at some nudes of uh, her. <laughs> there we go. All right. Mm-hmm. Danny knows where to fucking go and find this. Got some nudes. <laughs> Get the nudes. Wow. Holy man. shit. Is she coming back for my question? I, I think, think so. She what is, is that? What's that question going to be? There she is. Let's see them tits. <laughs> You're curious about the question, aren't you? Yeah, they are. <laughs> You're curious about the question. I work. Oh, that's a the girls gone wild guy. <laughs> yep. And she's just showing a tits. Yeah, yeah, that's is that her working since she was 15? <laughs> yes. Shut up. She came in here. I even said she hasn't worked a hard day in her life. Stop. And I'm glad right? you called her out on that one. Did I even ask her? Like, <laughs> did you have a? What pre- you say? Really? You were like, just yeah, shocked. really. I worked. Uh, See, I, I'm not no, even I've mad. I've worked my whole life. I'm stop. not even mad. I really stop. Not. 
Didn't you have, a, I asked her if no. she had a preconceived notion about us. Like, did you think that we were, almost like, I understand why you'd be a little defensive, but we're not fucking with you here. We're not yeah, trying yeah. to fuck with you. I, I, I. Uh, God I, almighty. I, I, I would bet a lot of money she doesn't even know who we are. Uh, that's oh, fair. Yeah, yeah, Fine. Yeah, but someone said lot. that she didn't want to do the show. her lifestyle. We're not in her fucking, in her wheelhouse. There she is getting her pussy eaten. <laughs> her fucking pussy. Yeah. Getting eaten out. There you go. Proud that's moment. A, God, that's hot. Proud moment for the Hiltons right there. That's fun. right up. Uh, it goes that goes right up uh, where when Conrad fucking f built his first hotel. Hey, no, uh, it doesn't. Hey, boys and oh, girls, man. Paris Hilton is checking her Twitter. So uh, you know, keep retweeting the picture. Yeah, tweet. I just, uh, I just sent out because. I, I said she was very boring. I would just go to Google, pa uh, Google uh, Paris Hilton night vision, and uh, and uh, you know, tweet her some pictures. She probably love uh, she being reminded. A, she was not a good interview, and she and she feels what bothers me so much is she didn't. She's got. She no one tells her hmm. that she's awful, and she has no idea. Like she really thinks she was wronged. Like I guarantee you, right now she yeah. feels legitimately no. like she's not oh. spoiled and awful, and that she was wronged. Fuck her. Really terrible. And those oh, out cue guys annoyed me. That annoys the so shit out of me, too. Sam. Much. The whole talent department's outside just talking about how she obviously just wanted a way out of this. and, and it, it was very obvious. Because yeah. she was also supposed to meet, you know, some of the bosses. And stuff. Now, where are the fall guys? No, nah, but everybody's on everybody's on on your guys' side, except, and I'm sure the Alq guys are going to come around because everybody out there is saying that for once, Opie and Anthony didn't do well, anything. Guess uh, what? They I bit their tongues. I don't come around. They held back. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, now I don't come around. Nope. I've never held back like that. I was I, oh, would I, do, I was l furious oh. at that fucking one word answer shit. And again, if she was promoting a record, yeah. I would have more understanding of why somebody doesn't want to get into the personal stuff because it's a record, it's music. But you're promoting a show which Reality says, this show. is my life. It's your life. And then you are fucking don't want to talk about your life. I can't, as a performer, I cannot comprehend that lack of ability to reveal. Yeah. I cannot comprehend that lack of desire to be open. Oh, God. God, that drives me fucking berserk. Oh. Yeah, it was. Else. She was awful. She was abysmal. Yeah, she was abysmal. Well, I thought we, you know, they talk about Lindsay Lohan and stuff. And but she was associated with Lindsay Lohan. And it's like, of do you not course. know how to talk about Lindsay and go? You know what? She's still having some tough times. I, I, I do wish her the best. But yeah, I relate to that. I mean, you go a little crazy out there. Yeah, you can't discuss something. With it was the lifestyle that I was asking. Dummy. The she couldn't even understand that I was talking about the lifestyle, not a specific. Give me an instance where you saw Lindsay Lohan fucking snorting lines off a guy's boner. No one said that. It, it was like I just. It was the lifestyle. It's the Hollywood lifestyle thing, of the uh, you know young and privileged, and uh, you know, give us a little fucking info on that. But no, she's too stupid. Roland? Yes. Oh, nice tits. Oh, oh those are nice tits. Oh, yeah. Who's good, those? Good job, dude, Dan. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, Roland. Oh, yes. God. Nice. Did you go talk nice. to the Alcu guys? Big, <laughs> fucking big <laughs> night vision cock well, well, on the I'll, screen. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to what he said <laughs> first, and I'll talk to him. All right, you're not going to talk to him. What? Out. What do you got? Anything else to add? I'll, t I'll talk to him. I'm not afraid of him. Oh, boy. They're saying this was worse than George went. Which means better. I mean. Yeah, I, I liked it. I liked I it for different reasons. And Make shit out of it. Because it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> we got a little something for Most Uncomfortable Interviews, Volume 2. No, well, that is uh, true. It was a big hit on Memorial Day. But I didn't feel uncomfortable. I felt angry. No, no, that was just anger afterwards. It was uncomfortable for everybody listening. And then it became though. awkward yeah, because you, we, yeah. we, we, I, I was uncomfortable. It, we were trying to get back shit. into the interview. Oh, there she goes. Yeah, she's getting slammed now. Nice. This about. makes me feel better. Here's some of the hard work she is that sexy, she's doing. Dude, I she's fucking, fucking pounded right there. She has the there. best sex tape. I'll say that. It's hot. Really? Yes. Like it? Absolutely, I yeah, like it. I, I can't disagree. But like, she's just atrocious. Yeah, look at her. You imagine trying to argue with her, that it's sense pounded. of entitlement, like in a relationship. Like, ugh. Come on. Get them balls slapping on her lips. <laughs> No reason to be that's nice. Go vulgar. ahead, fucking pounder, fucking. Didn't we also pounder pussy? Didn't we compliment the way she handled stalkers? Look at I like the way they cock. addressed it. Like, ugh, you want a guy audience? That's what you do. Yeah, but all that doesn't matter because right from the get go, she yeah, wasn't work. gonna have any of it. There she is working hard. <laughs> look at that! Look at that! Well, she's giving a guy. There you go. Blowjob. There God, you she's go. Fucking, she's, she's sexy, man. She gives a great blowjob. I gotta go find her. I got one more question. I can't pretend. I'm gonna be checking your Twitter. Here we go. 
Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I'm going to get an apology from the OutQ guys. Absolutely. The they owe us an apology. What? They owe, if they blasted us like that, they absolutely... You know, now we're just going by what a caller said. Imagine if the caller's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean imagine. Like, it's that far-fetched that a caller could be wrong. They're Ooh. always wrong. <laughs> they if, probably said, uh, Obi and Anthony are great guys. That no, they, asshole Paris Hilton. That's why it's best to not get along with anybody in the end. Because they always disappoint. In the end. <laughs> because we were getting along with those guys. And then they, they turned that quickly. Get the fuck out of here. Well, maybe they were just, they I, got I upset. I don't acknowledge them. And they'll apologize. I don't, I, don't, I don't need or want an apology. I could give a fuck. Not an apology would matter. No, yeah. not, not really. It would be nice. I'm not yeah. playing that shit anymore. I that's, had it. That's what those guys really think of us, and that's it. We're, Simple as that. We're peers. Stay tuned for the shit hour. <laughs> of all the eventful shows... It's after Opie and Anthony Live. I'm Sam Roberts. You already knew that. Opie and Anthony left here, and for once, after all that controversy, everybody in management seemed to think it was a good interview. Everybody was on Opie and Anthony's side. This is something we're not used to. Usually when stuff blows up, uh, we're getting yelled at. But for once, this show was not the culprit. Rich Davis just walked in before we went on. That's a, no, I heard that you guys are heroes. Yeah. You're uh, fucking renegades of, of good radio. Now, Rich, you're uh, <laughs> you're on the morning mashup. We found out yeah. Nicole came in on O&A and said that uh, Paris Hilton blew off the mashup. Were you going to have her on Cavino and Rich, too? Yeah, I was supposed to do the back-to-back -back mashup and then Cavino and Rich. And, is that uh, uncomfortable for you? It's uncomfortable. I, what, what I've done, though, is I only do one. Because how do you interview the same person twice, especially someone that's not that awesome? Yeah. But I think you guys pulled a... Uh, I'm sort of glad that happened because I didn't really want to interview her. So you were going to interview her with Cavino. Yeah. What, what's the vibe around here? Like, when you found out that Paris Hilton was blowing everything off, was everybody saying, uh, oh, those Opie and Anthony assholes screwed it up for everybody? Or was it she was... Well, based on reputation, everyone okay. probably thought that you guys, you know... Went where you should have gone, which was asking her about probably jail and sex tape. And we all didn't that. even bring up the sex tape. And then when like, people found out that you guys were were actually playing it down and being nice to her, so that's that's the word that's getting around. The, the word is is that Opie and Anthony were complete gentlemen, and it's all her. Good, thank God. I know uh, I was talking to Spencer and the people in talent. Everybody in talent realizes what happened was not our fault. And apparently, according to Roland, Paris's people were also like. What's Paris doing? Like, why is she yeah, what's doing her this? Deal? So you don't care about it, missing the interview with her? No, yeah, you sort of did me a favor. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't have to look up fake questions. So how come? <laughs> or what I wanted to ask her. How come then we find out that I guess Larry Flick in the OutQ Morning Show, I, apparently according to fans, were calling Obi and Anthony shock jock assholes who were trying to be like Howard Stern that ruined their time with Paris. With Paris Hilton. I mean, you'd oh, think I'd, that they I'd, would... I'd, I'd want you to have more planned than that on your daily agenda. I, I, <laughs> like, move know. on to the next thing? But yeah, it, it, the moving on to the next thing hopefully is most likely better yeah, than the like, Paris Hilton interview. We, we lost the Paris Hilton interview, thank God. We can move on to the next thing. We gotta have a real-life a real life conversation. Yeah. Uh, Eric, are you bummed out you didn't get your picture signed? A little, but that's you, all right. You should, oh, the you, only thing I'm bummed about, Kavino and I have a lot of listeners in town this week, because... Uh, Oh, the dude bro the convention. The dude bro convention. I know. I had to. Uh, I had to co-host Poundstone Power Radio How did because uh, you, you you're tired <laughs> from, from carrying that shit. No, I don't no, know no. what you're talking about, uh, he's Rich. A, he's a good dude, but did you have, uh, was it uh, entertaining? It was entertaining. <laughs> it was. Uh, it was a good show. I made sure of it. But we we have a lot of listeners in town, so uh, guys are swinging by the studio. And I guess it would have been cool for them to see Paris Hilton because a lot of these guys from, you know, listeners yeah, across the country probably never saw celebrities. So that would have been cool. But besides that, nah. She, had, she left her giant sunglasses on the entire time. How she, she had a hoodie and sweatpants. Look at Norton. Jim is just furious. <laughs> Jim, have you gotten over this? Jimmy, I heard that you couldn't have been more fucking polite to this girl. I was, by the way, I know that um, Kenny's waiting for me sitting in the car right now just staring vapidly at the fucking <laughs> steering wheel. I'll be right out, buddy. Troy is bummed out, by the way, because he was he was trying to uh, aim for a little picture. With I don't Paris blame Hilton. you. Um, I was livid, livid, and I, I'm more livid though because she's just a spoiled, vapid brat. I said vapid twice in the same hour. I, I, I want to. You're upset. I heard you set her up with like fucking nice questions too, like to ease it in. I did set up with nice questions, and I wasn't trying to knock her teeth out at all at the interview. No, I was hoping because it's a reality show that she would be slightly revealing. And I asked her, everyone knows she went to jail. It was on every news channel. So I said, how did that change you? And one of the questions was she was doing, she was doing a cleanup on the wall. Mm -hmm. right. She was cleaning up a wall for community service. So we said, what did, what did you do? Like, why did you? Oh, I just did a thing. 
you're showing the fact that you're doing community service <laughs> in your fucking show, and somebody asks you, what did you do? Uh -huh. Why is that a secret? It's a public record. Yeah. You unrevealing fucking blithering idiot. Because I haven't dropped a C-bomb. I'm amazed I haven't. But and I want to say for those fucking out cue motherfuckers who are blasting ONA. Both of those guys, we say hello every day, how are you? And those fucking assholes well, immediately assume that we fucked up and start blasting us on their show. They hated us when we first got here. Then whatever happened, we we were on good terms with OutQ. We were all saying hi to each other, good morning, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, like, Rich was supposed to, he was, because he's on the mashup and Cavino and Rich, not only was the mashup supposed to get uh, Paris Hilton, but Cavino and Rich were supposed to get them. I just want to thank you guys for saving me time. <laughs> he, <laughs> we he said didn't. every other show other than OutQ knows that... O and A and you didn't do anything we wrong. We did nothing wrong, and I understand. Well, how fucking clueless, Jimmy, could she be coming in here? Uh, I mean, did no one brief her? They probably did, but we were going to give her. We don't. We weren't going to. To me, she's an easy target to mm. attack, and that was one I didn't unload on her because she wasn't attacking. She was just being kind of cunty and defensive. Yeah, there's that C bomb. Yeah, but it's like, there's a Y at the end of it. So okay. Much Adjective. 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 You okay. cunty can be kind of affectionate. Like, I come here, you cunty goose. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't, uh, it, that made me very, very fucking angry, and, uh... She was supposed to be here till noon, and the guy who runs Shade 45 just gave me a thumbs up through the window. Your heroes around here. I guess she was supposed to, she must, maybe she was supposed to do Shade 45, and everybody's psyched that they don't have to <laughs> Thank you. interview Paris Hilton. She stunk as an interview. She was a horrible interview, and I thought that, like... What a like, boring person. At the very least, even if she didn't want to go in-depth about what she did, she would at least have some kind of tongue-in-cheek mentality about what her life has become. Let's get back to the show. You Nothing. fucking bore. Nobody. You don't. These people don't know how to sell a show. It's like if people like you, if they find you interesting, they will watch your show. Yeah. You dope. Well, how, well, how fucking you how, dope. How fucking disheartening that she's a celebrity. Like that. How she's so disinteresting. How disheartening that people care. I don't even. She is a horribly, horribly. Well, uninteresting individual. It's strange that like people think that they can come in here, do a bad interview, and just mentioning the show will make people watch it. Like you don't have to be a captivating person as long as you just say what the name of the show is and you're on the air. Everybody will turn it on. Yeah, and, and I know when we're aggressive, and I know when we're dicks. I know when Opie's going to be a dick. Mm -hmm. Um, I know when Ant's going to be fucking. I can you can tell by the little like, like Opie will say shit and move the mic. Like you know when Opie's gearing up. Yes, and you know when Ant's gearing up. Because your know, aunt will do his little things, but neither one of those guys was doing that. No, they were not at all well, feeling shitty or aggressive, and neither was I. We were all playing ball with the publicist, but what I was saying on the air before was that people who are fans of the show knew exactly what was going on. Like Justin Stangle on his Twitter said that he was laughing at uh, Opie, just uncomfortably laughing at all of Paris Hilton's uh, uh, answers, realizing where it was going. And like I told you, Travis and me were Travis and I. Uh, you're right, Travis and I. We're dying laughing in the other room, watching you through the window, trying to maintain your composure. I was so angry. You just had the rage, the Norton rage was just fueling in you. But it's all, it literally is like, it's a really weird thing. Like, the guys I've argued with on the show ferociously, the, the, Chris and, and both guys that could kick the shit out of me, mm -hmm. there's something about arguing with someone who's an easy target, like attacking them, that just kind of turns me off. It's like, ugh, it's like fucking smacking a kid in the face. Yeah. But I should have been more aggressive because she was abominable. That wouldn't have been an attack. She, she was a terrible interview. And the point wasn't to attack her. We didn't book her on the show to attack no! her. No! That's what annoy I, I even said to her, did you have like a preconceived idea? Yeah, you did. You broke it down because you did the one thing that nobody else was doing in the room, which was, all right, let's put the cards on the table. You're obviously acting a certain way. We don't have any of these intentions. You're being defensive for nothing. And o well, Obi said to her, you're annoyed. Yeah, uh, he yeah, did, yeah. And, Obi and, did and, say and that. It was like, I, I just, um, do you think Jim's coming down? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny can call in if he's nervous. You don't have to wait for me, Kenny. I'll take a cab. You don't have to wait. It's okay. Um, who cares if I'm killed on the way home? You'll, you won't feel guilty about it. What do you yes. care? You're a big shot. Kenny, you don't have to wait. I'm teasing you. Um, He'll wait anyway. No, he doesn't have to, though. Like, I, mean, I don't want to sit in fucking traffic because I'm on the... It's no problem. It's no problem. Um, she fucking... I'm more annoyed at the OutQ guys. Because I like those guys. I genuinely like those guys. And I would say hello to them. I ride the elevator up. There's a black guy and a white guy. Larry's the yeah. white guy. I don't even know the black guy's name. I just see him every day. Uh -huh. Keith. 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 I genuinely right. like those guys. And we say hello. 
But to come off and just start brutalizing us, oh, they want to be like this and that. It's not that the insults, what they said didn't hurt. It's the fact that, that oh, that's how these guys feel. Like Why am I nice to these motherfuckers? Yeah. jump on us. Like, they, they're jumping to these conclusions. I would like to hear what they said, too, because our dopey fans are the only ones that have told us that they yeah. really try. Roland, have you heard anything yet? Because I know you said you wanted to listen to what Al-Q said. Yeah, they were making fun of Jimmy. But All right, Roland. Question, if know. you can't take this no, seriously, we won't invite you back yes, in. Yes, Roland. This is no time By for the jokes. Way, I got to tell you something. <laughs> that was obviously the moment of the day, the whole Paris Hilton saga. For me, the other moment of the day was in the middle of uh, the Wiener segment on the show. Uh, Roland throwing that empty cup of coffee on your lap. You almost hit the ceiling. You jumped up so high. You were about to smash Roland with your fists, not verbally. Until you realized there was no hot me, coffee in that he cup. He got me so good. He got, he got me really good when he did that. And he got the show when he said, I have an interesting human being coming through the door. <laughs> two for two. And She's Roland. not listening, but I, I want... Would love to, she, her, here's her worst crime. She's a bore. Yeah. She's a, a bore. Like, that's worse to me. Because there's people that are assholes that aren't boring. You know what I mean? What does she bring a, to the table? What does she bring to the table? Literally... It's hot. She's beautiful, and yeah. I, I was attracted to her. She's very good looking. And dude, I, I, I can't kill the show because I said in front of her that I liked it. So, again, it, 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 it's a pussy move to kill it now. Uh, it's interesting. I liked it more than I thought I would. I have to say that. And I even said that to her. Like, that's a compliment. You're going for a male. I'm telling you, I'm not your target demo. I'm a fucking self-hating white guy, and I'm telling you, I enjoyed it more than I thought. Living the life in such a huge spotlight that she has, that every move she makes has been on TV is an interesting thing. Going to jail is an interesting thing. The sex tape is an interesting thing. But she wouldn't talk about any of it. No, she was disgustingly uninteresting. So I'm telling you, I can't bash the show because, again, I praised it at one point or said it wasn't bad. You want to watch the show... Don't do it based off that interview because she revealed nothing. I mean, I don't... Nothing. And the talent department said the reason she was up here was to get guys watching. Like, the purpose of this trip, that's why she had, was doing us, Cavino and Rich, Shade 45. The yeah. purpose of this trip was to get the guy audience, which I think she blew it. She blew it completely because she's such a spoiled, emotionally spoiled individual. She was terrible. She was, t and everybody who knows her would go, oh, yeah, but no, you guys were mean to her. No, we weren't. I've been mean to people. I know what it's like to be mean to people yeah. and how it feels to fucking, to sink into somebody. And uh, I didn't want to do that with her. I wanted to have fun with Paris Hilton. Why wouldn't you? I'm, that was, she's fucking hot. It would have been one of those beautiful things where everybody was like, oh, Paris Hilton, and you turn it around and she becomes, she has a good time on the show. It's happened with a lot of people. It's happened with almost, with most of them. Uh, on the phone, we've had trouble, but who have we had problems with in person? And I don't know how Especially long. Especially females. Females always end up coming in here nervous and always end up leaving having a good Starting time. Starting with Mila Jovovich, right? She Remember? loves uh, it. She fell off her chair, literally and laughing. Because Anthony's, and she came back because Anthony's yes. doing the Russian thing. It was like every time they're nervous about somebody, we, we are not assholes. It's like almost like they, we know you're expecting that. We're not going to be dicks. We, we, we fucking, you know, it's Paris Hilton. We know who she is. We're not morons. Yeah, the last fight that you got in was Jesse Ventura, and that wasn't even... That was because of what was going on in the interview. That wasn't like, yeah. here, let's get him in. And we're, that's not, this show doesn't book major celebrities to be controversial. We might book like a lame like author to piss on his book or something, but that's a different deal. She came in, Opie was right too. Um, when he said that she thinks she's too good for this play, he was right. Because what happened was she never would have pulled that shit with Piers Morgan. Um, no, and she I was heard crying she on Piers Morgan. She had her mom next to her. She was talking about the sex tape. She was talking about jail. She was talking about how she thought she was in love with Rick Solomon. She right, was talking so, about everything. So the radio guys get nothing. That's what drives me crazy, yeah. too, I guess. And, and again, I should have said that. I, I just again. Sunglasses on texting, the whole deal? Was she... she wasn't texting while she was in the studio, but she left. She had her arms folded the whole time. She yeah. was in like a very diminutive position, mm -hmm. and she had giant, dark black sunglasses on the Which whole time. Which is why when she came in... Some people, when you come into a room full of... Sharon Osbourne, the first time she came in, uh, Jim Belushi was on that day. Right. And uh, I heard that she said to him, how are they? Because she was nervous coming into our show. She didn't understand that I worshipped her husband and would never be mean to her. But she didn't know. She had heard shit about this show. And she was scared coming in. Yeah. And she was very defensive. And she, was, she opened up immediately because she, she's not a fucking I mean, dummy like this one is. She ended up being so comfortable with this show that she came on the air and made fun of Susan Boyle. <laughs> like, that's how comfortable mm -hmm. she is on this show. Now, this is like... This show, once the hosts like you, it's a, an, the most comfortable place on radio. Not the most, like, it's the one place where a guest can come and hang out. I mean, I don't know anything about that because it's rarely comfortable for me. 
Yeah, but as it shouldn't be. <laughs> but it's it was very frustrating. Now that what frustrates me the more is that she just didn't walk out going, eh, I'm not gonna be berated. Yeah. Like you fucking Nobody berated spoiled you. Spoiled baby. Like you don't get to dictate. You're the interviewee. It's not up to you to dictate, but it's we didn't berate you. We just wanted to ask I just questions. wish her sandwiches came so I could eat it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you wish that what her did she order? Come. I don't know though, but I wish they ordered it. Like, it had honey mustard, whatever it was. Yeah, and she didn't like. <laughs> she didn't like. She didn't like the question uh, about, about drinking and getting high. Like, are you still drinking a little bit of partying? You know, oh, I, I don't have time. What do you mean Ugh. you don't have time? Yeah, you know, how long Ugh. does it take to take a pill? Yeah, you you have time. Everybody has time. Everybody has time. And how about you... a nightcap? Everybody has time. Yeah, if you're not, if you're doing it, you're doing it. If you're not, you're not. But again. What the Osbournes, not to bring it all to Ozzy, because that's what I do, was a <laughs> revealing reality show. And the was, only thing that they wouldn't sign off on, they said if, if anything embarrassed the children, that Sharon wanted veto power over is the children couldn't. And we've had Ozzy, Sharon, and Jack in since, and they're, I mean, everybody in the Osbourne family is a great interview. Dude, that you fucking, you watched the, the, the documentary they just did, the talk, Sharon talked about when Ozzy said, you, we, we think you have to die, and he tried to choke her. Yeah. Ozzy... When I did him one on one, the fucking first thing he says about drinking was, "I never planned on trying to kill my wife." And he goes in like he's a revealing, great interview. Are you an Ozzy fan? I, I'm I'm partial <laughs> to him because I like some of his older music. Oh, I haven't okay. followed him recently. Did you want to Troy? No, she's just so used to having her ass Troy. kissed everywhere. Yeah, it's she all goes. about <laughs> Troy. Every time he's got to say something all the time. He's right. I just though. think I mean he when is. she answers interviews, questions like that in interviews, and she gives these bullshit answers, they just tiptoe around. They don't confront her and be like, "What are you doing?" Like yeah. you don't want you don't want to open up and confront her with that. They just kind of okay, whatever you say, Miss, because they want the next interview. Or they exactly, want Nikki helping. Exactly. Wouldn't, in. wouldn't you feel shitty though? Let's say you came to the table and you were on someone's show. I would feel like pressure. Like right, I got to entertain or be or, or reveal something or, or fucking be open. Like an entertaining you, wouldn't person. Wouldn't she does. leave here feeling shitty? Like wow, I gave them nothing. No, because she has no. Because she's extraordinarily emotionally spoiled and has no ability to see herself accurately. And she thinks But think of you, Jimmy, when you go on other people's shows, TV, radio, anything, you you always bring it. Like, you have the, don't you have the vibe like, man, I fucking better bring something to the table. Well, I'm a, because a comic or a radio but, guy is not what that is. Jim, yeah. Jim judges himself on his content, whereas Paris Hilton... Just believes that there is so much value. Her being here was in enough the, in the presence of Paris Hilton that she has she has nothing to prove, and there's no reason for her to bring anything. She did wear these headphones, by the way. That I'm wearing like right that? now. I'm kind of excited about that. Yes, yeah. exciting. Listen, <laughs> I'm sure Club Soda Kenny is downstairs waiting for you, and we have to let Ron and Fez. Uh, All right, I'll jump fuck on Ron and anyway. I just want to trash <laughs> on the show now because we got trash. They well, cost us this interview. They were bothering her on the way in. We'll find out what Alcu said by tomorrow, I'm sure. Yeah, they're, they're picking good enemies, right? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> but for no reason. Smart move. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, the saga will continue. At least that's something to look forward to tomorrow. Troy? I did, I did post a picture of her in studio on my Twitter. Troy Kwan. Check it out. You're, you're a fucking asshole. Shameless. It's not about you, it Jim really Norton, is. on Twitter. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. I'm coming down right now. I hurt my leg, so I can't walk. I hope Kenny right now is by... Fucking West End Avenue. Okay. <laughs> okay. He hates me. Club Soda Kenny on Facebook. Nice, E Rock. Can we get out of here now? This has been After Opie and Anthony Lives. I was sleeping until my phone rang in the middle middle of my night. I didn't mean to call you. I was just thinking of you. I needed guidance. I needed guidance. I couldn't come. I just needed to hear your voice. <laughs> oh, God. I didn't mean it. Because they're opening went, hello, good. and I went, oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> gurgle, gurgle. I actually remixed you. Beating off the burrito. I saw that. Because I was so pissed off yesterday. I decided to fucking do a remix of you masturbating a burrito. Why did you get a... I, 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 the Paris Hilton thing is just ridiculously stupid on on, on so many counts. She was, she was such a drip yesterday. <laughs> a drip. <laughs> she was a dud. A dudderoo. Yeah. Ah, you're all wet. And yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> Go chase yourself. <laughs> and we're all shooting video and this and that. And I shot a little video and I put it up and now that's a problem. It's like, you know, so so people are panicking and calling me and I finally just fucking took it down for now. But, yeah. But, I mean, oh, we did nothing there. wrong yesterday. It's out there in the cyber universe. This broad sucks. We don't know why she's famous. Yeah. She's famous for being hot, but even that is questionable at this time. Because I was the one that said that you guys, you guys are gonna be 
think she's stunning when she walks through here. She, she's all right. I thought she looked good. I, the, I really did. But there's pa- she's doing the plastic surgery and all that to try to hold on to. Oh, yeah. Her lips looked a little odd. Oh, yeah. Something was going on there. And then she wouldn't take off those giant sunglasses. Uh, oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, the attitude made her even less attractive. It's, it's, it's and, very odd how a, fun, how a fun girl can look a little better. Then she might normally, and then a shitty attitude girl but, can all of a sudden not look as hot as she should. Is she a fun girl? Really that's study. That's what I'm saying. No, she's not. She's not a fun girl at all. That's what I'm saying. She somehow like, she doesn't look as good because she's a fucking twat. But she go she walks through life like you know everyone should kiss my ass because I'm so hot and I'm yeah. so rich. But she she's not fun. I was studying no. videos yesterday. I was looking at videos online and stuff. Going, what is the appeal here? Hey. Her simple life show was really good because of Nicole yeah. Richie is a is a funny funny uh, girl she yeah. really is, and uh, now she's doing simple life without Nicole Richie and this is a stinkeroo yeah, it luck. really is and I I knew before the interview that the show sucked but I was trying to be nice about the whole thing going let's see what we could get out of Paris Hilton and the one thing I got to <laughs> say quickly is people are very confused by not only myself but all of us why we didn't completely just attack her and make her uh, in. Uh, I quote, and make her cry and run out of here. Yeah. Honestly, the reason, and it's very simple, she did nothing to deserve us to go down that road. You know, maybe years and years ago we we did some shit to people that didn't deserve it. Yeah. But for many years now, we don't do that unless they deserve it. Yeah, yeah. She was just a dud, a drip. We couldn't get anything out of her, so we're like, well, she'll make herself look bad here. We don't need to completely uh, pull out our claws and rip her apart, you know? The one thing that was annoying, though, was when she turned to our publicist. Oh, yeah, we always fucking hate that. That was really fucking... Like, that was the absolute turning point of, wow, this is just really... This just went from a boring interview, pulling teeth with this fucking bitch... To, all right, now there's a problem. What, what I hated was that she was so dumb. She didn't understand the questions right. she was getting were really good questions in that when someone says to you, look, you went to jail, how did that change you? That's not reaching a conclusion. That's not a challenge. That, that like, literally is. It happened to come up. I didn't plan on asking that. But um, it was like, how, that you can say, you can answer that however you want. Uh-huh. That wasn't a pin you in the corner question. That no. was a legitimate question, and she could have she could have really made herself it's, seem good there, but yeah. she's a dummy. She's it's on dumb. the it's on the first episode of a reality show. She's doing community yes. service because she had a problem. The rumor was cocaine, by the way. Okay, that's why I did this little sniff thing during the interview. Yeah, you know, just and and I mean, of course we're going to bring it up, and of course we're going to bring up Lindsay Lohan and Kim Kardashian and the rest of them right. because Paris Hilton kind of started that trend. These women that are famous for we don't know why. We don't, I don't know why Kim Kardashian is famous. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't define nope. it. But I know she is. She's ridiculously famous. Lindsay Lohan at this point, I don't know why she's famous. It's not because she's been in, she's been doing movies at uh, any time uh, recently. Mm. And I don't think she's even like famous because she did a bug. few movies in the in the past. Didn't like Herbie. Well, she was <laughs> Mean Girls kind of put her over the top, but yeah. But that's many years ago at this point. Yeah. So why is she still famous? Is the question from Scandal? Right. Well, and then you got the person that kind of started it sitting two inches from Jim Norton, so you wanted to get into it a little bit. And she's old old hat now, as far as uh, the whole scandalous. Um, entitled bitchy Hollywood thing. Right. Like she's she's the old one that uh, she, she's irrelevant. One guy tweeted me yesterday, and I wish I saved it for today's show. He was so he said it all. He said something like, "How do you interview a person about a reality show that doesn't want to talk about the reality show?" And then doesn't want to talk about anything else going on in her life. And then he just writes. And you could tell he, he was exasperated for us. He's like, yeah. how do you even do that? Yeah. As you guys. How that do you even just, do that? That was just it. Like, like when she started going, I want to talk about Lindsay Lohan. This, that, that. Which, by the way, I just brought up to, you know, because it was the whole lifestyle issue. Yeah. And, and she was and giving again, us nothing. She's, she's too stupid to realize that I wasn't asking her yeah. to, to give me any, you know, dish anything about Lindsay Lohan. Right. I was talking about that whole thing we have in society, this fascination with scandal and whatnot, but she's much too stupid to realize she's... that. So uh, so then it's like, all right, let's talk about the show then. Mm-hmm. I, was, I was willing to go, okay, mm-hmm. let's talk about your show. Mm-hmm. It's really great. It's nuts. Mm-hmm. It's just 
It's crazy. What's nuts what? about it? What? What's nuts? Tell us then. Right. Give us something. She couldn't even do that. It was like so a, at that point you're just left with it, with nothing. It was like a rolling movie. It's huge. It was like huge. a rolling movie review. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Suspense. Friday thriller, wide. Funny. Friday wide. Fun, huge. Hygiene. Antics. Antics. And I guess hilarity ensues. I, I guess there's drip. I love using old school words. A the, drip. This drip. Kept, a dud. She kept using the word huge because yeah. I think she's trying to get the whole country to go, ah, it's huge. Another catchphrase like it's, it's hot. It's huge. It's, yes, I guess they had it's oh, hot, that's right? that's hot. During Shut up. Life. So, because she tried to squeeze, thank you, Danny. She kept saying huge. She kept trying to push I that I noticed word. that too. I didn't know why. She wants everyone to, to walk around now. Oh, that's huge. But it didn't, it didn't. Go fuck yourself. It didn't catch on. No, no, no. And then, I mean, when these dopey celebrities that have seen and done a lot have to turn around to a publicist with that help me look, Jeez. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. What I hated was she was so imperceptive. And that bothered me. And so not perceptive. And, and could she's no ability to, like, joke about herself or laugh about herself. We weren't even going after her. It's like if I was going to no. go after Paris Hilton, you would have known it. Oh, yeah. or, or if you were going to go after her, it, it wasn't about that. My She's not likable. She really is a no. hateable person. Yeah. My my, un my uh, uncomfortable laughter was because I was really trying to hold back. I was, <laughs> it was killing me. It was, I wanted to do some kind of atom bomb. I, I was really stupefied did. as to where to go but with that. Then it was interesting to me. It was like, wow, this is she is she has nothing. Nothing. And she is nothing. She is famous around the world, mm -hmm. and she comes in here and had nothing. nothing she was out there you could tell she didn't want to do uh this interview she was talked into doing radio in general she looks down at radio which frustrates the fuck out of me because we've been at this game a long time and we've proven to a lot of people that radio could be way better than what you uh, perceive it to be yes. yeah and she's ordering like breakfast out there when it's so obvious look we're we're ready for you the door was open i think kenny had his arm like this way ma'am like, it was so yeah. obvious it was time to enter the studio. And she's just sitting out there trying to figure out what she wants for breakfast. Like, her shit don't stink. Then she comes in here with the glasses on, just kind of... She literally, like, puts herself down, like... Flopped in the chair. Flopped in the chair, like, all right, with With this. no energy, no, didn't bring anything in to talk about, even though it's her her show. Right. Uh, yeah, that was just a... She, she hated me more than, than you guys, and I could sense that. From my first question, she did not like me. And, and again, I don't think it's possible. But, but she I, wasn't going to like anyone, Jimmy. But I really... Uh, it was just that you were first, I, I was guess. not nice to her on my HBO special. And I'm sure she didn't... I, I didn't remember that I even talked about her. And then I happened to click. And I, I don't watch Monster. I haven't seen Monster in. I, I would it's been out, really. Oh. But there was a... I don't think she did either, but there was a clip, clip on there where I'm really not very kind. Uh, and I, I don't... Do I think she remembered? No. but justified. She really... What, I, would I like to think that Paris Hilton knows who I am and who we are? Yes. Uh, the f reality, there's no fucking way she knows us. I don't. I, no, I don't really need to no think that she knows who I am. Know. Just, yeah. The she reality was, I was wondering. I, I sensed that she didn't like me when she sat down and she didn't want to come in here. She, she I no sensed she didn't like she's, us when she was outside the window, outside in, the studio. She's in a, a world of uh, yes people, and you know. She does. She doesn't know what's this, going on in the rest of the this world. This is Norton from his look. HBO uh, oh. special. Why don't you want this? Was I, great. Jim. Yeah, I know. I just, I, okay, mm. this is Paris Hilton and her sex video uh, from Jim Norton on HBO. Paris Hilton deserves to be a sex symbol because she had sex, had the decency to film it and sell it, and I appreciate that. <laughs> I respect that, even though it was that awful green light that they used to catch Mexicans sneaking into Texas. <laughs> But she was a good lay. That should be a requirement to be a sex symbol in this day and age. We should have to see you fuck. Who knows what Marilyn Monroe is like? She might have been awful. She might have grabbed DiMaggio's balls and just smashed them like... Arr, arr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Paris Hilton was wonderful. She took Rick Solomon's big old dick with a big Hilton H behind her. How do you not love that? Shaming mother and father. <laughs> I would have respected her more if she did it in a Ramada Inn. That would have been a great fuck you to the family. <laughs> and these beds are so comfy. <laughs> Yeah, funny. Well, that's Thank great. you. Uh, that's a great bit. Now, I totally forgotten that existed. Oh, well, God, that's great. Now, she says that um, the sex tape ruined her life. 
Oh, but the sex it. tape also just pushed her forward. It, it made her... It took a her to the stratosphere. Name. It absolutely did. To the, the sex tape ruins a politician's life. Right. Not a fucking entitled uh, debutante. Right. It doesn't ruin her fucking life. She's trying to make a whole career based on the fact that she gets in her underwear and dances around at these fucking parties no one else is allowed into. Right. And and, and a sex tape is going to hurt that? Right. What does she do? Right. I, I, Fuck I, you. I, I just... Fuck you. <laughs> It's infuriating when some of these people that have absolutely no talent, yeah. creativity, anything going for themselves, and they're ridiculously famous. She has nothing. You should watch the Kardashians. That show is mind-boggling. Yeah, the the I've sisters the sisters sit around and they're on their fucking uh, iPhones the entire show. They film it and, <clears throat> and and it's doing millions and millions of fucking views. And an, an exasperated uh, fucking Bruce Jenner just walks around. Who was I? Don't, I don't know what to do as a father. Right? He was an Olympic champion. Yeah. And they don't. And they don't even give him respect. Yeah. They sit around and just look at their fucking phones and and have sex with black guys and <laughs> and they're they're monsters. They're monsterly famous. Yeah. You got to sit and really watch because it drives me nuts. I've seen. I'm not that, even gonna lie to you. I've man. watched that one uh, like a few times. And then you got the mother who's had so much fucking plastic uh. surgery, and she she wants to be one of the daughters. Yeah. She wants to be famous herself. For yep. what though? I don't even know what she does. Poor Bruce and, Jenner in his burn victim wig. Oh, God. really? It's terrible. But he looks awful. He's had all that fucking surgery but, done. But then you get one of these uh, um, girls or people in here. This is the point I'm making, and you. This is what you see. This is. We saw the real Paris Hilton. She wasn't. She oh, wasn't okay. tired or hungover. That's what you really get. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. An empty vessel. Uh, the, the phone's just lit. I'm going to start from the top and move my way down. Bill T. Um, well, people have... Uh, <laughs> people Mr. Tetley? Is that you? <laughs> people have great observations from yesterday. <laughs> Bill Tetley. <laughs> David in Texas. hate him. What's up, Oak? What's up, Good David? Evening. Hi. I just wanted to say that uh, when you told Roland to butt, uh, super glue his butt cheeks together and put <laughs> his very funny. out to you... <laughs> It was the funniest fucking thing I've ever heard you say. Super your butt God cheeks. Oh, uh, thank you, sir. But he, he was <laughs> implying that he might get a dick in his ass. Yeah, well, yeah the old in and out cue. Yes. You never know with the gays. You never know. You never know, man. Uh, you know, Roland you, is just a sexy guy. Roland is a dish to certain yeah. members of the gay yes. community. He's a big bear. Gays are yes. very unpredictable. You never know, man. Oh, yeah. You go in there to try to discuss a situation. Next thing you know, you're bent over a counter. Oh, well, next thing beautiful. you know, Roland's f asking Squirt. to be reassigned. Right. <laughs> yes, he's filleting <laughs> yeah. people. I could get you guys uh, some oh, McConaughey. Yeah. <laughs> we would laugh our asses off if Roland was squealing like a pig. That's for sure. Oh. <laughs> But uh, we should get into that. What the fuck is Al-Q getting involved for? We have we have shown nothing but respect for guests in general since moving to this building. So for them to just attack us like they did yesterday. Yeah. Paris Hilton, after our interview, decided she can't do any interviews because we berated her. And that's... Uh, and that's why that was important to, to to leave that video up for a while so you could see for yourself that we weren't berating her. We couldn't have been nicer. And then yeah. she walked out. She needed some excuse to get rid, you know, get out of all the rest she of the interviews. She wanted to just probably go home. Because she knew she was in way over her fucking head. It's getting good reviews, the show. He... Oh, no kidding. <laughs> what, what, where are we at with the Al-Q guys? Have they apologized? I, I don't know. This, someone told me that they, <sighs> this is where we can't really listen to listeners. Someone told me that they didn't mention us by name. Um, I, I don't know. They were very annoyed or whatever. But the guy, Larry, twittered something. But Larry, I twittered something back. Um, I didn't even Twitter anything nasty. I, mean, I did Twitter that I, I wish those. I said that they were assholes. They didn't listen to the tape first. But to him directly, I just Twittered <coughs> that uh, you should listen to the tape. But that, then he took his thing down, so maybe he heard it or whatever. Yeah, but, but it's like you know, we, I've, I've certainly flown off the handle before. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> we, you know, when we it. first moved here, it was, it was weird between us and those guys. But you know, yeah, fast sexual forward, tension. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> fast forward two years, we were getting along with these guys. So for them yeah. to quickly jump to a, a conclusion like that's ridiculous. I haven't heard what they said either, so I have to be fair. I, have, I haven't. Well, heard it. obviously something. I mean, when you know, 
when enough of our listeners get a hold of us with something like that, something went down. By the way, the listeners that are tweeting Paris Hilton, I would never encourage you to do so because it's really apparently it's really upsetting her. Yeah. So you probably shouldn't because uh, she I, she reads her Twitter and it's oh, like it, yeah. it's bothering her, and I don't want to see her upset any further by this whole uh, brouhaha. If oh, I may. You, you know she reads every single one of them. She, she just landed oh, in Madrid, yeah. so she'll be boring another country today. <laughs> is that how long a flight that is? I guess. God, I was Ken listening to Jersey. her song yesterday. I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> a song that was made up for her. That's a good song. She has nothing to do with that song. I love it. You hear how Drew Boogie in a couple hours made you sound good? I'm a good singer, though, dude. <laughs> That's what I, they I do. won Shower Performer of the Year. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Ken in Jersey. Ken. Hey, guys. Oh, okay, by the way, um, everyone's saying Al Q did mention us by name. Oh, yeah. okay. There you go. And each individual. Hold on a minute. Hold on, Ken. Uh, Stryker. Quickly. Yeah. Um, I, when you guys were talking to Roland, I turned over to OutQ for a while to see what they were saying. And a lot of the listeners were calling in, defending you guys. And they went after each one of you guys. Because some of the listeners were trying to say, well, you know, I listen to OutQ occasionally, too. And they're like, oh, you don't listen to us. If, you listen, if ONA knew that you listen to us, that they, they, would, that they would call you and, you know, going off on this. And they pretty much were, you know, they named each one of you guys and said that you were no better than any of the people who were calling to defend you, that you guys were just, you, you suck. I Are still want to, that's too vague. I want to hear yeah, the tape. I want uh, to hear the tape. I want to hear actually. Did, they, did either one of them think I was cute? Well, off the subject. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> I'll tell you this much, you know. I, 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 yeah, we gotta hear exactly. Yeah, what I you really said. should hear it. But were they hinting that we're not like gay friendly or something like that? Because you know we're so gay. Well, friendly. some of the listeners I did see Listen one of the... half our bits these days are gay bits. I'm gay def- friendly. Trust me. So gay friendly. Relax. Mm. I've been Ooh. defending gays on us. television since 2003 when Tough Crowd was on. Oh, Please, my yes. my record kneels for itself. <laughs> is that what they were hinting at, though? I don't know, but I, that's listen, something I would if get. If you listen to us, meaning Al Q, because that, from their perspective, that you know, you can't possibly, you can't possibly listen to both, really. One of my that's best friends were gay. That. Offered me a blowjob. Remember? Right. Yes. Yeah, so you always lie about the conclusion of that. For like I said, <laughs> oh, no. I went to sleep. Did uh, you? Right. Went to sleep after I fucking shot a hot load in of his mouth. Of course you did. After he, he fucking drained <laughs> you like a toothpaste. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to Ken in Jersey. <laughs> Ken, let's go. Thanks for hanging on, Ken. Sorry hi, Ken. for the diversion. No problem. Hey, Anthony, you think Paris had a fucking clue when you asked her about uh, if she ever saw the clay head? That was genius. <laughs> you know, she couldn't I even go just with try- that. Yeah, I was just trying to trying to move <laughs> on, and, and and she it was impossible. I reached the point where I was just like, you know, if you can't p- bring up Lionel Richie's big clay head from the Hello video, and and that isn't a a, a way to move on, uh, then I'm I'm lost. No, that was great. And who Thank was, you, who was the one who asked or reminded her that she dropped her, she left her phone? It was an instinct when she walked oh, out. Oh yeah, I said it when she walked out, but it was like I saw it. It was just, like, I, but dude, what do you, you can't go through her phone. That's like a. I don't know. I, thought, a cr- I thought you were faking it. One of those things. Hey, you dropped. Oh so did no, I, so did I. I thought so. When no, you, but it's, it I was, was just an instinct. I, I saw the phone. It was like your phone. It was just, would have been beautiful. No kidding. If we had five minutes, gave her a reason to come back. That might be. A, no. Is that a crime to go through something? That one we would probably get in shit for. Of course we would. Oh, we would have gotten shit, but, but you know, hey, what about, uh, I don't know where the phone is. But Ken's uh, point, like, she couldn't even go with the clay head thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, go with the clay head. Go with yeah, it. Yeah, no clay clue. Head. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, let's say hi to Jay in Jersey. Jay. Yo, what's up, uh, All right. Right. Listen, uh, you know what? Maybe, maybe you guys uh, just don't have any original questions for Paris. Maybe she's already answered all these. You know what I mean? Got to keep oh. it interesting for Paris. Yeah, right. She. Uh, no, I. I think I you asked her pretty. Hold on, so you're panicking. We're discussing something. I don't even know if he's goofy. I don't right. care if he is or not. Yeah. I, I think the fact is that's the beauty of it. He said something that I can now. I can now uh, uh, stand on a platform about the questions I was given were, were good ones because they weren't condemnation questions, but they were more. It's like you want people. You want a male demo to be interested in your show. That you have to be interesting on a different level than just hi and be cute. She did the same thing to Letterman, though. <laughs> so it's not personal. She just yeah. stinks. Like, she was terrible on Letterman. Do you remember that she was so awful on him and he blasted her? Yep. So it's like, we're not the only ones. I mean, Letterman on TV had to, to deal with this, this she said, mokes. Because she said dummy. 
She's, she might be smart business wise, but as far as questions are she's concerned, she's not smart. You can't give her any leeway. She's not smart business wise either. How does Lionel Richie's Clayhead have its own Twitter? I mean, <laughs> called Lionel Richie's Clayhead. Especially since there's no fingers. You know what the first tweet was? <laughs> what? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Richie uh, in Manhattan. Richie, a lot of comments coming in about yesterday. Loved your comic book. Richie. Hey, good morning, boys. How are you? Hello. Hi, Rich. Hey, uh, Aunt, I love when, you know, she's going all oh, about, I run 17 companies, and you were like, stop. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I'm not going to buy into the fact that she knows what it's like to work a day in her life. A rich fucking debutante mm -hmm. from the Hilton family. It really, really, she earned it all and went out and did. You're, you're full well, of shit. The beauty of the video that now we just got to kind of reference because you can't see it anymore. Although there's, ah, whatever. There's a million copies out there. Oops. Yo, you know what? Uh, hold on, hold on. But when Ant said that, like, stop. In the video, you see the public go, no, no, no. She really. <laughs> no, no, she no, works. No, she did. She, she, she did works. all that. It was a great moment because the public is like, no, no, she's telling the truth here. No, she's Are you fucking not. kidding me? It's like she can't even Pissed acknowledge she comes from a rich back. family. That's what, raining. Yeah. that's what billionaire daughters get. They that's... get everything handed to them, and then maybe technically she's she is involved with companies. She doesn't do the day-to-day -day work. She started out on the in the basement, but she wasn't even good enough to be a – she was a model, but she wasn't, you know, no, a supermodel. No. Hey, boys, you know that, you know, it's the first word, when I was listening to that, when the first word came out of her mouth, I knew that that interview was going to be an abortion. Yeah, I, <laughs> I felt that we were on a bus, and the last stop was Dud City. <laughs> <laughs> Pull the cord. Dudville. <laughs> Dud City. <laughs> yeah, she was the mayor of Dud City, <laughs> running for her third consecutive term. She Dud always wins, Dudville. hands down. By landslide. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, let me say, say hi to Dave in Jersey. Dave. Hey, good morning, boys. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Nice. Jimmy, I was hoping so bad that after she signed your picture that you ripped it up right in front of her. Or <laughs> when you said, or when you said, you know, I'd love to have this, get this signed, but I've already bothered you enough. And she goes, oh, no, 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 I'll sign it, I'll sign it. She just went, nah, it's not fine. Don't worry about it. I wish you ripped up the picture. Oh, it was very sarcastic, it. though. Uh, yeah, I, that was the one. And believe me, I'm a celebrity fool, as everybody knows. But that uh, it was the one I've done. That really was done sarcastically. I didn't expect her to do it. And then she writes, "Hot, you're hot." You're or hot, <laughs> and it was like. Yeah. But to me, that's almost how delusional she of is. Like, course. you can't even be like. Do you? First of all, do you really think that I don't know? A, I'm mediocre on my best day. In the, I, I'm on a one to ten uh, right now. Hold on, sir. I'm, 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 sir. Hold on. Who doesn't know when people are pausing? I, I'm, a, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm maybe a five, but in that picture with her, I'm possibly less than a two and a half. I'm fucking frumpy. My hair is all over. There's gray on it. It's like no one thinks I'm hot in that picture. It's like how delusional are you that you think I would believe that or that you would write that? She probably writes that on every picture. But there's does. nothing real about it. That's what annoys me. Um, yeah. Thank um, you, though. Yeah. Oh, shit. I had Ripping up the picture would have been too aggressive. And, like, she, again, oh. you were right. She didn't do anything to deserve being attacked. She was just a shitty interview. And, and people... <laughs> A few people, uh, fair enough, you got your opinions, uh, you know, whatever. We all do, right? Like yeah. assholes, that old... Hey, yeah. like well, I feel good with the dick in them. But a few people wrote on Twitter yesterday that, uh, oh, now you guys are uh, being all brave and stuff. The fact is, even after the interview, we were frustrated by it. We were going to move on. Yeah. What started us really attacking was after she left, Kenny was outside yeah. and somebody else, and they heard her say... Uh, and I quote, I'm not going to sit there and be berated. Berated? Yeah. No one yeah. was berating and her. Does she even know what the definition of that word? She probably wanted her hair berated because she was going to the islands. Right. <laughs> 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 I'm sure the interview will be played a, a couple times on this channel this weekend. Listen for yeah. yourself. We didn't berate her. No. We couldn't have been nicer Compared, under this uh, circumstances. Maybe compared to an Entertainment Tonight interview. But it's almost like, Parrot, you really don't understand. If you were going to be berated, you would really know right. you're being berated. The best was we couldn't get anything out of her. And then Jimmy goes, okay, then we'll just talk about the show. So tell us about the show. And then she's like, yeah, hijinks, skydiving, crazy. It's unpredictable, crazy. What are we supposed to do with that? She was really uninteresting. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> 
There's so much shit coming in. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, let me say hi to Ryan in the Bronx. Ryan? Good morning, boys. Hey. Hi, Ryan. What's so annoying is like, just to, you know, like, oh, do you, you know, do you have a drink here or there? I said, no, I'm growing up now. I'm growing up now. You're like fucking 30 years old. What do you mean you're growing up now? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, she's 30. And Which was also pointed out when we kind of called her on it. Uh, I think I said, you, you, you're annoyed. You sound annoyed. And she goes, no, nah, it's just... What did she say? It's early or something? It's early. And then everyone on the video on, in the comments is like, the clock said 9.45. It's early. And, and if she's saying that, you know, she's grown up and she's running 17 Running businesses, 17 and companies. And she even said that she gets up early because she's got so much right. on her plate. Yeah. And then, and she then doesn't she, have time to drink. She doesn't have time for anything. And then she turns around and goes, oh, I'm not in a bad mood. It's early. And the clock says 9.45. For a businesswoman, that's pretty late in the morning. You're right. Yeah, I'm all grown up now. Only only way she can get males to watch that show if she did it naked with a sports ticker running on the bottom of it. Or if she was revealing, dude. If she was literally... Guys would give it a shot if there was something different about it than they had come to know. Like, if she had some personal insight and was being honest. Like, you just... Reality TV is so despicably predictable now. Mm -hmm. There's none of it is just the truth about somebody's... Uh, what's going on and what's going wrong with them. And uh, the show, 450,000 viewers. Total. Total 180 uh, viewers uh, under 35 in the demo, and really it didn't didn't crack yeah. the top hundred in cable shows. In cable, yeah, that is is and terrible. And what was it beat out by uh, airing of white chicks and uh, and, and a, everyone everybody and hates Chris. A rerun of everybody hates Chris. I think the uh, <laughs> I think a, a rerun of that by yeah, the way. Yeah. I think the. Uh, the Henry uh, Blake was killed episode of MASH reran and did better with her target <laughs> demo of females. <laughs> Holy mackerel. <laughs> Female. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of 16-year-old girls watching the Henry oh. Blake was killed over the Sea of Japan Paris episode. Paris spun into the Sea of Japan. <laughs> <laughs> there were no viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, That's a great one. Oh, God. She's awful. You have done your job, Captain. I just wanted to do a Mako impression. You're welcome, folks. <laughs> <laughs> we got Larry. Larry! Hello. What's Hi, up, Larry? Larry. Hello. Hi. Well, gentlemen, uh, I think you really mismanaged the Paris interview, especially the aftermath. And, and the reason I say this is because she's so fake and false. All that partying you talked about, she did. She's paid to go to those places so that she appears there. You yeah, the have the, the, the paparazzi are reprehensible, but they're her stock and trade because they keep her in the news. Yeah. If she's ignored, then her alleged brand disappears, and she's had no heat of any kind for so long. No. And I, and I would think she was even paid for the split beaver shots that, that she gave to the paparazzi so that her brand was hot. The sex tape, she's playing to the camera. She knows she's being photographed. She knows she's being filmed. She, did, she said she didn't know um, that, that it was going to be released. I may believe that. I don't know if I believe her on that one. That's a possible. But everything else you're saying, I think, sounds very accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so her entire life has been entitled. And, 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 and don't get me wrong, I don't think you should have jumped down her throat, and I think you handled that part well. Well, I think the real screw-up came was the aftermath, because you had an opportunity. It's the worst thing that can happen to her is to be ignored, and that's what she's been having done. She's pretty much been ignored, which has just got to be frustrating and infuriating. But, hold, Larry, one of the, one of the, I, I know, hold, Larry, I didn't interrupt you. I'm sorry, buddy. But one of the things, and I'm not saying you're wrong f philosophically, but it, we, we run on emotion sometimes, and we were all angry. And if we don't react and say how we're feeling and deal with it, the audience knows that we're being full of shit, and they're all feeling it with us. This is not like a type of thing, like a news tease, where we can just go, okay, off to the weather. Mm. But, you, know, you guys know us, and you knew we were annoyed, and the, you guys would have killed us if we didn't at least admit, yeah, of course we're annoyed. We, you we, knew we were. We certainly were, were going to talk about the interview after the fact, but then what ramped it up was f finding out that she thought, she couldn't possibly actually right. think this, that we were berating her. Exactly. That's when we were like, what? And that's why it, it went to level fucking uh, it, 10. And, and even, even well, after no. that, it didn't get that crazy. We were just, like, Ugh, we were just right. annoyed. Right. 
Well, that aftermath, I understand that. What I was saying when you screwed up, and I, I, I maybe didn't didn't make myself clear, and I apologize for that, is I think you didn't go far enough. You had an opportunity oh. to save your viewers if they were the least bit curious about this turd on TV to explain turd. to them exactly what they were going to see and save them the trouble by blowing up her show. This is what happens. This is how she oh. deals with the lady who writes porn. And that would have... Well, well, I, mean, I, I gave away one. With that, it might have damaged your relationship with uh, the public uh, right. by going too far. There was nothing really to talk yeah. about as far as the show goes. I did blow up one of the spots because they hinted that she's having problems with her boyfriend. And somebody asked, uh, I think it was Anthony, about, you know, do you have a boyfriend, or whatever? And, and she said, yeah. it's going really well. We've been together a year and a half, and we're still together. And I said, oops, I, you know, no reason to watch the show anymore because we know that uh, you're you still with them, you know, because the show's been I, taped already. Right. Oh, I understand, but that attempted humor just fell flat on that humorless uh, thing. Yeah, she she didn't have any type of, of, of self-awareness with humor. And maybe as a comic that's expecting too much from somebody who who is not a you know who's just a, a dud. She has this image that she's a fun party, but she's really not going with the flow type of girl. The fact is, she doesn't understand humor. She barely has a fucking brain and a thought in her in her in her head. But I like that bitch's long tootsies. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck her tootsies. <laughs> How do you not go with the Lionel Richie thing? That's a very safe one. Of it has course. nothing to do with anything. Right. But I think it's because she has a problem with Nicole Richie, so you, she doesn't want to talk about Nicole Richie, and she absolutely has a problem with Kim Kardashian because she—I said it. She she introduced the world to Kim Kardashian. She and now, took her gig, and now Kim yeah Kim took her gig. Very good, yeah. eh? Kim Kardashian is huge, but she doesn't get in trouble, does she? Kim, she's just like ah, she's had her own fucking thing. But Paris Hilton is absolutely not friends with Kim Kardashian. When you say "I wish her well," that means you don't like the person, yeah. and you're just trying to be cool about it. She's frustrated by Kim Kardashian's success, and now she's trying to do the exact same thing with this reality show. Oh yeah, and it stinks, and it's nowhere near the Kardashian show, which I think sucks. Yeah, because they, they're actually people and much more interesting, although I've never seen any of their shows. And I wanted to ask your opinion on one more thing. How much do you think CNN paid her, and then she was so resentful of not only having to get up early in the morning, but do you guys for nothing? Do they pay her, CNN? I don't know where that's at these days. I mean, there's always rumors that uh, people get paid for interviews, but then, yeah. then they say they don't get paid, but then people say, well, but they get taken care of. Where they get put up in nice hotels and dinners and this and that. Maybe, it's, yeah. It's yeah. very, it's a very shady, yes. shady thing that is, that is going on that we don't really understand. To be honest with you, yeah. I, I the rumor yeah, I heard, that. the rumor I heard for the CNN was that she was paid uh, seven hats. Seven hats. Yes, seven hats. <laughs> Four felt, and three of an uh, indeterminate cloth. <laughs> well, I mean, CNN, oh that, that shows in the tank. Their ratings are in the tank, and he's not generating any heat now. And they got her and her mother. Yeah, well, I but the the the, the new show that's the new uh, guy who's got the big show on CNN mm -hmm. um, is There's supposed to be getting a lot of tank. no. It's tanking, and that had to have been a hot interview for him to get. Well, and then to have all those topics talked about, I think that stuff happened. No, 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 I don't, I don't know if I believe that. I think that any publicist in the sure. world would go, you have to do this interview. No, I, don't, I doubt that's a paid Piers Morgan. At this point, uh, Paris yeah, needed... I don't know enough. Right. Right. Well, <laughs> I, I'm answering a question, Larry, if you really want to listen. <laughs> Larry. I think at this point, Paris needs CNN more than CNN needs Paris, okay? She's trying to reinvent herself, and it's going to fail fucking miserably. She's trying to tell the world she's not a partier anymore. She's 30, and she's got all these businesses. It's not going to work. I'm sorry. The world is not going to accept that. They want to see her fucking snatch until it, uh, before it starts drying up. You know what movie I watched in honor of our interview yesterday? Huh? Forget Paris. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Swim walk after that one. After that, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do after a home run. You swim walk. <laughs> What's some of those other Paris movies? <laughs> I don't, that's the only one I know. I know. <laughs> the hottie and the naughty. <laughs> Seriously? The what? Oh, Seriously? The hottie and the naughty? The hottie and the naughty. Oh, are they phone descriptions? <laughs> mm. I think there was a couple Pink Panther movies. Naughty by phone. <laughs> That were filmed in Paris. <laughs> he has a good boy phone and a naughty boy phone. That's Jamaican French. Oh. Wow. Uh, someone is writing a capital letters. Uh, Scoop says, if you go online, there's nothing in the news about Paris Hilton and Opie and Anthony. Yeah, because it wasn't 
It wasn't an event in the no, end. It wasn't. No, because it Four literally fest. was. It was. It was quiet. There was no yelling. There right. was no get out. Fuck you. There was right. none of that. If she walked off, or or we told her to get the fuck out, or yeah. if she ran out of here crying, yeah. then yeah, then we'd be all over the place. We chose not to do that. And it you know was, how easy it would have been for us to get our fucking names all over the place. One lousy question. It was boring. Yeah. Right. Uh, I was going to say you're full of turkey. That's right. Wow. That would have been the headline. Easy. So. I guess they're. Terrible. I guess that's where we're at. Yeah, that's people, where we're at with Dad. Phones really blew up though. They're still blowing up. Uh, see, seems to have everything handed to her. That's why she's such a shitty personality. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> yeah, she's never worked happens. a hard day in her life. Saying she runs seventeen, and then the publicist once again. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, that's true. She really. No, made she her worked. Money. She worked for her um, her whole life, and she did not shut up. No. Maybe going to the clubs and this and that. She's probably made a few mil at this point. Oh, yeah. oh she her, is. But her family's worth billions. She never yeah. had to work. No. And then because of that money, and she was able to set up stuff that none of us would a would be able to ever set up for ourselves. No. <laughs> and I would love to know how many fucking companies have failed. Yeah, and how but, many were, you know, actually she worked for without any input of money from her family. Right. But building it herself. Right. Stop it. I mean, a good example. I'm 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 part owner of a restaurant on Long Island. Yeah. I have nothing to fucking do with it. <laughs> you don't go in there and I eat cook like the, anyone else. Cook the food. You don't go down to to the to the dock and pick the fish. Right. <laughs> and and I'm sure she has that situation <clears throat> where she is part owner of of some some ventures. Yeah. But has nothing to nothing fucking to do, do with it. it. And then she sits here and takes credit that she runs 17 companies? That means I run F.A. Trialies. That's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> she was trying to make huge her catchphrase. Yeah, we, we discussed that. Yeah, it's terrible. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. She, she should have done it after huge. Rick Solomon's penis. <laughs> that would have been accurate. Good old Rick. <laughs> uh, let's see. I guess that's it. I mean... Maybe she's smarter than you give her credit for. She's not smart. Really? Well, let's hear. Let's hear this bit of wisdom. Is that it. Uh, Doug in Illinois. Doug. Morning, boys. Hey, hey I Doug. you a whole once. <laughs> hey, maybe. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Doug went. <laughs> it's just. Wow. <laughs> nice one, Jimmy. Thank you. That was all. That was a double off the wall. Go ahead, Doug. Hey, maybe it's that she knows that you guys are going to create controversy. No. And everyone's no. ignoring her ass. And if she goes on your show and nope. nothing happened but she still walks off, that she gets her name out there because the mm. big bad radio jocks berated her. Nah, dude, it, she was too. Well, I, I got to cut you off. It, it, she was a dud. She wasn't controversial. Well, I know, but she had to do something. So she goes on a controversial show, which is yours. No. And it's not controversial. Ah. And she's going to try to use you guys to get her name out. She, would, she would have said something controversial. There's nothing wrong with your point, but it just uh, it, uh, that's just not what it was happening. Yeah. I mean, when she looked at her publish, she's, she, publicist, she's like, what the fuck? I just want a dumb fluff interview like anyone else would give me and move on. But she didn't yeah. even and give us that. And we weren't even going, uh, you know. Controversial or hardcore? We try. We tried. If she would have said something crazy, like I hope the, the hope the Donald drops pizza on his lap. Whoa! Eh? Easy. Yeah, she, she's truly a dud. Then. Yeah. Fuck her. A dud drip. city. The mayor of dud city. A drip. <laughs> she really is. What's so the definition? Should say. Uh, what's the definition of a drip? A billionaire heiress who yes. can't answer one honest question about herself. You could, if you're on Twitter, you could call her a drip. A drip and a dud. <laughs> Mayor of Dud City. The bus is pulling in. Once again, the winner, uncontested. Yes. Make a speech. She's, <laughs> is she a fuddy duddy? Thanks. A no, she's not old enough to be a fuddy duddy. She's not a fuddy duddy. No. She's a dud. She's, she's heading toward fuddy duddy. She's a, a wet end. <laughs> dud City. <laughs> a drip. What's it, what is the definition of a drip? Let's go to the urban uh, dictionary today. Urban? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a, I think that's an urban them? word, man. I really? I don't hear no, many No, I mean, of as far as the urban dictionary. Oh, they, I thought like the gangster rappers were using. Yeah. No, they take on words like that. I don't know if the uh, traditional yeah. dictionary takes on the See, there it is, urban. Yeah. What do they say for drip? They say drips. Well, for 
for the well, we are on the urban dictionary here yeah. so <laughs> okay <laughs> keep that in mind uh it's a case of chlamydia or gonorrhea where uh, <laughs> as a male's penis drips or leaks pus urine semen unwillingly due to the infection oh, that's not uh, the... <laughs> you want an example of a, uh, in a sentence yes uh did you hear jojo's dick got the drips <laughs> <laughs> jojo who's fucking jojo jojo's yeah. dick got the drips did he, yo did he fuck sweet lorena modern is that what happened <laughs> Hey, the second one down has it. Third one down. Yeah? Drip. Slang. Ah, this is slang dictionary. Yeah, let's go with... Uh, it yeah, right. you go, uh, there was another one. All right. That's... <laughs> Sweet Loretta Modern. All right, here's a drip. Uh, wow, man. Origin, please. No. Definition, please. I'll wait till you hear the spelling bee. D-R-I-P. Drip. Uh, oh, they, I'm gonna have to get the. Right. They're going with just <laughs> fucking drops over and over again. Yeah, Try the regular quick. dictionary; it might there be in go. there. All right, here we go. A drip is a nerd. An oaf. An oaf, <laughs> comma a nerd. Bob is a drip, I guess, but he's harmless. <laughs> a drip. So maybe she's not a drip. What's a dud? Look up dud. Yeah, a dud might be better. A dud. Did no one? Nobody wants to be known as a dud. <laughs> a Dud. <laughs> How is that show? What a dud. <laughs> you to... It's probably a bomb that didn't go off or something. Yeah, well, uh, that's the number two. Number one, a device, comma, person or enterprise that proves to be a failure. And then <laughs> uh, a shell or missile that fails to explode after being fired. Yes, Synony synonyms, a fiasco, debacle, fizzle, <laughs> miscarriage. Yeah, I love that as a synonym. A synonym. <laughs> Did you hear Mary had a dud? <laughs> a dud. <laughs> Mary, yes. <laughs> a dud fell on the floor of the bathroom. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Mary's husband was brushing his teeth. He stepped at her dud. <laughs> <laughs> dud. I kicked her down the stairs. Thank God the dud fell out. <laughs> because he didn't want the baby. Oh, why am I saying it? <laughs> dud. Hey, Jimmy, you like this one. It says related words for dud. Flop, washout, misfire, bomb. Turkey. Oh, a turkey oh, is a good one. A turkey. Oh, also, another one, a flop. Flop is flop. a great word. Oh, that. Did you see that play? It was a total flop. <laughs> flop. <laughs> because I think that comes from you just, if you throw something on the ground, it just goes flop. Yeah. It just flops on the ground. It's useless, so, nothing. So let's call her a flop today. She is a flop. Her show's a flop. A the, dud and a flop needs to be used on Twitter today. And, and there's a funny review. I guess, not, I guess we got to move on from drip, unfortunately. In one of the papers that says something about it's just it's, it's bashing some romantic comedy, and it just says it's a rom com bomb. And I just think that's a bomb is a very funny word when you really think about how awful it is to have your project yeah. be a bomb. <laughs> Nobody wants to bomb. You don't want to bomb. <laughs> what, well, how was uh, how was Bill? Not good. He was bombing on opening night. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody wants to bomb on opening night. He was bombing in that flop of a play he's oh, in. Oh, <laughs> that play was a dud. <laughs> it was a monumental bomb. <laughs> what a flop. Hey, uh, this is the review you were saying, then we'll move on from, yeah, from Yahoo really TV. Fantastic. Paris Hilton wants you to like her. Really? The starlet and paparazzi target has a new reality show. The aim of the show is clear, to change Paris's image and make her a more likable celebrity. That is not going to happen whatsoever. This is going to fail miserably. Good luck. Uh, unfortunately for Paris, that goal might be more lofty than she initially thought. According to early reviews, the billionaire Barbie comes off as a bit of a jerk. And a that's bit. what we thought yesterday. And we... We weren't filming a reality show. A bit. A bit of a jerk on the Oxygen series. And then it goes on and on, blah, blah, blah. So. <laughs> All right. I guess we're done with that. But wait, there was something you said. Shit, you made me think of something. Drip. More like. No, no, flop. more likable. Um, oh, I don't remember. But uh, she really just isn't nice. She, oh, she's trying to change her image? That? Maybe. Um, Some people could change their image. She's, sure. It ain't happening. George Foreman. That. But she doesn't have the personality to change her no, image. No, she's awful. She is what she is. Yeah, she is uh, a dud. She's a real stick in the mud. <laughs> What's a stick in the mud? I don't know why. stick in the mud. Yeah, how did that become like something that's, ugh, you're a real stick in the mud? Because mud, it's, let's be honest, nobody says mud that is stickless rules. Mud stinks. <laughs> At least a stick tells you how deep it is. I don't know why that's so <laughs> bad. I don't know either. 
you're a stick in the mud. Or maybe it's just it was an old Irish expression and said, oh, he's sticking in the mud. Yeah, you're a stick in the mud. Maybe you're sticking and it became a stick in the mud. Yeah. yeah or maybe well, you're, you're dick in the mud was misinterpreted. We're going to find out right stick now. Stick in the mud. Stick yeah. in origin. The mud. origin. 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 Stick in the mud. Pompeii. The figurative Eesh. phrase stick in the mud derives from the imagery of someone whose feet are stuck in wet clay and is unable to progress. It was preceded in the language by earlier versions, for example, uh, stick in the briars, comma clay, comma mire, etc. Uh, these were usually applied to people who remained in a difficult situation, either by choice or because uh -huh. they were stuck. That was preceded by queer in the hay or <laughs> Jew in the belfry. <laughs> these just weird, these weird ways words become. That's some dinosaur <laughs> shit. Nigga in the woodpile. <laughs> <laughs> That's some dinosaur shit right there. Uh, yeah. Is that what it is? Some of the dinosaurs get stuck. We yes. call them all muck and mire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're such a you're such a stick in the La Brea tar pits. That's where that started. <laughs> You're a brontosaurus in the La Brea tar pits. That's too long. It's not getting the message across. Let's update it. Stick in the tar pits? No. Goes back to 1733. Damn. Wow. See, I would have said 1735. Mm. I would have been off yeah, by two yeah. years. Stick in the mud. Damn. Maybe it should be, uh, maybe it's an anal sex reference. Like when you're trying <laughs> to fuck a girl and your dick actually goes in and you pull it out. And it, it, it looks like a, a, a like a fucking Reese's peanut butter cup commercial gone wrong. Oh my god! You dipped your penis in my shit. Oh, a lovely snack we've created. You got shit on my penis. Exactly. There's shit blood and a little swab of paper on my penis. Oh well, look what you've done to my asshole. Oh my Yummy god. snack time. It's not even seven. No. no. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Ramon in Philly. Ramon. Oh, no. Hey, guys. Hey, Ramon. You think that, uh, that that interview was worse than the fucking George Went one? Look, man, I still love the George Went interview. And uh, once again, Bum Dant wasn't here for that one because yeah. that, was, that was a terrific fucking day. That guy was deeply depressed and possibly on, under the influence of beer from the night before. He was a real horse's patoot. <laughs> oh my God, George went sucked. I almost canceled. If my you tell me, if you tell me to leave, fine. <laughs> we weren't. Oh God, he was just a very sad man. All right, I hate the Jesus, it's exhausting. No. Yeah, she, she, George went to the store, bought himself some set, like eggs in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like you're eating a dud. <laughs> a dud. I love that. You got shoe leather in my vagina. You got vagina all over my shoes. The new dud candies by fucking. <laughs> oh, it's going to be an ugly one, folks. Oh, it's certainly. It is. Today is not going to be charming. You can tell. <laughs> Uh, no one slept around here, so I could. I laid down in, in a decent hour. I yeah. fucking just couldn't do it, man. <laughs> All right, we gotta get the latest on Wiener Gate after the break. Yes. Oh yeah. Anyone yeah. know the latest? I know a couple things, but I'm a little. They're saying why Frog looks. It, it really right, yeah, could we'll have been about. a thing. All right, we'll talk about it after the break. And uh, what else was there? The spelling bee was fucking terrific. With the little uh, spelling bee, uh, children all nervous. Huh? Did you oh. get the word right? <laughs> P. Uh, e yeah, P E N U S. <laughs> That's how you spell candy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> On after Opie and Anthony live, but Roland, yes, tell me this. We started the show today. On O and A with uh, some Paris Hilton recap, about an hour's worth. Oh yeah. Um, the show ended. We had the Paris Hilton interview. You had about forty-five minutes of uh, ranting about it. You had about a twenty-minute after O and A all about Paris Hilton. A lot of social networking going on after the show on the Twitter. Jim was twittering a lot about it. Opie twittering about it. Ant had one or two in there, uh, and then Opie with the YouTube that was then taken down. Who knows what the deal with that is? If you do, feel free to embellish. If you don't, feel free not to. But uh, what I was going to ask you, and then we start this morning with a recap of yesterday. Yeah. This is an hour long. Where are you at with this right now? <laughs> How is your life uh, in terms of the Paris Hilton situation is what we'll call it. You know that girl in Egypt who was raped? <laughs> yeah. She had it easier. Oh, don't say that. Don't say that. I don't I don't agree with that. Eric, do you? 
He's not listening. No. Thank He's God. Listening to something else. He would have been offended by that statement. I don't like that type of talk. But what you're saying is, it's been two days worth of dick in the ass for Roland. I know how she feels. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Now, um, is it dealing with stuff from her people? Is it dealing with stuff from bosses here? Is it dealing with stuff from O and A? Or did I just mention everything? I say all of the above. All of the above. Yeah. Um, were you kind of? Did you realize once it happened that this was going to be this long of a situation, or were you hoping for a bit of a blowover? Not a blowover, but not as severe. Um, tell me this. It seemed yesterday, like after the interview, everybody was still on our side, except for the OutQ guys, I guess. No, um, they're they're on our side. I mean, I talked to them. They're really nice. It's just like, it's like anything. Like, they were upset at the moment, then it blows over. Do they apologize? Um. They apologize to you, but maybe not on the air. Yeah. Yeah, right. but they, they, they just said, you know, how it is, because they had a... They something. just got upset in the moment. Yeah, in the moment, yeah. And then, that's like what happened. Jimmy got upset, then he kind of... So, know. tell me this. Are we in trouble? No. With the company? No. Are we in trouble with her people? No. So you think Opie and Anthony might be able to skate this? Oh, no, we just... Because you know, everything... it wasn't... I mean, in the end, it wasn't anything that we did on the no, show. No, no, everything's taken care of. Because of you? Uh, or, you, or you're just yeah. deeply involved? See, yeah. the problem is here, folks, as you can obviously tell, Roland can't give too much information because... For every bit of information that he gives on the air, he's got about six hours of work that he has to do to fix what he just said on the air. Because he's not really, he's not even supposed to be having this conversation right now. Probably not. I mean, it's not a good idea for you to be anywhere near a mic, given the Paris Hilton thing, correct? Uh, I, mean, I mean, I'm not going to divulge anything. Just just that it's been a tough, a it's tough Jay's go Friday. of it. Jay's Friday, that's why. You, you're you're going to drink a lot this weekend, Roland? You bet your sweet ass. <laughs> I want to start drinking like at noon. Well, I saw Greg Charles from Caroline's walking around here. Oh, yeah, we're going to GC. We're gonna... I know he's your drinking buddy. We're tonight. Um, blackout. As far as yeah, total you're, blackout. You're already counting. Fuck on my it. liver. Fuck the bladder. I'm going for all blackout. You mean your bladder? My bladder. Okay. Now, uh, I, I, was, had, I had pains in my bladder. I was thinking. So you're you're planning a blackout. Yeah, he said, I told my liver and my bladder, he said, look, guys, we're going to fucking rule tonight. <laughs> yeah, pack it in, you two, because you're not needed. Nope. You're going to take a lot of damage, put on the artillery, and we're going in. Mm-hmm. That's uh, sad. I had to sleep all day. I wanted to play real quick. This is a quick clip. It's and not a full bit. Masturbate to QVC. You're going to masturbate to QVC? Yep. What on QVC will you masturbate to? The lovely lady, she says, buy these pants. <laughs> you like you like the ladies that sell things on QVC. Do you not have pornography? That is pornography. For you. Oh, yeah. So most people, because most people would make, you know, the little Roland Food Channel masturbation joke. You correct them and say, QVC. QVC ha. is what I masturbate to. Yeah. It's, it's free, 24-7. Mm-hmm. And, you, and you can masturbate and you can buy things, too. What about, uh, to uh, what's his name? Uh, Russell Simmons' brother. What's his name from DMC? DMC. Run. Oh, what? Run, run, run. Yeah. Reverend Run. Reverend Run. His wife sells things on QVC. Lil Jackoff? Probably got two squirts from her. <laughs> a couple of squirts. At least a little bit of pre, right? Yeah. That's disgusting, Roland. We shouldn't be talking Out about such things. But you see that? You As see, in, one was for Brooklyn. <laughs> one for Brooklyn. One for Jam Master J. Can't That's forget right. about him. Pour it out for him. That's disgusting. But you see how easily it comes off the tongue for Roland, whereas Joshy Tomatoes, not so easily. He no. said, I'm done. What I wanted, the reason I was asking about Paris Hilton is because, real quick, I wanted to play, because uh, it had me thinking about it, when Ant asked Paris Hilton when things were going poorly, uh, Troy, you remember this? You you were hoping for a Paris Hilton picture. I really was because I, I, you know, I'm a fan. It didn't yeah. work. It did, are you still a fan? Yeah, of course. You like her. You I, like her vibe. I, I thought it was great. Everything everything yesterday happened. Everything that happened was fucking awesome. Uh-huh. How uncomfortable it was, you know. And the un- unfortunate thing is, you know, being here in the studio, you can watch what's happening and. Watch where Jim is looking and oh, watch yeah. their 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 body language that doesn't translate on the radio, but you could just tell that it was just it was so uncomfortable. Well, we have a little a little taste for those of you who didn't hear it again. Uh, I'm sure. No, spoiler alert. I'm sure that this will be number one on the countdown this week. Um, but if you didn't hear it, or this is just a tiny little clip. This is 30 seconds of Ant. <laughs> who did that? Who, who passed gas just now? I got scared. I hope I hope that that came through on the mic. If it did, <laughs> record the show and and rewind it because I'm sure you heard a little bit because I have two headphones on. Um, 
this was Ant asking Paris. Things got really started getting bad, and Ant thought he would uh, liven things up a little bit, at least put a smile on Paris's face by asking about the Lionel Richie head from the Hello Music because video. Because Nicole when she called in, right. she thought it was hilarious. So here, we'll play this first. This is just a quick clip, and again, you'll be able to hear this on the countdown this weekend. A quick clip of Ant uh, asking Paris Hilton from yesterday's show. Uh, obviously, you grew up with uh, Nicole Richie, Lionel Richie's uh, daughter. Uh, what about that big clay head in Lionel Richie's uh, video, Hello? You ever see it? Um, no, I haven't seen that. I love that song, though. God, I don't want to, I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed with the big clay head. I have to check it out. Yeah, on YouTube. I haven't seen it because I thought it was uh, I thought it was on display somewhere in uh, uh, Lionel Richie's house, and I would assume you would have been there at some point in your life. Yes, and seen the big clay head. I haven't seen that one. Yet. Oh well, Jimmy, I'll check it out next time. I'm trying to think of something from the show. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it was a rough one, folks. You can't just sit there and laugh. And, and like it's funny, Troy. You were sitting in here laughing at, at the question, even though you already heard it. It's a funny question to ask Paris Hilton because it's so random. Paris can't go. Oh yeah, that would be hilarious. Oh, imagine if it was in his house. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I don't know if you saw my show, but and then bring it back to the show, and all of a sudden you're an engaging, interesting person. I'd like to watch this reality show. Yeah. But it didn't work out that way, obviously, as you just heard. Um, we had Lionel Richie's daughter, Paris Hilton's former best friend, on the show. Uh, it was 2007, actually. It was on the uh, K-Rock years. And it was when we were on K-Rock. It was not on the XM side. It was just a phoner, but it was still Nicole Richie. And she was very engaging. Like, Roland, you booked that, right? Yeah. They didn't want to take it. No. You had to fight for that one. Yeah. Yeah, we, we were guest heavy that day because we had Brian Regan and Chuck Liddell in studio while talking to her. And and they, yeah. And they, they really didn't want to take the phoner. Mm -hmm. um, if she had been a bad phoner, she would have been hung up on. Yeah. And that would have been a dick in the ass for you, correct? Uh, yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah. So it was, she wasn't, though. As it turns yeah. out, she was actually a great phone interview. And to be a great phone interview is, is a lot harder than being a great in-studio interview. But uh, she was actually fun enough that we kept her on for 15 minutes, which yeah. is a lot for this show, I think. Yeah, especially, especially on the K-Rock side. Yeah, especially on the K-Rock side. So this is just a quick clip of Nicole Richie being asked the same question about her father, Lionel Richie's clay sculpture head from the Hello Music video uh, right here on After Opie and Anthony. After ONA Live. Do you want to ask yeah. a question too? There was something yeah, I, I, have, I have something I have just, uh, I have to ask you. Of course, uh, Lionel Richie's daughter. Love Lionel Richie. Um, where is the big clay head from the Hello video? Um, we have it, actually. You have it? We have it, yeah. You <laughs> the big clay head. The now, big now, clay head. The, do you think it looks anything like your father? No, and I, I actually don't like looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and who made it? Did that blind girl actually make it? Because I would only say a blind girl could have made that because it looks nothing like him. I don't think she made it, and she's actually not blind. I actually recently, well, not recently, but about five years ago, recognized her i saw her in a commercial like a burger king commercial or something and i was like is that the same girl that was in that's the one that video? made your head or that's supposedly the made, head made the head where that, do you that's where do you not keep a good it? compliment for an artist to ask <laughs> are you blind <laughs> <laughs> where do you keep the head where does your dad keep the head um he has like a collection of stuff so i know that i i, I know i've seen it i don't know exactly where in the house i would display it right in the foyer right in the foyer right when you open the the right, huge right doors when you walk in, yeah i'm sure walk in. i'm i'm sure uh your father has this huge entryway and I would put it in a big glass case, just sitting there like the idol in Indiana Jones. <laughs> uh, that big clay head with the giant, giant jaw and the hair that looked nothing like his. I, I think he should actually put it at the gate. So before. <laughs> oh, that would be good. You're warned, like this is what you're walking into, you know. <laughs> or actually have it tip back and have a red button that uh, he pushes, and a secret panel opens up like Batman's house. <laughs> <laughs> or on a post at the foot of the bed, so it's just staring at you all the time while you're sleeping. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I would love to look at a bust of my own head on the foot of the bed. <laughs> Nicole, I have been fascinated with the clay head for years. Loves it. Yeah. Does he dance on the ceiling? What? Does he dance on the ceiling? Every night. Every yeah. night. Yeah. <laughs> Not entertaining the whole pregnancy thing, though, huh? Damn. I'm sorry? 
Damn, yeah, I enough. wanted a, I wanted a scoop. Yeah, we we need a really we need scoop. a scoop. Do you think page six is going to write about the clay head, Nicole, <laughs> yeah. and the information? <laughs> clay head. Really the interesting. the big headline. Finally, I think. Listen, I give you guys credit. You guys are finally talking about something that no one else talks about. <laughs> I know. I personally get so sick of people asking me the same stupid questions over and over again. See, I knew it. That's <laughs> why I wanted to talk about that. You I could see my favorite interview so far. It's gonna it's gonna say it in page six. It's gonna say Nicole Richie confirms <laughs> clay head. At Dad's house. <laughs> All right, Nicole. Thanks for uh, thanks for uh, giving us a call and uh, continued success. All right, you guys. Thanks. Yeah, right. Tell your father I love him and love the head. If you want, I'll try and get a clay head made of yours. Oh like my that. God! Uh, I would love that. Get me a picture of the clay head. You know I what? Will. The sad part <laughs> is she's not even going to remember us. When she I know. Her. Oh yes, she will. She'll yes. remember us every time she sees that big clay out. head. Stand out in my head. All right, Nicole. Thank you. All right. Bye. After morning. So there you have it. That's how you conduct an interview. Well, not conduct. That's how you are an interviewee. Like, she was down for the question. She was making a little joke here and there. And we learned something. That the head is still in Lionel Richie's house. Who would have thought? And we welcome Jim Florentine to the show. It's been a while. How are you, Jim? All right, man. Who could, it's like, you know, Paris Hilton doesn't have people around her to go, you're a bore. He doesn't have people around him that will, will go to him. That stinks when it's you do that. It's horrible. Somebody Why can't the Yankees do that? The Yankee know. front office do that. Dude, the Steinbrenners. They must like it. You know, they have to like it. You know, or athletes they are dummies. Yeah, they would have shut him down. I forgot we talked to Paris Hilton already. Yeah. I really <laughs> did. We had Paris in here. Yeah, I heard it didn't she go was well. I was following horrible. you guys on oh, Twitter. Like, I heard bitch. <laughs> but we, uh, we didn't attack her. Because it was so interesting how horrible she was. We It was too easy to just beat the shit out of her. It was horrible. Yeah. She was a bad interview. Stunk. Yeah. But she that's, stunk. But that's who she is. Did she get offended by anything you guys said in the interview? Well, we were, uh, br- who, uh, Ann was bringing up uh, Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, I just wanted her take on, you know, the whole Hollywood thing. That's... And she's been through it and shit. And she's like, I don't want to talk about Lindsay. No. She's, I, I, I want to well, talk about I'm my show. I'm here to talk about my show. I'm talk about the show. It's okay. Would you shut the fuck up, you she, bitch? She was a bore. Yeah. She revealed nothing. She was just terrible. She's a terrible interview, dude. Yeah. A terrible She's doing interview. a reality show, so you, you, you babble a little that bit. That is painful, by the way. I watched some, uh, some of it. Because I didn't, I, I watched maybe two seconds of it before she came in because I could give a shit. And uh, I finally watched a little bit more of it. That voiceover she does. And it's she, horrible, right? It's fucking painful to Cause, watch. Because the, the producers realized they had nothing. They had to right. pump it up. So they, they wrote lines her for her. And then she, yeah. does, she does voiceovers uh, over her material. Yeah, they must have looked at it and said, wow, there's nothing here. Yep, yep. Can you come in and loop some shit? And, and, and it was horrible. And that was written for her, you could tell. Of course. Some, you think? I, that felt very some low, organic to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> some low-level well, comic writing. It felt writing. very what? Organic. Ugh. Very genuine. <laughs> like shit. <laughs> her her, her uh, dialogue just seemed very off the cuff. And like, yeah. that's the way she lives. Oh, yeah, that's the person she is. She's wild. If you know, if she had good management or, or PR, just say, look, this is a guy's audience to show. Just play along with play them. Play along. And you'll get some good plugs. Be and cool. some of these guys that would never watch your show are going to go, you know what? I'll check it out. Yeah. I remember when like Richard Simmons went on Stern for the first time. Like, why to having this fag on? <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was interested in the guy because he was a great guest. Yeah. yeah, and I'm like, I like when he comes on, and what do you want to go on Letterman? I go, I'm going to watch him. Turns out, yeah. Turns out she was partying the night before she came in here, even though oh. she doesn't do that anymore. She told us and she's a businesswoman. I run she gets up company. early. At one point, we go, you, you seem kind of uh, you know annoyed or something. She goes, no, it's just early. And, and the clock, I think, early. said 940 at the time. Yeah. I run 17 companies. Turns out she was partying until uh, like 3 in the morning. Yeah. Well, she, I would have respected her if she said, look, I was partying until 3 in the morning. Yeah. I'm kind of cunty. <laughs> I would, you know how much I would have loved her? Yeah, she that said, Look, would have been like, okay, fine. Guys, I apologize. Believe I'm just, me. I'm cunty because I'm, I'm up late. Be, I would I love understand. her if she had the balls to but say that. Her whole angle is she's reinventing herself and she's not that person anymore, but she's still that person, but she's making believe she's not. She yeah. gave a great she, blowjob, though. God yeah. damn, I like her Did sex Did you like the uh, blowjob she uh, was giving? Love that for fucking. That gentleman. Yeah, that Rick Solomon really knew how to fucking Rick get a Hummer. Solomon. Yeah, he sure was getting his uh, knob hobbed. And uh, Glenn Close was supposed to come in, but... Well, o- we still don't know yet. Well, Obi, Anthony, and Jim all said we don't really want her in to start with. Then Anthony and Jim are going on this paintball game with the wire cast this on weekend. Saturday, right? And Yeah, and apparently we're going to be able to get some cast members from the wire in, which if you haven't heard, the show likes the wire. And so when the cast comes to town... 
we're prone to having them in. Now, Sam, what is The Wire? It's an HBO series, Eric. Oh. I don't think we need to bring everybody into that level. How come you didn't display this much personality when you were hosting the show by yourself yesterday? Because I didn't have much time. What do you mean you didn't have much time? You played a long bit. I heard it. I listened to it. Yeah, it was 14 minutes. The whole sh after show was 14 minutes? No, not the whole after show. The whole after show was under half an hour. Well, this one's not going to be that long, and you could still have a little bit of personality well, involved. no one else to talk to. You're not strong on your own. I just threw the bits, and that's what they want to hear. They didn't want to hear me mumbling around. Ro yeah, Roland's all laughs right now. Where is he? Is he still in there? Hold on, let me get him. Because he's all laughs right now. If they could ever I would love to hear what's going on. He's walking right in here. He knows where to go. You know where to go, big man. You know where you're wanted. Hey. Well, how's today going? Uh, fantastic. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a fisherman. I'm going to throw my reel and just wait to see what bites. Because I'm hearing that uh, this Glenn Close thing may be falling apart. Pick the right headphone set. Take your time. No, I just, I'll be a, f a fisherman. I'm going to throw the line out and just wait to see what bites. Because now, Isaiah Willock Jr. from The Wire, they passed twice on him, so. Okay, I don't know. I, I don't What, before? Mm hmm. After he, because he was boring. So that, was he? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, so, okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you're picking up the same thing that I'm picking up in this studio, and I hope it, are you picking it up in the other room, Eric? I'm there's just doing what they there's get. some frustration I'm just telling, there. I'm just telling the truth. Okay, there is some venom. There is some venom, and I venom. hope I know that you lose something. There is a delay, and you lose something when it goes up to the satellite in space, and then back down to your radios. But I know that the venom is coming through in this room. Yeah, when Roland doesn't make eye contact and breathes in really heavy, and then starts, and then starts. Wait a minute, he just said he just insulted thing. He he's, he said something mean. No, I mean just the truth, like they. To the way they feel, I'm telling the way I feel. So, like we said, apparently at the last minute now, there may be some cast members of The Wire coming in to talk about paintball tomorrow. Maybe, yeah. And all of a sudden, Maybe for confirmation. And now uh, it looks like they kind of want to cancel Glenn Close. Yep. That doesn't make you a happy Roland. No. No. Um, is that going to. So, what's your plan of action? Because I see it two ways here. I'm going to be a fisherman. I'm going to wait to see. Just wait and see what happens. Wait and see what happens. The risk in doing it that way, though, is that you could end up with a situation where they're trying to cancel a guest, like tomorrow morning, as they arrive. Isn't that isn't that a risk? Like if you're if they decide, well, no, Roland, we told you we probably don't want Glenn Close. Now we really don't want her, and she's on her way here. Is that a risk? Yeah, but if if something if the let's say if the wire guy goes like look it's only me and another guy and this, this is the only time we have too so I don't know the the, the their timing like whose situation because mm -hmm. I'm not involved in that. So you're willing you're willing to roll the dice on this one. Well, I'm gonna wait a few hours and just. Like, oh, okay. So you're not saying no, no, no. Maybe you won't wait all the way till tomorrow morning. No, 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 no. no. Just like till like noon. But yeah, you're definitely not making any. Uh, no, any... no, no, no. Then noon, then I'll I'll do what I have to do, and then that's it. But you're not happy about it. No, just the person who doesn't want her shouldn't ask me for any favors. That's uh, the way I look at it. If, if I can't get favors, I don't do the favors either. Okay, and I mean, and and you're saying I'm just the favor that you're asking for is take on this. Did she win an Oscar or nominated? Nominated five times. Five times she's been nominated for Oscars? Tony won Tony's, BAFTA's, um, Golden Globes. So she's got a she's got a full trophy case. Yeah. But you're gonna this is gonna be something you remember. It, it's their call, it's their show, so I know you roll. I'm, I'm just a vessel. But when you feel like you're being slighted or when you're not being let's say when you're not being treated fairly, you tend to carry that. Forever. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's something you don't let go of it. No. It's something that you just hold on dearly. Sometimes you'll hide it. But Sometimes you'll lie about it, but it's always there. Yeah. But we got a very busy show. We very have 11 busy. pages of sexting that we have to get through. Oh, my God. Is there that much? Very crazy. And I was talking to Travis. Wow. So I'm like, you know, just print out all 11 pages. What else are we going to do today? By the way, uh, Andrew uh, Breitbart would like to come in at 9 today. So There's a lot of guests. <laughs> a lot that, of guests. That messes up everything. But, yeah. uh, 9. You know how complicated today oh, has I, become. I know. Why would you even suggest that? Because ah, he's in the news. <laughs> Is he, uh... We might be able to do nine as I look at this schedule here. And I was the one that said keep Glenn Close to fuck off the show today, but oh well. We got the wire guys. <laughs> I don't want her on the fucking show. We got too many people. 
And she's somebody that, ah, if you ask me. Why didn't you get involved with that uh, email thing that was going around yesterday? Because yesterday. But then things in changed. The, in the hallway. Things changed after the hallway. Fuck that. I said in the hallway <laughs> yesterday after the show. Here's my take. I don't want Glenn Close in here tomorrow. Too busy. So Call and tell her people it. we've overbooked. And she's welcome to come in at a later date. So you don't want her. I said I don't care at this point. So what did Jimmy say? I said that uh, I would love to talk to her, but today is just too it, still it, too busy. No, then said, why the fuck is I, she coming I, in? I, I, I heard because I heard because the wire guys we we got a bunch of them, but yeah. not a lot of them. So then it's, I think it only felt two guys, like, right? It felt like we could kind of squeeze her in. Is what I was told. I'd rather squeeze Bree part in. That's in the news, all those transcripts and everything. He'll tell you where they came well, from. If Glenn Close comes in at 8.30, then Vincent... Uh, Tanafri is at 9.30. 9.30. Breitbart, 9. He could hang... Uh, or Breitbart. Everyone's saying it's yeah. Breitbart. Will you guys Breitbart. stop? I'm fine. It's Breitbart. And then uh, maybe he hangs for the rest of the show through the Vincent interview. Could be. <laughs> or he could stay until fucking, you know, 9, 9 to 9.30. Either way, Glenn Close is not going to affect the Andrew Breitbart booking. I just remember we're only going to do like 15 minutes with. We're going to pile her. up. Just mark my words. It's going to be a pile up. It's yeah. not good. Because I right, cancel Glenn Close. Because I read <laughs> what I did. I read the the time schedule this morning because I had gotten a text from Breitbart and figured, all right, if if Glenn Close is coming in at eight thirty, we could have him pop in at nine, even do a half hour with him, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, D'Onofrio comes in at 9.30. So it's like, it still works out, but I'd rather have him come in at 8.30, fucking tell Glenn Close to take a hike like I fucking said in the hallway to Roland, who obviously didn't even fucking listen to me. No. Way. I'm a fucking piece of shit when it comes to no. Roland. No. When it comes to Roland and the guests. No, man. I am. I've said no to so many people, and Roland insists on what? still booking them. They still walk through this fucking door. <laughs> well, we all left. That's exactly what was going to happen. But then, uh, did you read any of the emails going back and forth? Cause no, then, it was settled in the hallway. It wasn't, though, because then was. some of the wire guys weren't going to make it in. Then there was only a couple guys coming in, and then those guys... Here's my take. Are, are stars, but maybe not huge stars. So then it was like, okay, maybe we could squeeze her in. And then I said, I don't care. That's fine, then. But I'm only one voice. I didn't care. Because I don't care. If we have no guests today. I would love no guests. Did I you, did just didn't want fucking Glenn Close on the show. How about today? we all enjoy the fact that we did a great interview with Sugar Ray Leonard yesterday. Yes, that was and, superb. And we don't do guests. <laughs> oh, I kind of like when we just do a radio show. Yeah, it is fun. Instead of these people marching down the hall one by one. <laughs> no, I obviously don't mind the wire, guys. Now uh, that you finally saw it four I years saw later. saw it. It's great. <laughs> or D'Onofrio, obviously. Uh, D'Onofrio. Oh, I know. Yeah. I'm just fucking around. Like These that. are jokes. Fucking, uh, uh, you know, Breitbart, he, he could he could add some more shit to these oh, texts. And, uh, Jamie is coming as well. Oh, that's Jamie good. Jamie Hector. Yes, that's good. Very good. So where's Roland? He's going to be doing and, some and, emotional and, eating today, man. And fucking, like, like, this Glenn Close thing has been a pariah since her name came up. Yeah, because we got tricked into thinking that we're, we get excited talking to A-listers. And, and, by the way, she's and an A-minus She's an A -minus lister now. She never won an Oscar. She's no. probably down to a B-lister. I, I know uh, that Damages is a good show. I've never seen it, though. So well, I, we've never seen it exactly. Right, I bet she'd fit in great. When does Roland get down in Down the hall. Is he here yet? Breakfast. Morning mashup would love him. Tell love him, her, right? Tell him to Glenn get an close, extra. Yeah. Tell him to get an extra breakfast because it's gonna be a long day for Roland. Oh boy! Oh, boy. Oh, but boy. the thing is, we're willing to take her early. It's like I, I even said, if we could do her yeah. earlier than anybody else, let's get her in and be great. But she yes. can't come in. Why don't you talk to Roland? Busy. He's walking down the hall now. Very busy. I'll talk to Roland. Does he even know what's going on? Not yet. Bring Not yet. change to mind. Strike out sig stigma. It's been the we, we do retard jokes on this show. What happened? That's what she's doing. A charity, by oh, the way, right. for the mentally ill. I, I did some charity work yesterday. Roland? Yes. Roland, my good friend. <laughs> he said he didn't start. What yes. happened? I I was I was I was. Where's my beep? <laughs> yeah. I was treated like a common person <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> no, exactly. I thought I thought yesterday we had. We had gone over the Glenn Close situation, and we weren't going to 
we weren't going to have her on. I yeah, that was, people... yeah, that was if the big cast members of The Wires were coming in, and they go, it's okay. So, Because there was no big members, just two. We got three now. Now Jamie Hector's now coming. Now Jamie too. Hector's coming in also, and then we got Vincent D'Onofrio. And now, like Andrew Breitbart, Breitbart. wants to come in at, at, at nine. Well, I didn't know about Breitbart. Well, that was a last-minute thing. Things are, things are, see, we needed some wiggle room when for When did Breitbart, Breitbart get a hold what? of you? Fucking four this morning. Four I got this a text. morning. I got a text for four this morning. And, uh, you know, we needed that wiggle room. And, and I had said yesterday, I did say that, that Breitbart said he was coming in today. I didn't know the exact time or anything, but that was the wiggle room we needed was the I Glenn Close wiggle room. I didn't hear that. I, I said that in the hall yesterday. I, I didn't was, hear Breitbart. I was, yeah, I was yelling about Glenn Close and, and the fact that she probably, we should call her people and say, bye. But bye. then there were a lot of emails going back and forth yesterday. Yeah, then in all fairness to Roland, yeah. I was uh, I was I probably uh, in the read, hotel. I was I watching probably the read news. Ten uh, to twelve emails on the wire thing yesterday, as everyone was giving their opinions. Yeah, then I go. I saw I, some of the wire. Uh, yeah, emails. then they're, they're just the two the two guys, and then then Jamie goes, "Okay, you could bring her in because there's only J.D. Williams and Chad Coleman with only confirmed." So I mean, if I if I would known that, would I would have canceled her. So that's I, I'm just doing what the emails said. So it's like. Our aunt was adamant yesterday. Like a common <laughs> I'm treated. Like a fucking <laughs> on the street. Wait. <laughs> but, but then, Jimmy, you did right. say, okay, don't cancel it because we only had Chad and the other guy. Yeah, I read, I think Ope said, I'm not sorry, I'm just saying, I thought you said, all right, keep her. And I was like, all right, yeah, we'll keep her. No, but like too. I said, I'm one voice. So. I thought you said Spider. Well, yeah. That's why I said one voice, I said, two voice. After all the emails going around, I'm like, all right, I thought it, keep I, her. You guys said Chad three, so I go, okay, open Jim. But, yeah, but I wasn't thinking Brie part, honestly. I, I didn't. I didn't even Bright. had no idea. Breitbart. But if, <laughs> I, if I knew about Breitbart, just I so would. you don't have to deal with these idiots. I'm it's gonna, Breitbart. All right. Um, Breitbart is. I, I, uh, I, know. Yeah. I didn't right, even know about it. Breitbart or Breitbart. He's a, he's a bigger get today than she is. It's it's uh. Yeah, with all the uh, transcripts coming out in the I paper. Know. I mean, it's front page still. It's, well, you well, know. he would come in at nine, and he might show you a picture. Huh? You know, and he might show everybody a picture but in he, here. That's all I'm saying. But he won't Twitter the picture for you guys. Huh? I don't, think, I don't think any pictures are going to be twittered. Yeah, yeah but I, I didn't know about that. Mm. Oh, well, she'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you'll get over the picture? Come on. Whoa. Oh! Hey, you didn't I, get yours either. It's I know. the same thing. Oh, no, trust me. Please. Trust me. Oh, damn. <laughs> trust me. You know I what? Know. Now, fuck her. Cancel her. Right. You're right. Fuck her. I would say. Now, no, no more going to bat for Glenn Close. It's uh, easy to just oh, call her people just, and say. I'm just doing that. I know, yeah, and I know what you're doing, brother. And you're, you're annoyed that I'm. I know you're annoyed. And I'm, you know I'm annoyed about yesterday. Yeah, so I'm not going to explode <laughs> about <laughs> yesterday. All right. I apologize to you, Jim, uh, Jimmy. I apologize to you. But without it, I apologize to you. I'm just saying things do change <laughs> on a day to day basis. <laughs> with a show and guests and and we rarely do it we we rarely change to the point where a guest has to be canceled can, can i ask what's this, what's, uh, what's the problem with glenn close <laughs> there have been many guests that we have said wow we, we got nothing got... to say but then they come in and it works out H to be hold a great on interview. hold on but I, I i going all the way back to the beginning we yeah. all found out that we we could get Glenn Close on the show and we all got sort of tricked in a weird way and i'm not i'm not blaming Roland by the way like, all of a sudden, it went into our heads, like, oh, Glenn Close, without even thinking about it. And then you start thinking about it and go, well, why would we ever talk to her? If you replay the tape of when you, you were wrote, never excited about when it, you wrote it down, and you're like, it's an A-list, then let me write it down. And you wrote it down and yeah. showed me, you'll hear in my voice, I go, oh. <laughs> like, I, I thought, I thought A-lister, I'm thinking, you know. <laughs> Will uh, Smith or somebody? Will Smith, Tom Cruise, something like I that. And it was Glenn Close, and I'm just kind of like, I don't, I don't care. Mm. I, I don't watch the show. I haven't seen a movie she's made in in since they came out. What was the last movie she did that anyone cared about? Probably that fucking one with the rabbit. She's done some stuff. No, she, she's a, she's a pretty. She was a lawyer in that other movie, right? <laughs> she's a big Glenn Close is a big name in Hollywood, and I would actually she's somebody I would want to talk to because I think she'd be a fun guest. I met her at Dane Cook's uh, taping. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure she's not. Is a she stiff. chill? I'm sure she is, but it's just a busy day. It's not. Uh, I will bet a lot of money in the end. <laughs> we talked to Glenn Close today. 
Um, <laughs> I'm I know there's no way to. It's like a, it's one of those snowballs rolling down a hill. There's she's, no way to stop it. She's pushing a retarded charity, like a charity for mentally <laughs> a ill people. Retarded today. charity. No, a charity for retarded people. Yes. Yeah. yeah for um, she's throwing the first pitch out at, at um, the Mets game at City Field. All right. So the Great. people there will enjoy her throwing a ball. Oh God. <laughs> Great, we do more fucking retard jokes on this show than than anything. <laughs> she heard the show. Does she know about this show. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think she's going to be as upset. I obviously don't think she'll be that upset well, uh, if we just have our people say, "Oh God, one of the shows you're doing today." Is she doing more shit today? Obviously, if she yeah, couldn't come she, in earlier, she's, she's doing something. She's coming early for us. At and then if it was going to be just 15 minutes, she's probably got something afterwards, right? She's doing um. Uh, to other shows and now it's got fucking look she's got time to hang out drink some coffee relax a little bit yeah. instead of doing this stupid ass fuck show i know but sometimes they get antsy well i gotta tell you roland <laughs> part of I, the job i think is not only getting the good guests for us which you have been impeccable at doing but it's telling some of the guests ah you know maybe not today that's what i think that never happens. I mean, in TV, though, you have it. Yeah, people get bumped. Sure. People get bumped all the time. All the time. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Letterman bumps people all the time. Right. And Letterman bumps comics all the time. Comics remember the are book, Remember the, the author on Jerry Langford's show? I sure do. No, sir, I don't see the name, sir. Sorry, it happens. No, Glenn Close, I don't see your name, Glenn Close. <laughs> Just tell I'll the... check again, Glenn Close. No, Glenn Close, your name is not here, Glenn Close. Let's, let's be in uh, cahoots with the guys downstairs. And make sure her name is not in the system. <laughs> Get her name out of the system. <laughs> and then we go, ah, oh, I don't know what happened. Hey, hey, hey. Make sure Breitbart's name is uh, in the system. <laughs> what, gonna... what time can he come? He's gonna... coming in. At uh, 9 o'clock. We're going to see. Uh, well, I, might be, I might be able to get him in earlier. No, you can't do earlier. <laughs> no, no. Did you look at the schedule? Don't do earlier. Glenn Close, though. Uh, okay, I hear we you. nix Glenn Close, then we could push him. Maybe up. we could bring him in fifteen minutes earlier. Yeah, that sounds good. Eight four five. And you know the wire guy's going to be here a little early, so we'll we'll throw them in as soon as they get here. I don't see them being early. Oh, they'll be <laughs> early. They'll be early. I bet you they're here by seven forty five. Holy All right. moly! So what do we do with Glenn Close once again? <laughs> I say, where's Ronnie B? Well, to is she going to be? Us? If she's going to, uh, well, if we're the first one she was going to do. I say if she's in the building. We can have her walk in for 10 minutes, sure. But I, you can't have her come and then not talk to her. But Wait, is she doing other interviews here? Yeah, um, yeah she's got a couple interviews. others, yeah. Who? who? Uh, I, I, right now. I know. Morning mashup? Yeah, because maybe we just tell her, we, uh, hey, we're I'm big, gonna guess big Cinemagic. fans, but we're really busy. Uh, come on in, tell us about the charity, blah, 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 great. All right, man, we'll do this again some other day. A nice long interview. She's booked for sports, for the Mets Connection, OutQ. And uh, Ron and Fez have her book. Ron and Fez. Oh, oh so she's but gonna be on our channel no matter safe. what. She's <laughs> but he's not coming till later on. Ronnie B. Yeah, but but it's Ronnie. That... Ronnie saves us again. <laughs> Ronnie B. Ronnie saves us again. <laughs> Fucking Iron Horse. Ronnie putting that cape on and saving us again. <laughs> Ronnie B. Ronnie B. The big. Yeah. Oh boy. What the happened? big B on his chest. No, no you guys are set for tonight. Why did you take so. that shot at Jimmy? That was rude. No, I, I deeply apologize. I'm an asshole for that. <laughs> no, I, no, I, I admit it. I was an asshole. I shouldn't have done it. Did your claws come out for a second? No, I just was, just was panicked. So you know how it is in here. You go, ah. Well, we're all extremely. And Roland, this is this has nothing to do with me and you. You know I love you. I know, I know, I know. Just, it, it, it's and I know this is a. It, it no, puts it, a little no, pressure on you. It just after last week. After what happened last week? Yeah, what happened last week? Nothing happened last we week. We had great interviews with all everybody. It, it turns we? out Paris Hilton was a cunt. Oh, Paris Hilton, that has nothing to that do has with nothing us. to do with anybody. I know. But... She turns out she turned out to be a cunt. None we were justified us. in the end. None on us in that one. I know, Even if people were on, suspicious of on, us last week, it, it turns out me. she was a cunt. How is that on you? Do they blame you for the view but as she well? Was fun. Which is yeah, yeah. part of the view. The view and every other show no. she did that they I'm shit on her. Are that you being blamed terrible. for the bad ratings that she's getting? No, I got blamed for the interview. How did you get blamed? Um, well, you whoever by... blamed you, you send them to me. I'll fucking take care of it. Believe me. Right. Yeah, it was it was it was an ugly situation. So holy shit, it was an ugly interview. I know, yeah, and we had no, nothing to do with it. I know nothing to do with you guys, but then for some. 
I got blamed. So it's... well, you should march back in there and tell them my my boys are really pissed off that your client gave uh, them a shitty interview. Give them oh. shit like That's you what just I would like, do. like you just gave Jimmy. No, 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 no it, it wasn't. It, it wasn't mostly Sam's trying people. to start something. Whoa, his singular. Oh, Whoa. Trust me, my ear here is deaf. <laughs> you don't no. you don't hear Sam, do you? No, no, I, you got your Sam filter on. Yeah, no, just I like, get in trouble for that. And what'd you get in trouble for? And then if she cancels the rest of the platform by not waiting, then I'll get into double the second time. In what two weeks. happened? No, 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 no. The Paris Hilton turned out to be a cunt. Everyone knows I that. I know. Glenn Close gets an extra 10 minutes to fucking sit around and have some coffee. Right. <laughs> bagel. Uh, but, but, she's com- bagel. but she's coming in like at 8. The schmear. What? No, she comes in early because of the publicist told her to come in early. For what? To, for, they, all, they all come in like 10, 15 minutes early. Oh, is Glenn Close? Set up a room with Sam. She'll never know it's not even on the air. We got an empty studio around. Yeah, she's yeah. a dummy. And Sam could go in there and just be like, hey, it's Glenn Close. Glenn Close. And then you talk to her. Go, hey. Right? Yeah. Just put a banner behind Sam that says Opie and Anthony. These people don't know what we look like. And go, I thought you were a what? guy. Ah, you know, because of the name. Right. Yeah. She'll laugh and then it breaks the ice. Yeah. Put her in a room with Bobo. That's what she mm. deserves. Get along. Uh. I, 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 I knew you. I heard I, you. I, I, oh, my God. I, I, I. Now, that's hilarious. <laughs> if, you, uh. if you want to like, do 10 minutes, bring her in and say, hey, thank you, you're busy. And then that that's. There's, yeah. no way, there's no way to get her off the show, is there? I, that's what I said to you. That, there's no, no way to get her off this no, show. I'll tell you what happened off there last week. It was, it was bad. Who, Everybody, who is the person that came to you and said you fucked up? Baldy? Now, how the fuck is that you fucking up? What did you say in your defense? It, it was a long story, so I have to, it, I have to start from the beginning. Yeah, it, and if that motherfucker's coming to you, then he obviously thinks we did something wrong. Well, that's... Well, I want to well, speak with him. Was, no, that was, it was a different matter. In, what no, was a no, different no. matter? That's what I try to tell Roland off the air, that... If those guys aren't coming to us directly, then there's no problems with anything. Then there's anything. no problem. There's no problems with anything unless they come to us and, and, and tell us there's a problem. How would Gary come to you <laughs> and give you shit about the Paris interview when you had nothing to do with anything that even happened in this studio where, uh, where we had nothing to and do it, with it going awry? And it wasn't hint- necessarily the interview that no, was the and, issue. No, it was I, in the, it was the interview. If well, you're hinting it. at the, the, the video, yeah, yeah. I did that on my own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has nothing to do with you. I yeah. popped yeah. on my camera and I started fucking filming. I, I didn't know that she didn't want to be filmed. Fuck her. Fuck yeah. her, fuck her people, and fuck the people that are fucking blaming you. What, is that you? You're supposed to fucking come in here and snatch up all the cameras I, and everything? And, I did the camera thing job, on my own. Rolling? You're okay. You're on the clear. I see Paris Hilton sitting literally seven feet away from me. I'm going to turn on a camera. Sorry. And then I fucking posted it. Yes. So it's on me, not you. And that's what I told them off the air. You can talk about it on the air. Give people shit. If these assholes come to us directly, then it's an issue. Until then, there's no issues. And secondly, I was talking to uh, Brother Weasel yesterday. He's like, wow, that Paris Hilton video. Holy shit, that's a great hit for you guys. Like, don't they even fucking understand that's that's huge to get that shit out there no matter what? Yeah. She's known around the fucking world, and we got video of her acting like a cunt. Believe me, there's video of her sucking cock out there. Right. And, and nothing came of it. Right. I and, think a little bit in this in this radio station isn't going to do anything. And you know what? I, I'll speak for Roland. Fuck it. Like, I guess she was supposed to sign something, or her people were supposed to sign something, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And for some reason, it's Roland's responsibility because she marched out without signing anything because she was pissed off because, Not Roland's problem. because she decided she was going to be a cunt that supposed morning. Supposed to chase an angry fucking right. twat into an elevator and to sign something? Yeah. Fuck, yeah. This, fuck, that. fuck this shit. And it turns out that she was partying until 3 in the morning, even though she's trying to tell us she's a businesswoman at yeah. 30 years old. That's why she was tired and gave us a shitty interview that day. And then she knew she was sucking dick basically yeah and decide i can't be part of this because i i'm not I, I don't have a brain when it comes down to it so she marched out of here fucking the whole company over and then they turn around and try to fuck Roland. get the fuck out of yeah here. yeah the, it's misplaced fucking anger and uh yeah. they Roland don't had no idea us. that i turned on my fucking camera and filmed. no one had an idea really until i the, posted it no one yeah. who's really to blame gets blamed around here. A bit or or no one who, not even blame, that sounds ridiculous. If there is a discussion that needs to be had, it should be between uh, uh, whoever has the problem 
and who they have the problem with. Not fucking 10 degrees of go-betweens or, or, or you know, the guy that's booking the guests or something. If there's a problem well, with something I did, talk to me. And no something one that Opie did, talk to him. Jimmy, talk to him. And if we don't hear from... No, oh, Roland, Roland, no. If, if we don't hear from those guys down the hall, it's never a problem. No. Nope. No when the Paris Hilton video became a problem. 11, I think 30. it was 11.30 at night. Oh, really? The video was up at that point probably 12 20, hours, yeah. okay? Yeah, yeah. And then when I did talk to the guy, I convinced him, let's keep the video up until tomorrow morning. But then at that point, I decided to make the video private just to calm people down. Yeah. Mostly because Roland was freaking out, even though I'm like, you, there's no reason to freak out because no one came to me or Anthony about the video yeah. all day long. No it, one. It was just a bad two days for me. Yeah, but they're beating you up for no reason. I know. Do you yeah. understand that? I know. You didn't tell me to uh, to make the video. No. I didn't tell you I made the video. I marched out of here and I fucking uploaded it. Yeah. Uh, You're supposed pa to be Kreskin. Paris Hilton had a bad time on our show because she just sucks in general. And she's a party girl, even though she's trying to make believe she's not anymore. And she marched out of here because she knew she was going to just get fried by every single person in this place. And then you're supposed to follow her and 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 her people and have her try to sign shit. Get the fuck out of here. So do you want her or not? I'm just sort of stressed right now. Roland, are you okay? I'm just sort of stressed. No, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Roland, it's okay. We'll get Glenn close in. Get Glenn close. It's okay. Shake it off. Deep breaths. The stress of this place is going to kill people. It's just going to kill people. There will be corpses uh, uh, from people oh, just fucking dying of stress. Well, that's why I'm. I, that's I'm why I'm sorry. That's why I'm out of here in a year. I have no. Problem it's just. It. It's just fucking. It's too stressful. I'm done. What, what you're hearing from Roland right now really is the way every one of us feels. Every, Every day, day of our lives. Yeah, because the shit that went on yesterday we'll discuss in a little bit, too, in a manner that uh, keeps it safe for everybody. E-Rock, uh, you're not mad at me, Roland, are you? I'm just no, fucking no, defending. Roland's not mad. I'm He's fucking very defending frustrated. you. He's very uh, frustrated. No, 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 I'm no, defending you because no, if these no, fucking, no. once again, if these guys don't come down the hall and talk to me and Ant, they can't be beating you guys up. I know. I love because you guys, it's only a problem when it gets to us. Iraq, e what were you gonna say that you said in my fucking ear? Um, there, there's times throughout the day that I've overheard and seen, like, from a, a variety of people that work here, the shit that Roland has to go through. What is he going the through? They come in, like, they'll talk to him about something, and then they come back in maybe 20 minutes later on the same subject. Now it seems to be escalating, and then they'll come back a half an hour again. The guy's and it's giving us worse. great details. Guests. Great details. Yeah, like guests. what, D Rock? You're, just, you're, you're, you're languishing in vagaries. Once again, you're vague. <clears throat> oh, yeah. God, you're e right. That's just like the news story. You, when you said he calls, he goes, watch the news. Yeah, E-Rock e is the the vaguest person I know in my life. It's yeah. so frustrating. Have some balls. He'll, he'll start Say what you fucking want. He'll start his text messages with, hey. And then you write back, hey, what's up? Uh, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. And then maybe by the third text, he starts telling you what's going on. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. So with fucking details. Yeah, right. what are you talking about? So go with the Paris Hilton thing, because that's, that's very fresh. Right, exactly, with the Paris Hilton thing. Because now we got Roland fucking crying. <laughs> there was like... Two or three different people coming into our office talking to Roland about um, the uh, the the release, uh, the, the way that she was handled, the video. Uh, did anybody talk to Opie about this yet? And Roland's like, I tried. I haven't heard back from him yet. Did well, that's anyone? Not good how enough. about they fucking walk in and talk to and, Opie? And uh, let, let me tell you my world because I've been at this a long fucking time. Roland did get to me, and I'm like, I'm not worried about it until one of the quote, and I use quotes. Yeah, bosses get to me because at that it's not a problem until someone talks to me directly. Hey, Roland's not the in between between those guys and no! us whatsoever. So they're he beating books for the show. They're beating him up to try to get me to take down a video, and I'm walking around New York going, "I'll fucking take it down when one of the, the main guys finally gets a hold of me." That's exactly my logic. Go ahead, E. Like I said, it's an impeccable oh. job of booking for this show, and he shouldn't take shit from those fucking guys down the hall. Because they don't contact you. Nobody here contacts the three of you for anything, oh, and that's they go ridiculous. right after him. Well, I spoke to Gary that night. I called Gary. It was like 10.30 yeah. at night. Whatever It was going on before 11.30. Mm -hmm. It might have got to you by 11.30, but it was, it was happening going on all then. day. But, but my point being, if Gary or 
Rob or Steve don't talk to me, then I'm I'm fine. Yeah. And everyone else should be fine, by the way, because yeah. I took it upon myself. Roland didn't say, "Hey, make sure your video and uh, you know get this up." No. Somewhere. I called Gary by that at ten o'clock at night. I talked to him, and I'm like, you know, you can't. I'm like, you know, because Roland was concerned, so I just called him. He didn't ask me to call. I just called him, and. Uh, Gary's like, no, 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 I know. And I, he's like, well, there was just a release issue. And I'm like, well, the release, there's also a platform-wide release, uh, which he's not responsible for getting right just necessarily before our show. I no. mean, And he knew that. And he goes, you think he's still up? Like, meaning that he was in a call him. And I think he, they talked the next morning. But by that point, he knew, and, and it was nothing. The, the initial, all they think of here is lawsuits. It's all they think oh, of. But no, I'm just. I know, I know. And I'm just it's voicing all my fucking. they think of is if there's oh. a. When something happens, immediately every head in this place on that side turns to, there's going to be a legal issue, Brr. who do we blame, and how do we not yeah. get blamed? Yes. That's all it is. That's all well and good, but... Oh. So he was the first line of the, in their mind of defense, well, he was supposed to get this, to, which would have fallen apart completely They should have went right to me and Ant. They have a throw-under-the-bus machine they can't, yeah. there. Yeah. They can't uh, fire Roland or threaten the no. firing over that. No. They can't. It's not his fucking job in the not end. Not his job. It's unbelievable. What else did he? So they were beating him up all day after yeah, the Paris Hilton thing? What you're saying is like they can't uh, fire him and threaten and all that stuff, but they it, it's being done in a way without those words being directly said, but everything else that they're saying is being implied that, you know, your ass is on the line for this, that we could get rid of you at any time. Oh, fucking A. That's impossible. That That's, uh, that is Im Good luck. That is impossible. Because Thursday was I, I got really a record bad. where uh, it's still on my phone. I think Gary finally... The only re Gary reacted to something I tweeted that night because I was starting to get, you know, frustrated because I had knew I didn't hear from any from anyone from the company. And then he's like, "Hey, what's up?" And I just saw your tweet or something like that, and that was probably ten thirty, ten forty five, probably. So then I guess technically that's when officially it was a problem that video God, that I shot on my own without telling anybody. This fucking place. I just fucking picked up my new camera this and I I set place. it down for that interview because I knew she was. It's going to be difficult. It's just, it's it's stunning, this place. Yeah. It really is. It never ceases to amaze me how, no matter how hard I try to have loyalty, oh, they have manage loyalty. to do something you can't have loyalty. These to guys, make me regret it. These guys don't know how to take care of their, their people. They take care of the one guy, and even the one guy is fucking Even the one guy is not happy, believe me. He's, he's pissed he's, off at him. He's, he's got the, millions of dollars in issues. To, yeah, he's, he's the <laughs> ultimate. He's, not he's the ultimate pissed off guy in the room. Yeah, he's not happy. We're gonna Holy shit. We're going to lose one of our... Uh, we're going to lose somebody else soon because I had a long talk with somebody else yesterday about this place. Yeah. Um, You're going to write it down? Is it Glenn Close? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's being hired as manager of operations. <laughs> I got I to gotta write this one yes, down. Yes, write that down. For the newer listeners, don't get frustrated by us writing shit down. All this always oh, comes it out. Always on the comes air. out. Believe always. me. Almost everything. Yeah. Any new listeners that happen to stumble what? on it. What? I didn't oh, yeah. see. Can I see? D please don't see. Yeah, no, 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 no. I won't. Um, but I'll, 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 I'll read you what was, uh, sent to me yesterday. Holy mother. This is my, Jesus. this That's is, this is a regular Christ. day, by the way, after I leave this fucking place. Yeah. This is a regular fucking day. That's why when the Roland, the Paris Hilton thing was going down, I'm like, I'm walking around New York with my kid. I was at, I was at playgrounds. I was getting fucking treats and I was just enjoying myself treats. waiting for those guys to, uh, write me or call me. Knowing the longer they wait, that video, I'll tell you, that video would get out there. Mm -hmm. People would see it on my channel, and I knew damn well the pests were going to grab it and start pushing it there, yeah. you know, to other places. That's what so when I did take my video down, guess what? It didn't do anything in the That's end because there's, there's 10 to 12 copies of that thing out there. Still easily accessible. So I just walked around fucking licking ice cream cones and all that shit just waiting. Because <laughs> I've been at this fucking job a long time. I know how this shit works. And that's why I try to tell Roland. I'm like, until they get a hold of me, I'll say it again. There's, there's no issue, and certainly no issue with you, because if they told you to tell me, then you did your job. And they're uh, happy. They're happy with. We, we had the meeting, the three of us, with Bladder, and Roland's name was brought up. And Bladder uh, had nothing but praise and said, that, "No, people are even amazed how well he works with everybody." At the, he said, "There hasn't been one complaint from anybody he's worked." Yeah. So, yeah. like behind the scenes. I, I think they feel that Roland is a way to get through to the show. That's kind yeah, of a, 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 a nicer way. Other match Roland alone. He has nothing to do with fucking anything else on this program. He books 
great guests. We have great fucking interviews. Uh, I, they do know that, and his job is, believe me, not you know in anywhere. Look at danger. pre Roland and post Roland as far as guests go on the show and, uh, the, and the quality no, of interviews go. It's a big. It's, it's it, black and white. It's a bigger issue. Management has always tried this tact over the years. Try to have all the people get to us, but chipping away at the out fact, at the periphery instead of going for right. the fucking uh, uh, the look, three of us and look, fucking talking to us. Look, put it oh, on record. <laughs> Put it on record. If there's an issue, you can't. You got to get to us directly. Yeah. Simple as that. Yeah. He's stressing out for no, Roland. I swear to you, and I'm sorry, I, I you, you broke down this morning. You're stressing about nothing. You're doing a great job for us in this company, and 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 they weren't going to fire you. They didn't have a case. Yeah, but if somebody tells you you have to. I mean, that's why I was like, okay. Yeah, but then you go back to him and go, all right, I I I I, I did what you said. Oh. She marched out of here, that twat. Yeah, yeah. She marched out of here. We were supposed to tackle her. And what this no com- fucking what this company should be doing is getting to her people, her publicist, the 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 network she's involved with, and go look. You really fucked over our company and our guys. Yeah, you they, know they are exactly what you just said. They are wormy, and I mean the the company yeah. as a whole is wormy when it comes to big name talent or names. They don't. It's like you have a twenty million subscription company here. And that's what, two people per sub? You're talking to 35 to 40 million people? Listener base, uh, it, it, right. Listener base. You don't have to kiss ass when somebody is atrocious. Right. Yeah. It isn't like Springsteen came to play right. and somebody tripped him and broke his guitar in his fucking shoulder. <laughs> it's stupid Paris Hilton. Within a year, no one will give a shit about it. And oh, she was terrible. Please. She Absolutely. didn't walk in and get sandbagged here. We didn't fucking no. ambush her. We yeah. were so fucking nice. That's why. wouldn't have been nicer to her. And that's why I love drip. That's why I love that video because now, thank God, there's evidence out there. Yeah. There's fucking evidence out there that... We were on our best behavior. You know, knowing said, if we went after, her, then they would spin it and go, "Wow, Opie and Anthony haven't a learned a thing in, in all these years, and they're still a bunch right. of twats." There would have been a problem. A non fan, non fan of the show. Not that she doesn't like the show, but she doesn't listen to it. Sent me a PM on Twitter. Uh, Megan McCain said, that, "Hey, I watched that Paris video. What's the? Why was she like that? You guys were so nice to her, dude. Yeah. That, that's what everybody's impression. Everybody. Everyone's calling me. All my little fucking moles out there and other radio guys. I've been getting calls like, wow, what a congrats. Yep. And we, we are, uh, and we're, they make us feel like shit about it. Yeah, I got people calling me from all over the country going, wow." We do great radio every day, but it's it's stuff like this that make people talk and uh, make people call me personally and go, "Wow, you guys are onto some shit, huh?" And like anyway, it was our problem that like she I, was a fucking piece of shit. And then oh. this came in yesterday, which I was dealing with. Uh, not to do with it, it's not Roland or any of the guys in this room, okay? Uh, or Iraq, who's in the other room. Uh, when you're good, I need to get your advice about the future. Sirius XM is a very difficult entity to stay friendly with, and boy, does that say it all. Boy, does that say it all. Difficult entity. That's what we're finding. Yeah. That's what we're finding. Stupid. Uh, I didn't mean to say no, stupid. No, no, I don't mean that. You know how I do yeah, that, yeah, yeah. though. I'm sorry. But some people go, what the fuck? Yeah, no, no, I'm I not offended yet? at all. Uh, Jimmy couldn't get his Lady Gaga picture yesterday. And yeah, it was the yeah. way he was told. Without yeah. mentioning names, the way he was told. The way I was told and the way I had been trying it to sound, do it. Makes it sound like we're some dumb music jock on a dumb channel that no one listens Fuck to. Fuck music jock. That was, uh, uh, that was, you were treated like if a UPS guy yeah. came up and saw that shit was going on with a celebrity and was like, well, maybe I could get myself an autograph. And then someone just dismissed you like, if you think you're getting an autograph, you, you best get back in the fucking elevator. Yeah, they had, um, the way I was trying to, I, like, as much as I talk shit on this program about getting photos... I'm not an idiot, and I'm not going to, if Lady Gaga walks in with security people, I'm not going to stand on the corner and go, get a picture. <laughs> I'm right. not that stupid. And I do know that I'm at work, and I do know it's a special event that was booked through Harpo, which is Oprah's company. Mm-hmm. I know all of that. And I know everybody here is nervous because it's Oprah's booking. It's not a serious XM booking. No, none of the bookers could do anything here. Right. Liam, Roland, Spencer, none of those guys who would have normally helped me or Steve could. So I knew all that. So what I did was I texted... Elo, who's the president of Harpo. He's the president of who, Harpo. Who, yes. Can I stop you for a second? The only guy that ever understood the show and knew how to push it forward. I, I have such a love for Eric okay. Logan. Uh, Tremendous uh, love. He's for management him. in the end, and you know, management mm-hmm. in general. We, eh, but he, he is by far the best guy we've ever worked yeah. for. Yeah. I mean, he got it and understood our little foibles, and he he would understand. Uh, 
uh, Jimmy's picture taking thing and what it means to him and and if you could help him out in some way it makes him a happier employee which makes for a better yeah. radio show which makes for a better yeah. fucking company. But the route I was taking and you're right and, and he just understood that but I, I texted Elo and I also my agent knows her agent so I said look can you ask if it's okay if I'm introduced to her it was a request that was going to go directly to her assistant who was with her from her agent. And I also called the Live Nation guy in Philly who I know, who, uh, who knows her people. It's, is it okay? So it was going to be, for me to get that photo, it was going to be okayed, if it happened, by somebody at Harpo and somebody who was directly with her. I was not just going to walk in yeah. like an idiot and go, Kah! So I know that. I'm not a, again, I'm really not a dumb guy, and I really don't think of myself above the company. I'm not going to do anything that's going to endanger the company's relationship with Harpo or make Sirius XM look bad. I'm not a moron. Of course not. And so I'm down in the area with my camera, and I was talking to a couple of guys from Oprah's channel who we all know, and uh, I was just approached by somebody in management, and they said, uh, you're not going to try to get a photo today, are you? And I'm like, well, I, I, I didn't have time to explain well, this is what I did, and if it worked out... And, he, and they go, look, today's not the day, not the day. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess I'll, I'll just say hi to Gail King because we did the Tonight Show together. And they said, I don't know, she's going to be too stressed. So I was told that I couldn't even say hello to Gail King, who I did Leno with. I want to say this carefully. You, it was... You're saying management. Yeah. It's, it's up there, management. It has to be said. It has to be said. That's all I'll say. And I was, uh, I was basically it's shooed out of the area... And it was, again, I was shocked, but then again, I wasn't. Like, I wasn't even that. I was angry, but I was like... I wasn't surprised at all. No. Right? When you texted me yesterday, I'm like, of course that's how it went down. But of course I, that's I, the I way. was shocked in that moment, but it's like, oh, yeah, <laughs> this is where you work. Yeah. Oh, dumbbell. Ah, uh, now I, I understand. I forgot for a split second. I forgot what a dummy I am. It's, it's never going to be any way but that. Yeah. So I didn't go ballistic over it or, you know, I knew what it was. And, and then I talked to Eric Logan, who actually was coming in. And, and, and once again, because these people, you know, they get a little confused. Uh, used to be our boss. Used to be our boss, Moved right. on to work for Oprah. He's pretty much Oprah at this point. I believe he's the president of her company. If yeah. Oprah retires, then it has <laughs> Eric Logan has to be the new Oprah. That's how yeah. high up in the company yeah. he has uh, become already. Or there's one under or over him, but he's that, he's no. that close. Oh, is he the president? He's co-president. <laughs> so... He was going to walk me in. He was getting here kind of late. Lady Gaga was running late. To be very honest, I don't know if it would have happened even with Eric because she literally came in late and went right into the fishbowl. And it was probably, it, it was one of those things where I don't even know if it would have happened with him because he had to leave for a meeting. So I might not have been mm. here with him. I just want to stop you, Jimmy. But the difference is, is what he said to you. That's the difference. And, and what the other guy said to you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Elo would have tried to he help He showed me. a little respect for you and, and uh, the fact that you like getting pictures with celebrities yeah. and the fact that you're a big part of this company, even though he doesn't work here anymore. And, 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 and that was as a friend as well. But he actually advised me not to. He goes, look, if you've been told you shouldn't, you, she gave me good advice. And that's why I was texting you. So I, I wasn't going to oh, come you back. went over the other guy's head technically. I don't even know if I could have done that because the way it worked. Well, what did he say to you? Because I thought that was great, and that's why I loved the Eric Logan. Um, he just said, look, I'm like, because he had called me. And I'm like, look, I was kind of asked. Not to try to get a picture. Not to try. Um, and he said, yeah, you probably, he goes, look, it, it will happen. He goes, I'll, I'll make a call for you when, uh, if you're ever on the road and you're in an area she's in, I'll, I'll make it happen. I'll call somebody. And I'm like, and I believed him. And, okay, no problem. I wasn't going to try to. I'm not. I'm not a belligerent idiot. Like if, if literally somebody that hands me my paycheck says don't do something, I'm not. Right. I'm right. not a lapdog, but I'm not a dummy. I'm not career suicide. And either. it's just from what I heard, the way it was told to you, you you were treated like just a piece of fucking. I will. Shit. I'll never forget it. Yeah. Uh, but again, I'm not going to react with freaking out. I did the right thing. I, I was shooed away, and I left, and that's it. Literally shooed away. But it, what, again, it wasn't. What annoyed uh. me the most about it was this lack of faith. Like, do you really think 
Like, do you not think I know anybody else in the business that I would I would just stand here mm. blind and, and, try to blind? I really side don't do somebody. that. I really don't do that. And and when like when Jennifer Lopez no. came through by herself, she had people. It was a nightmare. I know not to go out. Mm. I'm not a fucking moron. No, you go through the proper you channels. Kareem, though, you went through. We went through everything. With Kareem, I you went, went through, through all the proper channels, that, and I waited, and always, he recognized me. You always go through the proper channels. I don't. I don't. I just don't get this place, man. I mean. Gail King, I guess she's okay as a broadcaster. She's she's not bringing in subscribers like we are. And if we were the ones that were chosen uh, in different circumstances to interview Lady Gaga, of course they would have marched Gail King right in here to get a fucking picture taken. Why are we? The, why are we such fucking scum? We what? bring in so many more subscribers than than these people that they treat like rock stars. Like you weren't even allowed to, to get close to Gail King yesterday. And Why? The, and the thing is, we've done a we've done a, a major show together. Yeah, and to, it's almost like what's so insulting is to think that. What did you think I was going to do? Stand there and pester her? I was going to say hello to her. She was very nice to me the one time I I interacted with her. I said, "Oh yeah, I have a show on I'm, 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 I'm on a show on Sirius XM," and we show, oh we just chatted for a minute in the dressing room, mm -hmm. like. What did you think I was going to do? Yeah. That's what drives me. When have I ever done something? Just, hey, could I get a picture with... I, it, 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 but boggles my mind is you get so spoiled being treated a certain way. And I mentioned the Tonight Show just because that's the, the, the one group I interact with sure. on a regular basis that, that has access to people like that. And the way they treat you, mm -hmm. it's like... Oh my! Oh my God! I, I, yeah, you you really get spoiled, and then you come back here, and you're like, "Oh right, I, I right." I desperately want out of radio, and the reason is not because I I don't enjoy doing the show with you guys. Is that I'm so sick after all these years of being just treated like a like scum? Because you see other other guys that we work with get treated so well at in other entities, but because we do radio. We're just, we're supposed to be treated like scum. Yeah. And I fucking have had yeah. it, to be honest with you. I don't have to work anymore. And I, I don't, I don't want to put up with this anymore. Like yesterday, when you texted me, I, I was fucking furious. Yeah, I was And too. it's always like, like, Gail King doesn't bring in the subscribers we do. But they fucking rope off the area and this and that and everything is like, it, oh, yeah, it, it yeah. gets crazy keep when the these scum, people come through. Keep the scum away. No offense, but Oprah doesn't bring in the amount of subscribers we do, especially when you start figuring out contracts and stuff and who's more valuable. But when she comes to Sirius XM, they, they set it up like a president is walking fucking no. through. On TV, she's huge. Believe me, we understand that. It's huge, huge ratings, everything. Uh, but in this medium, uh, we do very well. This is what we do. Right. Yet we're just fucking, you know, shit on at every turn. We, we should have been praised for the Paris Hilton thing. We should have been praised for the video that got, you know, kind of squeaked out there. Yeah. But instead, I and I said this at the end of that show, of, eventually we'll get blamed for it. Go back to the tape. I said eventually there'll be a problem. I said it. It was one of the last things I said that day. And here we are. We have Roland crying over it. And there is no going above and beyond here. Like when you do in, in other areas, it, it really does amount to nothing mm. and none of it means shit it really doesn't man and it's frustrating it's like you it drives me nuts it's like you want to be loyal you want to like i mean i'm loyal as far as they pay my bills i'm not gonna not do it i'm not gonna start podcasting behind you know i'm not a fucking they just there's something that they don't understand about dealing with people who work for them and mm -hmm. whatever uh, and it is what it is and by the way we're the voice of pretty much most of the personalities here they, a lot of people march these halls, and they are just fucking fed up and frustrated. Yeah, you yeah. Know, I, I can't name names. That's up to them. Sure, but I, I mean, that is a that is a very good look at the vibe around this place. And yeah. we have an easy job compared to a lot of people out there. But I thought to myself, like, I do relate when people talk about dealing with boss. It's like you, you guys. I know it. We bitch about them a lot, but it is very frustrating. And and stuff like that happened. It's like I'm under no illusions as to where I am on the entertainment ladder. Believe me, mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not deluded as to thinking that I should be shooed away yeah. when I'm not doing anything wrong. It wasn't like I was standing there waving at her while she's being interviewed. Then you go get the fuck out of here, you lunatic. <laughs> yes. But I wasn't doing that either. It's like, mm -hmm. do you not think I've been around enough of these people where I'm, I'm not going to? Even when Tom Brady annoyed me so much, I would never have been disrespectful to a, a, a... I just wouldn't do it. And I wouldn't ask at a time with... It well, drives you crazy, man. It, it, like Tribeca, they took care of you. When Frosty. Tribeca took great care of me. They took mm -hmm. great care of me. Mm -hmm. um, of course they took care of me. They, you know, and of course, well, you know, Sharon, she gives you all access. And, oh, and, sure. and, and yeah. the guy who works for Tribeca took care of us because he knew we were promoting it. 
it com- it, it they comes, just know what they're doing. It comes down to understanding and getting it. Well, that ain't happening down that end. That's what I'm saying, though. Getting uh, what your yeah. guys are all about, yeah. doing that little extra thing to keep them happy, you know? Believe yeah. it or not, sometimes it's not about the money. I think we got a really shitty deal. I'll say it right until the end of the contract. But besides that, it's not about money. Sometimes it is that little thing. Sometimes no. it is that thing going, oh, wait, Jimmy from Opie and Anthony. Wow, yeah, we all know he really likes getting pictures with celebrities. And Lady Gaga, of course he's going to want one. You know what? I'm going to just do the right thing. And I'm going to make sure this happens. Eric Logan would have done that. But or if it sometimes can't happen, how about but treating the guy with a little? How about treating the guy with a little respect? If there's no way it could happen, right. and instead of fucking shooing him away like a, a fucking janitor with a mop that that is standing there wanting to get a fucking signature uh, or, or a picture, uh, you treat him like the fucking guy that's on on a, you know one of the top shows here. And let me say too, I, I don't, th- I really don't think. That I should be put above other people in the company where they go, you know what, we've said no to everybody, but fuck them, Jim, you're special. Yeah, like, yeah. I understand that, too. But what, what annoyed me was the fact that it's like, I'm not just staying, I, I have, for like four days, I have made a couple of phone calls to do it properly. Right. It's like, I know how to do this. You know and how to play this game. I know how to do it where nobody is going to get upset. Right. And if it's a no, it's a no. I'm not going to stand there and freak out. But I was going through all the proper channels that had nothing to do with Sirius XM. You're not just standing around here waiting to get a picture, huh? <laughs> That's what bothered me. It's you like, f- if, if, the, if the person would have said to me, like, look, today's really tense. Um, you can't just jump on. I would have said, no, 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 here's what I'm doing. And that would have been that. I would, I'm not a... That's what made me so What's the problem in the end? Lady Gaga doesn't give a fuck about Sirius XM. You got a, you got a little uh, nugget of gold yesterday, but that's it. Shoot it ends away. there. Shoe. Yeah. It fucking Shoe. ends there. Shoe. Shoe. Uh, yeah. she, she took pictures with, with her fans, though. Yeah, yeah, with well, the, the fans yeah. contest winners, yeah. and I understand. Yeah, you know, again, yeah, you can't have everybody at the company yeah. lining up for a photo. I, oh, I get that. I, I, I also hear that uh, shoe shoe guy got a picture. I don't. I honestly don't know who did or didn't. Right? Isn't oh, that yeah. true? Oh yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. The guy that shooed you away, he managed to <laughs> oh, get yeah, in there and get oh, a did fucking. He? Pa- oh, oh yeah. No, he did. Oh, oh, oh yeah. He did. Why wouldn't he? Oh yeah, he did. <laughs> of course he did. Do you remember when Sting did that loot thing and Elo brought us back there and and it was like it literally we were in and out. it was a meet and greet so we were in and out in f- fifteen seconds like literally I said hi to a Sting. little longer because my flash didn't go off. You took an Robert hour and Plant's twenty minutes. Gi- <laughs> Robert Plant's giant head. You know what, Robert Plant when he did that thing and 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 Eric brought me and you in and goes, hey you guys just just sit here and watch and it was like. We, we didn't annoy Plant. We were li- you and I together took up about fifteen or twenty seconds of his time, well, and he was fine with it. We watched on. him perform. Let's, was- let's slow down with that because it, it's very important. Like I'm a huge Zeppelin fan. Jimmy not so much, but understands the importance of Robert Plant in the music world. So yes. at the time we're down in Washington, we're like I I I asked. I'm like I would love a picture with Robert Plant, and then they said, you know what. They're going to be practicing before they actually go live on XM. Would you guys want to sit in on this? And me and Jimmy are like, fuck yeah. So it's just me and Jimmy. I've told the story a bunch of times. And two fucking chairs, 10 feet from Robert playing with his band. It was just us. Yeah, that's great. But Eric Logan went, this is important to Opie and, and Jimmy. I'm going to make this happen. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say today. And then we did get our pictures as well. Instead of being shooed. Right. And the... Uh, and those little things really meant a lot to me. And Elo has been gone for quite a while, and he's still a guy. Like, I'm going to see him when I'm in Chicago next week. Him and his wife are going to come to the show. Like, he's a real friend. Mm-hmm. So you're not going to be that close with everybody who's in a management position. Mm-hmm. Well, we didn't start out uh, being friends exactly. with him. That's exactly he it. He was management. We, we've been trained our entire careers to hate management. Because <laughs> if, they, if they knew what they were doing, they would be doing their own radio shows, quite frankly. Right. But it's something with him and how he treated us and and understood the show and understood how to push it forward and understood the tiny little things that were important to us went a long way. Yeah. And then you got this guy. This guy. But you, people have managed to make this gig, which I love. I love coming here. Yeah. They've managed to make it where I don't want to do anything extra. like Above and beyond. yeah. Yeah. Coming and in. I, it's amazing. Like I, I've never been around people who, and I don't like to say talent because it sounds arrogant, but people just say performers that you're working, we're working for you. I've never been around people that reacted this way to performers. No, it's I, 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 it's mind-boggling. I, I've gotten to the point where I avoid that part of the uh, building, 
And when I see certain people, I barely nod. This is a radio I sweat shop. Nod. This building. Yeah. It's just a sweat shop. They just want you to come in. If somebody fucking, you know, gets their arm caught in the machinery and it gets ripped off, eh, just get somebody else. They don't care. There's no real there's no real appreciation for what an individual does in this place. No. It's all about the collective. And if one piece of the fucking machine uh is broken, they know they could just go and pop something else in, maybe something of inferior quality. Well, and if that breaks, they'll just get something else. That's well, how it works. Well, right that's here. what's slowly happening because people that really do have uh, talent, and there's still people here that have talent, by the way, because because this will get around today. They're leaving. Oh, yeah, they're leaving yeah, yeah. for other gigs, or just saying, you know what? I don't need this. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll stay home with my family for a while other, until other I figure avenues. out my next move. And that's the problem because then yeah. they're replacing those people with. You know, kind of desperate people, Just to be nothing. quite frank with yeah. you. You know? Yeah. And eventually you're going to you're gonna notice that through your speakers. You're going to notice. Oh, yeah. That the quality is uh, drastically dropped. Oh, yeah. I have a solution to the problem, but I'm just waiting for someone to come to me and ask me. Yeah. Yeah. But it has to be, you know. One of those guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good luck. Oh, of course. And that would solve everything. But, uh. Roland, you're all right. Yeah. You all right? Yeah, he's all right. We'll we'll talk to Glenn Close. I told you. It'll be great. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, It'll we're be talking. Great. To It'll Glenn be great. Close. I think Roland fucking put some fake tears. No, he didn't. In front of us to get it done. No, he's he's frustrated as fuck. <laughs> Roland, with all, that's a and joke. he should be. Yeah. All right. And he should be. And the Paris Hilton thing, they should have never beat you up about that. You had no, nothing to do with that's, that. That's nothing. They to marched do with out of here and fucked over the company, and then they. They go after you. Get the fuck. Out it, of it, it really. The company reacted to that the way a coyote reacts when it's caught in a trap, just biting their own leg. It's like, <laughs> yeah. how about you attack? How about as a group, you mm. show a little moral courage mm -hmm. yeah. and go after the publicist and say, you know what? That was inappropriate today. Yeah. We heard the tape. Those guys did nothing wrong. Your client came in here very unwilling to do a pretty friendly interview yeah. and then marched out in a huff and we're really aggravated and if your clients are going to behave like that we don't want to take them how about you act do that why, why don't stick you stick up for everybody why don't company? you for once have a little moxie defend your talent defend or your, your performers own who didn't do anything wrong it's not like she walked in with hey fuck you porn bitch and then expect to be defended right but when we don't do anything wrong and you still Fucking act like you're cowering before celebrity. What are you doing? I don't get that. Fucking I'm a whore for celebrities. I love them. <laughs> I fucking love them. I know. You Believe really me, are. I'm Arnold Anonymous in my own mind. <laughs> really? If you are. only knew what a monumental failure I feel like <laughs> all the time. Why do you think I get photos with a guy who did one episode of Beretta? <laughs> You were on Beretta in 76. Can I bother you for a picture, please? Okay, when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we got rolling upset. Uh, this is like the easiest gig in America. Yeah, it really is. But yeah, We'll be here for a little everybody. while. I, I'll tell you that much. We'll be here for a little while. I honor contracts, but fuck that. Unbelievable. Afterwards, things will have to drastically change. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. I'm serious. I mean, I mean, things will drastically change. Oh, yeah, I know. So that'll happen. Oh, I already know what the, what what this means in the end. Trust me. But until then, we'll have a good time. You all right, Roland? Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to power eat today? Pizza Probably. party? Oh, pizza, yeah. Pizza party. <laughs> pizza and ice cream in my underwear. <laughs> oh, yeah. That sounds great. It's fantastic. Oh. Yeah, I got to eat. No. Yeah. Let's all eat. Yeah, let's eat and... Uh... We'll come back and start the Opie and Anthony show instead of this fucking shrink session. These fucking assholes. We might have there. enough material to do a a, a cry show. Mm. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. It always happens They're in the first rough. hour too because people are. Uh, yeah, you wake just up. Waking you're just up. fucking. You're all. You're just a disaster. Mm -hmm. I hear you. Mm -hmm. Jesus. All right. Hey, uh, we got a lot of guests coming in today. The great Glenn Close will be on our show today. <laughs> yes. We'll just do a very quick thing Oscar nominee and uh, 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 Emmy Award winner. Yeah? See, she was an Oscar nominee, yet she won uh, the Emmy. I think three Emmys, right? Something like that. But three Emmys don't equal one Oscar. No? If you melt it down? Nah. 
Who else we got? We She'll got... be in with the guys from The Wire. She'll come in while they're here. I'm sure they won't mind. We got The Wire guys, and we got Vincent uh, D'Onofrio. Yes. Is that how you say his name? Yeah, right? D'Onofrio, yeah. I always have a problem with that. From, it was uh, Pyle from Full Metal Jacket. He's on Law & Order, if people been, don't know. He's been on Law & Order for probably... Many years, yeah. And At right. least 10, right? I think it's the final season. This yeah, year. final season. He You're left, right, and Rowan. then he came back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You're doing a great job. You shouldn't oh, have to feel like this. It's amazing. This company, it really is. You shouldn't have to feel like this. You're doing no, an amazing job. No, never have to feel like this, ever. And, and, and Blatter, we had a meeting with him recently, and he did say how just amazing you are and yep. how it's been great. So, All right. And also, uh, we got uh, Anthony Weiner. We have 11 pages of shit to go through. Yeah. And Andrew Breitbart is uh, going to drop in and uh, Good. give us a little more insight on some of these transcripts, where they came from. What time is Brett um, Bart coming? Brett I, Bart. I believe, I believe nine. I think it's Brett Bart. Yeah. I think you're right, actually. I think so. I believe nine-ish. And you want to feel old? Oh, boy. I'll do this before break. Sure. Dakota Fanning. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Believe me. Please. What? Graduated <laughs> high school. Yes. Holy shit. A high school graduate. <laughs> oh, my God. And I believe she's pursuing her education right here in New York. NYU. So, it's always um, NYU. So I got a shot. Got a shot. Got a shot. Wow, she graduated high school. What the fuck? I know. She was just a little tater tot, and now she's a... High school graduate. Her sister is an actress, too. Yeah, yeah, I saw Super her. A. She kind of looks like the younger version of, uh, yeah. Well. All right, we, uh, too bad I didn't bring Maybe we can get her on the show. Too bad I didn't bring in those good. puffs today. No, huh, Dakota Roland? Fanning. <laughs> Not her 14-year-old sister. Mm -hmm. Too bad I didn't bring in the puffs today. Uh, oh, God. You would have been puffs. all about it. I ate the whole box in 20 minutes. <laughs> I think Roland uh, does all of that stress eating. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Stress eating? Oh, yeah. That cure whatever ails you, that's for sure. Rolling, you breathe and you go back down that hall. Yeah. yeah. Get in your office, kick your feet up, take a few breaths. That's right. Relax. And that's me that said that. That's right. You, anyone has a problem, talk to me. Hey. When you need radio gold, he's the one that you call. With crappy movie reviews, wears his shirts extra small. The one you can count on the book, I guess, for a session. But ends every single sentence he says in a question. No pronunciation, soft spoken and mumbles. Just try and put him behind the mic and he crumbles. Babbling moron, that's for you to decide. Bon a deuce, bon a douche, check him out Friday wide. It's rolling, 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 rolling. It's rolling, 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 rolling. It's rolling, 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 rolling. It's rolling, 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 die. I mean, that action, suspense. I think I'm going to have an official uh, video on the Roland versus Fez from my TV uh, studio, also known as my bedroom. You're going to just talk about it? Is or, Obi Rant the official statement now? I would love the official statement now. Do you want me to? Do you want me to video you making the statement? Uh, no. Fez, uh, Fez mocked Roland for crying yesterday. Yeah. For, but let's remember that Fez cried. What? Because I asked him what Batman character he would be. Roland cried because he felt the entire, uh, uh, felt uh, the, uh, the the weight uh, of the entire company. Thank you, Dick yeah. in the yes. ass. The weight of the entire company, this Sirius XM satellite radio. He was feeling that. He yeah. was feeling the stress of the weight of this entire company, and it broke this man down. Yeah, that's now, my official. Now statement. I'm ready to attack and kill. So you're saying, and there's there's been wonderment. Yes, I do blame Ronnie B. You're leaving on that note because you're saying, number one. Roland cried because he had the weight of an entire publicly traded company on his shoulders, right. whereas Fed, Fez cried because he wasn't sure which Batman character he exactly. wanted to be. And you're saying this, Opie, you believe Ronnie B is behind this. Uh, I'll say it again, Sam. Mm -hmm. I'm suspicious. You're just questioning. You got questions. I'm suspicious. Okay. You're suspicious of Ronnie B's intentions, shall we say? I'm watching him. Okay. Is he the puppet master? He thinks Jay Moore has gotten to you, and Jay Moore put this uh, into I your I know, head. but that was his spin to try to throw me off a little bit. Oh, that was I a little puppeteering. I thought about it in between watching myself on TV. I'm like, yeah, was that a <laughs> move by Ronnie B to throw me off the trail? Because then you're thinking of Jay Moore, and then you uh -huh. go, wait, 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 wait. Let's get back to uh -huh. Ronnie B. Yes, exactly. Wow. Because uh, he got me yesterday during the uh, this show. Mm-hmm. He threw the Jay Moore thing, and I'm like, yeah, Jay Moore. I bought into and then I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Look who's saying it, Ronnie B. Could this puppet master be spinning Ronnie this in a different... B. Wow. 30 days in the hall. 
I just got a text from Club Soda Kenny that says, shut up and let him go home. 30 days in the home. I love the way news breaks all on right, this show. All right, all right. <laughs> Thank you, Opie, I, for stopping by. I will by. say this, though. Yeah. I haven't seen Fez that active and funny in a long time. So if it takes <laughs> me to break down, to ha- make him have a good show, then so be it. Wow, you don't mind being the fall guy. Do you know what? He was actually, I was laughing in my office like, wow, he's actually vicious and funny. It's been a long time. So if it, it takes me mm-hmm. for him to do that, then so be it. You're saying it doesn't happen often? N- yeah, it's kind of like a sporadic. But I was like, I was like, oh man, he's funny attacking me. When he, every time when a caller make fun of him, he goes, oh, I'm rolling, oh. I was like, that's, that, that was kind of funny. But you're saying it really, that that's the first time in a long time. Um, man, I've been in New York t- 10 years. Yeah, 10 years. Yeah, yeah a long time. <laughs> wow. E-Rock, are you hearing that? I hate not having a monitor. Yeah, I'm hearing it. W- what, what happened to the monitor? I don't know. We came in this week and Mars says, oh, uh, stuff's broken. How's it broken? It was working. I have um, no he idea. shook it twice. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. You think that's how Mars fixes things? Just shaking? Yeah. Oh. Um, but I have to say, like, he was funny, though. I wasn't mad at Fez. I thought that was, that was pretty funny. But you're saying that it takes something like that for Fez to have a good show, is what yeah, you said. Yeah, he was like fishes on point. Like a, He was like really on fire yesterday. Eric, are you going to isolate this for Ron and Fez? No. <laughs> Could you at least write down, write down what time it happened? Do I have to? Well, nah. yeah. I mean, throw Pepper Hicks a bone. He's going to have to cut it either way. All right. But and, it's not really insulting him. It's just like... Well... Give, if you, I'm giving him props. But you're saying it doesn't happen often. Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad we got everything on the table because I know... I believe tomorrow Opie wants to talk more about your thing with Fez and what Fez was saying about you. Because mm-hmm. um, he definitely heard it. Heard about it. It's a whole uh, show. Prep. That's why I say prep. <laughs> that's advice? Well, yeah. <laughs> that'd be all about me. You're still writing down this time, right, Eric? Yeah, I'm writing it down. Okay. Eric's going to write down this time, hopefully. Right now, Rock Cross is just banging his head like, oh, God. Oh, what am I going to do? I'm not mad, he, though. He's lo- worried about Sirius XMU causing all these problems. <laughs> yeah. I, see, but the thing is, I love Ronnie B, and I love Fez, so I was like, I thought it was funny. I'm mad at you. Now, Ron, well, I'll talk about your uh, breakdown later. Because I want to talk a little I more. You? No, please. Hey, just <laughs> um, I'll talk, I want to talk a little more about, uh, of course, Wienergate. But I, that's the one thing that I was bummed about not getting to talk about on the after show yesterday was your breakdown. That was the one thing besides Wienergate that was a huge deal yesterday. So I mean, we will uh, talk about that. You I, know, Roland had a tough day yesterday. What happened Why? to Roland? What's up, bro? You know, can I tell him, Roland? I mean, it was on the air. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna tell him anyway. Yeah. He he completely broke down Bro. on the air. What happened, Ro? Like, like you cried? Yes. Oh shit. There was real tears on it. Do you have that clip, Jeez. Eric? Yeah, he well, cried? Like, Ron and Fez played it just to bring them on board. Oh yeah. Not yeah. taking shots. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ron what and happened? Fez played it yesterday, so it must be in the system somewhere. Because Roland is under a lot of stress here as a guest booker. Of course he is. Number one, management is making certain demands and then just putting it on to Roland, not to the talent. Then Roland has to come in here and deal with Opie, Anthony, and Jim Norton, which, ask management, is no easy task. <laughs> and he's the one who's got to deal with both of these onslaughts, right? Yeah. So stuff is getting piled up and piled up. You remember what happened with the Paris Hilton thing. Oh, you guys yes, lost the Paris Hilton interview. Yeah. We did. Roland, because a video went up and it shouldn't have gone up and releases oh, yeah, this yeah, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Roland ended up getting in a lot of trouble for this, you know, and things were said. And Roland's got all this stress on him. Finally... This gets blown off. Finally, okay, everything's back to normal. Roland gets in here uh, yesterday, and we have Glenn Close booked. You know, the The, Academy Award-nominated actress. Yes. And Anthony comes into the studio and starts the show, 6 a.m., with, I said I didn't really want Glenn Close, so we're going to go ahead and cancel her. (gasps) And Roland goes, No, you're not. It's later today. You could have told me yesterday, but it's today. And so he's going back and forth. He's like, you told me that it was okay, there were two of you, blah, 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 and finally... So Glenn Close made you cry? No, no, no. Finally, Roland just broke down. Did you find the clip, Eric? Yeah, I got it. Okay, oh, and oh this, this, oh, is, no. this is what the, the end of it was. And listen, by the way, Ant goes from uh, saying, yes, we're canceling her. Listen how quick his tone changes. Okay. So do you want her or not? I'm just sort of stressed right now. Roland, are you Okay. <laughs> 
I just do his chest. <laughs> no, calm down. Calm down. Oh, my God. <laughs> Roland, it's okay. We'll get Glenn close in. Get Glenn close. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did you fake cry? No. It's okay. Shake it off. Men don't fake cry. Yeah. Deep breaths. The stress of this place is going to kill people. It's just going to kill people. Where there will it? be corpses uh, uh, from people right, just fucking dying of stress. Well, that's why I'm... I, that's why I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, that's why I'm out of here in a year. I've no Dude, what I was swear was it was the Jeez. realest thing that's ever wow. happened on this show. I was sitting in that chair. Roman was standing right next to me. And I was sitting there, you know, throwing in my little jabs while all this was going on, thinking we were all having a good time. But it wasn't. And all of a sudden I look, and it's, it, he's beat red. There's t I go, this... You know what it was? Whoa. It was it was the straw that broke the camel's back. It wasn't yes. anything about Glenn Close. It was like he had been just enough. like it was enough already. Plus, yeah. Roland, I believe, lives in a world like for me, when I get all very stressed out, I get very honest and I can say a lot of things on the air. I have that liberty and it relieves right. that stress. level it's of stress. It's cathartic. It's cathartic. Roland doesn't have that because if it's not management, if it's not Opie and Anthony, if it's not a publicist, it's someone else who's paying attention to every word that he says. So he can't throw anybody under the bus. He can't even say something if it's true because you don't know who you're going to offend. And so everything gets bottled up. And then all of a sudden he's like, look, I'm just trying to work with everybody. And that's what happens. Is that right, Roland? Yeah. But, then it, but at the end it all worked out. So they In the end Glenn. it worked out. They yeah, took she, Glenn. The it was a great appearance. Him. The whole show yesterday was awesome. Oh, my God. I feel, I feel like, do you see how the tone in the room has wow. changed? Wow, sorry, bro. I didn't know, bro. And you guys were <laughs> bickering about clothes here, not realizing yeah, that some that real Ro shit is, was happening. It, that Rose in fucking pain. I mean, I feel like an ass. I mean, he's been, in, he's been in much better spirits since then, because that turned out well. And Five drinks later. Five, yeah, <laughs> had a couple drinks. And uh, the uh, Anthony Weiner thing, Breitbart, Vincent D'Onofrio deal all happened. Right. And he got releases signed by all of them. So he's in the clear. He's like, yeah. <laughs> do you want a spoon or something or hug? Or? Yeah, give him a Wrong. hug. Yeah, give him a hug. See what you can get out of this. Do it real quick. See what you can get out of this. I'm going to hold you close. I'm going to push hug my him. bosom no, screw into that. you. Give him a reach around. Go ahead. <laughs> hug him tight. Roland, squeeze in tight. Uh, Don't worry about HR right now. Get the crotches pushed together. <laughs> That's a move that you could do in a hug. Stan, you give him a hug, too. Aww. A Roland, full body. Roland, just oh, okay. a tip. All right, I'm going to hug Roll. Don't I call, don't think he wants a wait, Stanley T. There's him. another female right there, and you're offering up. Yeah, that's a good point. Can, yeah, can, can you, give you him go hug? give him a hug? Give him a hug. You can, you can right, hug good me point. after you change your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> another hug for Roland. It's a beautiful thing. Because Vincent D'Onofrio, did you see that he was in studio yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. While we talked this, to him yesterday. While all this Breitbart stuff was going on? Yeah. So he ended up on CNN and all these other places, <laughs> and nobody even house. mentioned that, like, He's not an Opie and Anthony show member. He's Vincent D'Onofrio. Oh, my God. I love it. I love it. And this Sam's camera work was a little shaky. Oh, you're taking shots now, cry baby. <laughs> well, bro, bro, I wanted to come over and hug you, but I don't want HR to get on my case. You understand oh, yeah, that? Well, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. 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 Are you HR? having HR issues? Yeah, well, I think everybody is. Yeah. I mean, I'm not. <laughs> Who is everybody? Well, after today. <laughs> hey, you think I, I mean, listening look, right now. Look, behind these mics, everything is safe. <laughs> right. Are you my having, ass. Are you having HR issues? Yeah, I hug Roe, and it was inappropriate. I don't believe that. I think, you know what I think, Nicole? Hmm. I think there's a real HR issue. There is. And Stan doesn't want to talk well, about it. We're not going to so talk about it because it's over, but there was one, yeah. Yeah. Wow. HR doesn't have a lot to do. This week? Here. <laughs> so they make up it. They make well, up, would make up you, stuff. Would you blame this on HR or the person who the brought person. it? The it's person. It's actually not the HR. The person. It wasn't HR's it's fault. It's the person. But then mm. HR ha is forced to do something. But we're going to move on, Sam. Yes. Do I know this person? Yeah. Just Roland? Yeah. 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 Let's move on. Some of the legal right. system. Listen, I got to go get the 411 going, but I love you. I gotta go get are we going to be in the hey, 411? I got to go get the 411. I, yeah, are you going to put Opie and Anthony in the 411? I should, yeah. right? Yes, Look, should. I mentioned them on Hits 1 last night. You did. It's a big story. It is, it a, is huge a big story. story. But to be fair, you're in every channel. So. That's true. After, after, By the way, I was on Hits 1, do you know, last night from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. amazing, dude. It's you're crazy. taking over. Yeah. I like that, though. After this yeah. O&A after show thing is done, can you come hang for a little bit? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Love you. All right. Peace out. Tell me who the who is who's the HR issue. I'm not going to tell you. Don't you dare. What I'm is the name? What, you dare. what is the first name start with? I, I can't even tell you. Male or female? Uh, can't tell you. Sam, I can, I'm leaving. Here. I'm leaving now. I'm going to think female. I'm going to guess Mikey Piff. Bye. Thank you for stopping Bye. by. Was it Piff? Was it Mikey Piff? He's not around. I promise not to hug him anymore. Um, Sam. Yeah. Is Mikey Piff tight sweater? <laughs> 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 it said enough, and then it just broke free, and then we saw his stomach. I love the old roll in his back. For a minute, you were gone. You snap right back, though.
Poor Roland. Was there was there was some real venom going on with the mashup. Yeah, there's some real tension there. I you think we tell. should. I like that we can get more of that on here. <laughs> yeah. You know, and if anybody didn't like that, then I don't know what you're listening to this for because this is what this oh, is all Sam, about. What, what do you think they say about Ryan? <laughs> huh? What did you say, Roland? What are you playing today? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Never mind that clip thing. And Eric just asked, "What do you think? What do you think they think about?" Well, Eric, what do you think about Ryan? I'd never think about Ryan. <laughs> oh Jesus, he's, he's a nice guy. Who is he? Yeah, he's the he's a member of the Morning Mashup. Uh, Ryan Sampson. He fills in when Rich is gone. No, he doesn't fill in. He's a full time member. Oh, there was three giant things that happened to, uh, to us uh, in the last week alone. Yeah. Okay, we had the the Paris Hilton uh, thing. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, I on my own made a video. And put it up there, and the company felt like that Damn was you. a major problem. Damn you to hell. Uh, you know, that video was going to go everywhere. It still kind of went places because uh, our listeners were smart enough to take my video and make copies of it. And certainly, I thank certainly. you. I thank you for doing that, okay? S- certainly. But that video, if it, if, if, if it was just left alone, I, I guarantee there was going to be no problem from Paris Hilton's people. And that would have been another massive hit for us, okay? We fell short on that. But that was a biggie. Uh, and that was another thing that the PR department should have came to us about because that people were really curious about Paris Hilton being such a dud on our show, and they could have probably worked that. Yeah. Okay, you had that happen. That really just annoyed the hell out of us going, what the fuck does this company understand anything? And then there was the Jim Norton not being able to, to get the Lady Gaga photo, but it was the way he was told that just drove all of us nuts, including Jim Norton, okay? Yeah. Drove and nuts, then, by the to interrupt you for one second, it was drove nuts is not even the term. It, 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 it's kind of like just it, it's almost like a level of calm came with it, like a level of finality. Mm-hmm. That's how I feel. Mm-hmm. It's, it's you know it's, what you, you you know what this is about now. It is officially. such it is such a loathing I feel. Yeah, that I can't. There's, it, there's and, no coming back from it. And then we do the wiener uh, thing, and um, they didn't know how to capitalize on that whatsoever. They thought. What they needed to do was put our faces on uh, the front page of Sirius, Sirius.com. Oh, that's cool. Sir, SiriusXM.com. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. So they felt like they did their jobs there. Yeah. yeah. That's just in the last week alone. Yeah. Just nothing but disappointment, to be, to, to be honest with you. Big big things happening and, and not understanding you know, how to use that and capitalize on it. And, of course, the Lady Gaga is just a simple, uh, you know, Simple case of just trying to take care of your people a little bit. It never happened. Guys, guys, um, it's been an hour and a half of just negativity. Could you, you know, could you, could you get a little positive? I mean, the good things are happening around here. Just look at the flow. Ch- oh, oh, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> mm. That's the call. I'll give Believe you. Believe me, that's the call. Here's positivity. Yeah. I, it motivated me to write a lot. Yeah. Thank huh? you. Yeah. Thank you. There are some um, some uh, residual ripples. It's a ripple effect oh that uh, is good. God. That happens from the bad rock that's dropped in the water. <laughs> hey, uh, Ron and Fez. Yeah, what up? I pay 100 for those guys. Ron and Fez. Bucks. Photo of Ron and Fez. Photo yes. of Ron and Fez. Um, Roland had a breakdown on our show this week. Oh, Anthony, was it, was I, it a breakdown? Yeah. It kind of was, and I was I was listening to, I don't know if it was a replay. I don't know where I heard this. Did you replay it? Yeah, uh, maybe Sam replayed it, and uh, and basically said this place is going to kill people. The stress and the yeah pressure. yeah the stress level is just the stress level in this area. In it, yeah, in this place is ridiculous. It doesn't need to be this stressful. It doesn't. And it finally got to rolling, and rolling uh, broke down a little bit. Had a real moment on our show, which uh, we like. We like the real moments, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Especially when it's over something of uh, substance. <laughs> Why are you calling him? You're a sex man now. It's his new name. Where did that? How did that come about? Because it's been sex bagel. It was sex bagel. Then it was sexy B. Then it became the sex man. And <laughs> and fans are calling him the sex man on Twitter. So once a wow. name takes off, how it many takes fucking off. nicknames does this kid oh, ha- have man. to have though? Amazing. The sex man. That's his name now. What about sex bagel and hawk and e rock? Oh, hawk. And Things hawk. develop. Hawk. Remember hawk? Hey, hawk. I forgot oh, about hawk. God, <laughs> that didn't hawk. stick. That's okay. I just enjoyed it. Another yeah. bird butterball. <laughs> See, that would be. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you uh, we got to play the clip, Roland. I'm sorry. 
Oh, oh I'm shit. I'm sorry you got to sit through you. Uh, oh, have is this going to be difficult to listen to? Yeah. Oh, Because I know it's going to be difficult for me. No, but you can be assured no one's going to look at you when this clip's playing because oh, we're all just going to look down. Exactly, with our raging heart ons. Yes. <laughs> all right. Hit it. <laughs> or just do whatever the fuck you, you just did. Just play some music. Yeah. What are you doing in Roland, there? Roland, oh. are you okay? I'm still stressed. No, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Roland, it's okay. We'll get Glenn close in. Get Glenn close. Sorry. It's okay. Shake it off. Deep breaths. The stress of this place is going to kill people. It's just going to kill people. There will be corpses... Uh, uh, from people oh, just fucking dying of stress. Well, that's why I'm. I, that's why I'm, I'm sorry. That's why I'm out of here in a year. I have no problem. All right, we're back. Wow. Oh, that was hard to to to, to listen to. Uh, he was he was getting a beating behind the scenes. Yeah. Something we had no idea about actually. But all right, so uh, Ron and Fez uh, certainly took the opportunity to kind of have some fun with that. Commented I mean, on that. I mean, recently we did a whole thing on the blueberry incident, so. The blueberry incident. You can't blame Ronnie, <laughs> certainly, for, for bringing it to his show, knowing there's a little beef between uh, Roland oh, yeah. and Fez. Their oh, intern Christ. made a blueberry incident song on his first day. He came in with a blueberry wow. incident song. Oh, no, what happened? Fez responded by saying, this is going to be a long internship. Oh, damn. Really? I wasn't happy. Well, here's Ron and Fez. Uh... Oh, oops, they played the clip too, Roland. I'm sorry. I just read that. Oh, so now you got to sit through it again. Shit. Oops. Oh, Oh. Uh, Jeff, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, I think I got an itchy bomb for you. Well, if you think. Itchy bomb. Itchy bomb. Itchy bomb. Let's do this. Well, uh, this morning on the first hour of ONA, Roland is, is stealing Fez's uh, uh, character. <laughs> hey, he was crying. All right. I, let, let's, let's face something. Fez has invented crying on the radio. Now, I'm not going <laughs> to sit around and get mad. Uh, Roland, if he did cry, but if he did, he needs to credit Fez Watley. Uh, there, we do have a clip, and this is Roland today on the ONA show. So do you want her? Or not? I'm just sort of stressed right now. Roland, are you okay? I'm just sort of stressed. No, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Roland, it's okay. We'll get Glenn close in. Get Glenn close. It's okay. Shake it off. Well, wow. I, I never saw Roland like that. That's, oh, my God. Uh, what a puss for doing that. Well, yeah, I guess he was under a lot of stress. He had uh, Glenn Close. It was just about Glenn Close. That was it. Oh, my God. What a baby. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? When you're in the talent department, you're... Um... Oh, could you be a bigger pussy? Whoa. My God. Just weeping and weeping. Whoa. If you say biggest... Pussy like the way he said it doesn't. It, <laughs> God, doesn't, it takes, it, doesn't it cancel it out? It's not. <laughs> he doesn't say it like Jimmy does. Let's no. just say that. <laughs> Pussy. Yes. Uh, let me go to Joe in Tennessee before we move on with more audio from the Ron and Fez show. Joe, it's uh, your turn, sir. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, uh, how do you do? I uh, uh, do fine. About twenty minutes into that whole deal when he was busting on Roland, mm -hmm. he broke down. <laughs> like, hey, what's the deal? You a minute ago you was all big time Fez Watley, you know, and now you're just sitting there being quiet. And, Why did he break down? Um, Sometimes he locks up. Locks up, they call it. Yeah, he locks you're, up. You're locking up there, buddy. You're locking up. <laughs> Yesterday, Ron asked him who's who right now, he guys. liked to be with on the air the most, and he named two people. And then Ron said, "Who else has been in here?" And then he said, "I don't remember. I'm locking up." <laughs> I can't think right now. Locking up. That's Is that a, what happens now? He locks up? He locks up. Okay. Uh, he wasn't locking up when Roland came up, though. No. No. No, sir. Fez talks shit about Roland. Here we go. 
Let's go over here to uh, David. David, you're on the Run of Fez show. Hey, Ron and Fez, welcome back. Yeah. I got a question for Fez. How, how, how are you going to uh, complain about rolling crying about gas when you've done the same thing on your show? Um, I don't know quite what he means by that, but what were you saying about rolling? I, I don't even remember that. Oh, uh, with Roland crying on the O&A show today, I just said total pussy move. Uh -huh. Just sobbing about uh, the Glenn Close booking on their show. Well, and here's what happened. He had booked Glenn Close. Mm -hmm. She's a big star, Fezzi. She's got Emmys. She's got Tonys and nominated five times for Oscars. Five times. That's a big star. I think for, for uh, Roland to walk back and tell her, uh, we're not having you on the show would have been uncomfortable for him. Yeah, but be a professional. There's no need to be sobbing in here and just crying about something like that. It's just ridiculous. I mean, what, what is he, two years old? Ooh, wow. Wow. Two years oh, old. Shit. That's got to hurt a little. Whoa. Yeah, does that hurt a little bit, Roland? It's like that South Park character, like a Skittles yelling at you. You kind of like, uh huh? Oh, like a retarded kid? Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, the, oh the, a little effeminate. Yeah. Wait, he made, it, he, he made his he made limp. a limp wrist. Yeah. Uh, that's what uh, Roland just did. Mm. A little limp wrist. And then uh, Fez debuts his Roland impression. Oh, this one is actually, I just smile. I like Jesus. If it, if it takes him this long to be funny, I'm like, go ahead. Oh. Wow. <laughs> hasn't been funny in a long time. Oh, right, Jimmy? Oh. Oh, he hasn't. Oh. Even management go, oh, look, he's actually talking and being funny. You're talking oh. about Fez? Oh, oh. Yeah, that's wow. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> That's what they said back there. Management did? Well, somebody did. They were commenting? Yeah, they're like, oh, look, he's talking. He's funny. Because <laughs> oh. they didn't know it had been so long? Yeah. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That's, that's uncalled for, I think. Shit. Wow. Um, Let's go over to a style you're on Fez. Hi. First of all, Fez, I just want to say I'm sorry about your dad's death. But... Now, why bring that up? <laughs> it's well, so um, long. The course it's... It, you know, it stimulates something and says that maybe he's he's aware of. I'm sorry. But that's but a long I'm time calling. ago now. Let him get over All right. it. All right. Well, that's fine. But the fact about this Roland thing, mm -hmm. I mean, the guy does a hell of a job. He does. He came back to ONA. They needed him. He's doing phenomenal work, getting great guests to come in, and then oh, Fez has the nerve, wait a second, Fez wah, has the nerve to wah, start carrying on, listen yeah, to that, wah. Fez has the nerve to go ahead and carry <laughs> on about Roland Clark, when they insinuated his job is in jeopardy, his job might be oh, in let jeopardy. Him go. Do they book, they, they book Twitchells? <laughs> <laughs> That's where Twitchells went. He sounded like the cowardly lion. <laughs> yeah. Sure did. Oh, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. put him up. Oh God. You don't like that. I hate it so much. <laughs> we gotta have Twitchells. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. His job might be Oh, let him go see the Wizard of Oz for some courage. Why don't you? Uh -huh. Oh, you got to be kidding me, I'm lady. I'm not kidding. I am telling oh, you. you you're gotta, nuts. you got to at least feel a little bad for... Boo! Uh, Fez. Boo! Fez. Oh, let me, let me roll up my pant legs. The tears are getting so deep in here. Oh, not that deep. Boo! I thought he was going into an asthma attack. <laughs> wow. You're going into an asthma attack? You think he uh, sounded like you? Yeah. You like that, that Ron? He kind of did. Yeah. He's doing impressions. Kind of like it? Yeah, I mean, if they didn't prep for the show, they need this. So, so be it. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn. Twitchells? You want to hear it? Yeah, let's hear his impression oh, of the Carolina. I know, I know Anthony enjoys it. He likes this. it. Oh, do I? Anthony really he, enjoys it. I like the video of it more, though. You know? Yeah. Uh, How many times did we make him do that, by the way? At least six. Yeah, let's hear it. I, I mean, it's not yeah. bad. Put them all. Oh, God. I, this is cringe inducing. Iraq's got the audio. Let's go with the audio just because it'll sound oh, better sure, for the sure. people out there. Yeah. Even though the video <laughs> itself is terrific. <laughs> Ah, get out of there, you tin can. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you hit me for? I 
I said I'm for him, but you tried to. <laughs> I was just kidding. <laughs> Faggot. Dude, you are so fucking gay. <laughs> oh, think my friends have an uh, Oh, God. What's wrong, Ant? Oh, that's, that's good stuff. That is so awful. It's just over the top. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, well, that will do it, Carly. Yes, a boys band. Do you hear me? Vera City's going to have their boys band, and they're going. All right, all right. Oh, God. He's just bombing. Uh, yeah, let's. Uh... He's just bombing left and right. All over his face gets all distorted when he does that impression. Going back to uh, oh, Ron and Fez. Uh, Fez continues with his Roland impression. Let's go over here to uh, B and Yonkers. You're Ron and Fez. Yeah, I would like to say, how the fuck is Fez wagging on Roland when he broke down over talking about a fucking blueberry <laughs> last week? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's wrong? Uh, it's, just, uh, show, it's me being Roland. crying about something. <laughs> Always crying about something, says. Well, Boo hoo hoo! Boo hoo hoo! Oh no! The woman who was fantastic in Fatal Attraction may not be on the show. Oh, boo hoo hoo! It was a good movie, Fez. Boo -hoo. Five Oscar nominations. Oh, he's just a nut. It, you know what? It may be time to uh, lock Roland up. Whoa. I don't even know what that means. Time, uh, nut hut time. Thank you, Ronnie. <clears throat> What do you mean? Do you think Ron's responsible? What? You said thank you, Ronnie. No, because that fell flat. Oh, okay. It fell <laughs> incredibly <laughs> flat. I got you. So thank God he acknowledged that. <laughs> wow. Uh, Roland, back to you. Roland, I, comment? Uh, nah, I don't want any more meetings. Bye. Well, we made be, you be kinder to Fez. Make sure he made, his wait, you've had meetings that you have to be kinder to Fez? Oh, God, yeah, after the last one. Wow, Four really? Months. Yeah. With Who? HR? Interesting. No, with okay. um, they're like, he, he's... the cute guys. And yeah. I don't mean cute in that no, way. No, no, I mean, the other ones. The like, other definition. They're, of they're cute. like, he's sensitive. You got to be more, even though if he does stuff to you, you have to kind of like brush it off. Aww. So after the fourth meeting, I'm like, I'm tired. Hey, you got wow. the sex. It's the sex man has the Ron and Fez interns uh, blueberry song. Oh, yes. But why would you play it? Are Fez we confusing like people, it. or should we continue with the Ron and Fez audio continue first? Continue with that, and then hit the okay. blueberry oh, song. Okay. Good. Uh, another of the many uh, impressions by Fezzy as he continues to attack Roland. Look like an pretty asshole. much unprovoked. Uh, let's go over here to Mike in Albany. You're Ron and Fez. Hey, Fezzy, don't you think you could cut, cut Roland just one ounce of slack? No, not even an ounce. Not even an ounce. You heard that blubbering on the air. Ooh. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Having to listen to that. Um, <laughs> let, uh, wow. um, <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Yeah. He's saying uh. that. And he cries like a bitch. He wants people for a mask. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, Damn. So, yeah. Roland, I'll ask you this. Yes. How many times have you cried on the Opie and Anthony show? Zero. Well, wow, one, wow, one, wow, one, wow, one, wow, one, wow, one, wow, one. You got to take responsibility <laughs> one. for one. I take the one. Yes. <laughs> You're uh, allowed one. How many? I hope. <laughs> how many times has uh, Fezzy cried on Ron and Fez? I lost count. <laughs> has he cried more than three times? Fez? <laughs> In <Wow>. the show. <laughs> <laughs> this week. Per show. Has Tuesday. he cried three times this week? I'm not that? sure. I can't say he that. He cried once when he left the show. And people had to condolence. Like, are you okay? Having to listen to that. Um, let's go to Jake. Jake in San Antonio. You're on Fez. Hey, uh, buddy. Hey, I agree with Fez. Roland sounds like a filthy, cock-sucking faggot. Isn't he? Am I right, Fez? Uh, Roland is just a big baby is what the problem is. Boo-hoo-hoo. hoo Things are going wrong. boo hoo What were you thinking, Roland? Um... Let's go. And that bothers you, Fez. Oh, yes, it bothers me. Come in, do your <laughs> job, go to work. Um, Johnny, you're on the run of Fez show. Fez, you're back. I never went anywhere. Uh, James in Missouri, you're on the run of Fez. All right. Fez, first of all, you hardly ever bring anything to the show. Ron carries the fucking show. Now all of a sudden... <laughs> <laughs> well, good thing you didn't say that to Roland. Roland always does more than you. Could you hold on a second? Hold on. 
uh, Pepper Hex, I need facilities in here with a mop. There's still a lot of rolling tears on the floor. I don't want anyone to slip. Oh. <laughs> rolling. Watch out. He, he took exception. I could see on Roland's face he wanted to respond when Fez just said he was a big baby. I saw on Roland's face he took exception to that remark. No, yeah. just when management calls me, I talk to them. I confront them. I don't go in the corner and start shaking and crying to the management and run away from them. <laughs> so he doesn't have to be talked to. Ooh. Ooh. He, says, Ooh. Wow. he does that. Wow. Like, oh, can we talk to you? He says shaking. And they go, oh, never mind, never mind. We'll, we'll talk to you later. Wow. wow. Man. Ooh. This is like, that now it's getting personal. Comfortable. And now the gloves are off. Wow. <laughs> this wow. is like the warrior and Hogan. Yeah. This is crazy. This is some uh, unbelievable stuff. Adam. Ronnie D, what's yeah. up, man? Hey, Fez, how the fuck are you going to rip on Roland? Every time I turn on your show, you're always whining and crying. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> <laughs> you had me confused with Roland from the o a show, sir. I don't know what has gotten into Fez today, why he's feeling stronger. And by the way, I want to see how Opie tries to turn this back on me. Oh. Because Opie's Whoa. got, you know, Jay Moore got in Opie's fucking kitchen about, oh, Ron's a puppet master. No one can control Fez. No one knows when Fez is going to have a good day. No one's going to uh, know when Fez is going to have a bad day. I don't I, even know. I will know this. When somebody hits the floor, when somebody most of all needs help, that's when Fez starts to stomp. <laughs> this is as old as life itself. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ronnie. <laughs> Ronnie. We discussed the uh, Jay Moore part of this, uh, I think, in the after show. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ronnie was trying to throw me off the scent. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very suspicious of Ronnie being the, the puppet master. Yeah. And then he threw in my head that Jay Moore got to me, and I was like, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. I'll wait a minute. And then I'm like, wait a minute. Now I know what he's doing. He's doing the puppet master thing. That was without kind of the even, puppet master thing. Yeah, without even Deflecting. realizing. Right. Yeah. So now I'm back on to him. Pull the strings. I'm back on. Pull the strings. I'm not saying he's the puppet master. I, yeah. I just got some suspicions. Yeah. And now the Jay Moore thing. No, no, that's that's over with. Smart. I'm back on the track. Back Fez on track. starts on crying. It's like it, Fez starts crying. It's like the, it, the whole sky is raining. <laughs> wow, Chip, that was uncalled for. I mean, literally, we never never called for anything like that. Roland, I really appreciate you helping this bit along, by the way. It's been great. I'm, I'm just so tired this week. So. Oh, this is... oh. He's holding a lot of stuff in. But without your uh, yeah. input, this pretty much just sits there like a bad <laughs> fucking fart. <laughs> you just idiot. Just permeating the room <laughs> right. with a stench of nothingness. <laughs> right. It sits here like a box of phones. <laughs> That's crazy. Box of phones. See, box we're using phone. the audio as a catalyst to, to get well, you, you involved yeah. here. You have to listen to the little things that he said, though, because he's taking. Oh, Roland? Yeah, he's taking some pretty brutal shots at Fez, but he just kind of mumbles them and shrugs his shoulders, so you can't really Roland? pick up on it. Comment, comment, Roland, comment. Uh, I have comment. nothing today. It's just, I don't know. He said Fez shakes in a corner when management. It's true, though. That's what they all say. And the management like, oh, stay away from him. He's crying. <laughs> oh my god. They do that means they're like, who wants to talk to him? Because nobody does. <laughs> because he says a pain in the ass. That is the truth. Right, enough is. about me. We're talking about Fez here. <laughs> I know. That's when they all say. Someone goes, do you want to talk to Fez? They go, fuck. <laughs> fuck. They go, do you want to do it? They're like, no, it's your turn. They're like, oh, Jesus Christ. But they're gonna, they're gonna, it's your turn. They're going to spin it on that show. I'm sure Ronnie will. That yeah. that means people are scared of Fez. Is that what's happening here? They just don't deal with this shit. They're like, fuck this. <laughs> they it's like a cop in the, in the end of his shift. Like, should I pull that car over? Nah, fuck it. Doesn't I'm gonna go home. Matter. So they don't want to deal with his that? emotions? Yeah, I think so. That's what it seems like back there. You see the three of them talking. Who wants to talk to him? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, you're getting really like, oh. Is that bad? Yeah, I think you're gonna, I think there's gonna be some tears today. <laughs> if, 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 well, if, if someone think... hears this, there's going to be some tears. I, I figure if I have to have a meeting about this, I might as well make it worth it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I figure. Fuck it now. I need worth it. I don't want to, like, you, I skipped over this, skipped over that. I, got, I said it. You've been around us way too long. I'm tired. That is the God's honest truth. 
Wow. Yeah, before you might as well go all, all in. Before, the other three were like, you almost said it, but you didn't. And I had said that for 20 minutes every other time. Is this true shit that goes on? Yeah, yeah the I, last one I did. I had Ro- to say it three, four times. Roland's just, closer to the... But why aren't you allowed to kind of do this type of thing on the radio? Oh, well, no, just like the Fez is sensitive. Like the last time when I made fun of him, they got to eat more of this, more of that. Then the next day, can we talk to you real quick for two seconds? But why would you make fun of him, though? No, if I just he didn't what, do anything to you. Oh, no, no, I didn't make fun of him. I just said about the publicist what the publicist said. And then they said, you, you shouldn't say that about Fez. You shouldn't do this. Should what, do I don't understand what was said that I just upset said that, him that you had to be called into a meeting. Uh, I said he um, creeped out and annoyed the publicist. That, oh, that, that's what he said oh, to me. Shit. He creeped, <laughs> yeah, he creeped no, no, out. You don't know where this all began? Yeah, that's no, what happened. I have yeah. no Literally, clue. The publicist goes, Roland, can't see you? He goes, Who's that creepy guy? He's creeping me out, man. Oh, no. This is where it all began. That's where it began. What was he doing that creeped out the publicist? What did every the publicist time, say? Every, I heard every, he was just hanging around. I don't know. I was no, not there. It's right. just like, he, I'm way in on this whole thing. I've heard. Like, text on the phone, and then he looked up fez was this way then he went to sit down then fez was that way <sighs> then he went to take a call fez popped up over there and the publicist sat you down and said what's going on he was in his eye line yeah all the time <laughs> he goes hey buddy can you come here he goes who's who's that over there i said oh he wants to talk to you about this client he goes, just tell him just email me i just don't want to talk to anybody right now I'm like all right said it but then he kept on doing it then walked up to him and talked to him and then he got a little annoyed, the post says. But then he was just having a bad day, too. Ooh. I just said that. And then all of a sudden, it blew up to something. Way bigger. Way bigger. Yeah. And then every day was like, can we see you for two minutes? Well, Fez believes that Roland, at the time, not anymore. Yeah. yeah. At the time, Fez believed that Roland had some kind of, was developing some kind of conspiracy against him. That yeah. he was spreading rumors. I was the devil. Oh, boy. And it's really? been escalating ever since. Yeah, and I. So and, when when Fezzi heard that Roland, uh, you know, broke down, you know. Yeah, then, then they obviously, said, obviously he's going to take his shot. He's and, and the manager goes, "Well, if you help book unmasked, we could put this to bed." I go, "What did I do wrong?" They go, "You did nothing wrong, but if you help out to do this, you can put that to bed." And I, just to, for everybody, I agree to everything. And then at the end of another meeting, another meeting. So now I'm like, if if I have to go to another one, I got to make it worth it. So I have to sit there for twenty minutes. And go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what would you like to, to say, then, uh, that you hadn't said previous about um, oh, Fez Watley? I, I, oh, oh, I mean, I have nothing against him. I'm just tired today. <laughs> it is. I mean, whatever. Just, I mean. You're just a little tired, yeah. yeah. Tired yeah. of the bullshit? Or you, you mean like tired, like, <laughs> tired, tired nap, of the nap? Or tired of the bullshit? Yeah, well, I think it's we're all tired total, of the bullshit. Yeah. yeah. All right. It's total package. Well, I'm I'm sure uh, that the Jim Henson and Fez show will uh, will. Uh, oh, because of all the puppets. What? See? Or the AIDS? No. <laughs> <God damn. laughs> I want to thank Cigars and Scotch for that. Uh, yeah. Now that calling is... it the Jim Henson and Fez show. Jim Henson was a puppet master. Well, some, he he some was say, a puppet yes. master. He yes. uh, he Literally worked he worked strings. the puppets. Yes. Yeah. So. He knew how to work the puppets. Had his hand up. I'm all sure we asses. haven't heard yes. the last of this one. Oh no, nothing. Yeah, yeah Fez is not going to be happy that, that you the know, publicist story was brought up. Roland, I, I really want to uh, hopefully still save the last 20 minutes of radio. Um, <laughs> Fezzy was doing an impression of you. Would you like to do your impression of Fezzy? Uh, sure. I think it's only fair. Oh, yeah. And maybe oh, it'll oh, save. I'll do, I'll do. <clears throat> Hello, Ron Skittles. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys? Oh my God, you look fancy, Anthony. How are you? That nice black hat. <laughs> I, uh... Oh, let me cry. <laughs> Chanel's not on sale. <laughs> Go fuck yourselves. I'm tired. <laughs> Get a dick in the ass and then call me on Monday. Then you'll be happy. Well, we don't know what Fezzy does. That has to be said. I honestly have no fucking idea. Oh, no. No idea. When... When are they going to play that's this? What, what is going because on? That's fine, they, too. Whatever. When whatever. are they going to play this on the Ron and Fez show? Because I have to tune in to hear, <laughs> to hear the tears. On it, Roland has taken a turn since he broke down because Honest Roland... Because he realized he was keeping too much inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're, so, we're dealing with you, honest Roland. But yeah. you didn't do the impression of Fez crying. He did the impress, impression of Roland crying. How would that sound like? Uh, for Fez, it's like... <laughs> um, Fez, management's coming. Oh, wait. <laughs> They're gone. Anyway, Ron, let me tell you. <laughs> are you saying those are crocodile tears? 
Yes. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Rolling as Fez. If what Batman character would you? Oh no. Oh, would you? Be- <laughs> Why did you do this to me, Roddy B? Why did you stop OP? Anthony's involved. He's driving too fast home. We must call Anthony. With Jimmy. With Jimmy. He loves me. Oh, Roland Fez. I was just asking you what character you would Leave be for the alone. Batman show. The That's- Stinger Brothers are on line one. <laughs> Help me. Help I- me. I'm just trying to get to know you a little bit. You don't understand, OP. I am Fez. Oh, no. I don't know what to do anymore. I'll be the character of Robin. Do you know what they say about Robin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, my God. I was just trying to ask you what character you would be, man. Not... Stop it! I wasn't trying to make you Stop cry. It! Oh, this is not I would, good. I would say I would, would be the Joker, because, you know, a little fucking sociopath shit Dear going God, on. Dear God, why doesn't the man stop? <laughs> <laughs> I might have to call Matt and Trey. You might, you might have a voice for South Park there. <laughs> oh, okay, now we made it into uh, something. Uh, uh. All right. Wow. Oh, the sex man has Ron Fez. No, don't play that song. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we play the original Blueberry Incident so this makes sense? Oh, yeah, I guess we have to, huh? You got the original Blueberry Incident from the Ron Fez show? All set. Here the it is. Blueberry Incident. Uh, yeah. Listen, listen for a heavy breathing. Listen, yeah. it, listen for a door closing. Uh, supposedly that's Ron leaving the situation. I don't know. I was not there that day, but that's what has been told to us. Here's the famous blueberry incident once again. <laughs> You're on a health food kick. I guess so, yeah. Now, the blueberry is one that can't work on its own. It has to have something with it, like the kiwi. It's uh, not a, a standal- standalone fruit. Um, The voice uh, is going to get the uh, spot after uh, the Super Bowl. <laughs> the breathing, so, the door shutting, it's all up. classic. So it gets better. They, they're they allowed interns. We're not. So yeah. It must we're be still nice. not allowed. But they're working on it. They're making progress was the f- last thing I heard about four months ago. Yeah. Um, one of their interns decided that... Uh, on his first day, this is intern no name. He hasn't even named yet. And on his first day as an intern... He came to them apparently and said, "I made a song, <laughs> a blueberry called song, Blueberry Feels." So let's listen. Oh my God! Blueberry I guess this is not allowed feels. on the Ron and Fez show. Do they play it? They played. I've heard it once. I don't know. You know, it was just this week. And then Fez uh-huh. said, "You're gonna have a long intern." What a get up and go gumption kind of an intern. God huh? bless the kid. Wow. Can we have him? Oh, we that's right. Oh, You're not allowed. Yeah. No. yeah. Uh, here's the song. <laughs> it's a it's a long song, it's but you, I'll tell you right the fuck now. If yeah. we were allowed to have interns, I'd grab that guy tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's a really good song parody. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. But Fezzi said he's going to have a long internship now? Well, to come in your first day and do a song parody making light of Fezzi. Why not make I think light you gotta, of it? you got to make gotta, light of something that was serious on the show. And you got to take uh, what's going on in the show and not take it personally and just go like, wow, this kid's got some talent. Well, I Fed think. Does, Fez doesn't like the fact that he's... Been embarrassed by that disrespected. incident, yeah, yeah. And all of a sudden, this this new kid just comes in and is just mocking him new, to get everybody new, on his side. New kid on the block, right? Yeah, he's he on almost, a blame fest. He almost in. killed their intern, Fast Freddy, a few months back. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, he was a bit intoxicated at the time. Yeah, I remember yeah. that one. Wow, that's really good though. Oof. Bravo to that kid who has no name yet. That's a really good parody. That's his name. No name. No name. Right. All right, we'll. Uh... So that's that's his name. Right. <laughs> so he has a name. It's called No Name. Uh, a there's a DJ named No Name, though. He's yeah. in San Francisco. It doesn't matter. You know, I know him. He's a friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, is he the guy oh, that used to that. work with the girl? Yeah, with Sarah. Yeah, he's great. All right. And then uh, Paris Hilton. What about this cunt? We had this broad on. Yeah. And, um, man, she's showing everyone now what she's made of. Uh, yeah. Extremely shallow. She's definitely not um, coming off well <laughs> for somebody that's trying to. Plug her show. That's bombing. Look, she was very lucky to be an A-lister. Extremely mm. lucky to be in that uh, that whole world. 
Because yeah. the fact is, we saw it for ourselves, this broad has nothing to offer. Not a goddamn thing. And it was it was proven with this reality show of hers, which was just there. She has no entertain, entertainment value. Um, she can't speak. She just can't communicate. And then when she gets frustrated, she looks to the side and, and, and looks for uh, a publicist to help her out. Uh, That's what she did on our show. When when we got into some questioning, which wasn't we weren't trying to beat her up, Ann was asking some good questions. questions. And she turned all the way to the right, all mad, yeah. looking at her publicist like your job is to you save me. Yeah. How about you save yourself and talk your way out of this stuff? Dude, you're a talent. You're a scary fucking talent. Well, she did the same thing for the guys on GMA, I think. Yeah. And the the video is all over the place. We got the audio of it, but this is how it went down. Uh, Paris Hilton having another kind of tizzy and walking off. A show. Do you worry at times that the people who have followed in your footsteps, uh, like Kim Kardashian, are overshadowing you? No, not at all. There's been some talk about the ratings in the show being low. Um, has that upset you? No. Never a feeling of. Do you ever worry about? Do you ever worry about your moment having passed? <laughs> you want to wrap up? Could I, when I was curious about one thing going back to... What followed was a long, heated conversation with Hilton and her publicist. Ah! Uh, <laughs> we had... The publicist. Of course. You know, uh, what? 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 I'm what's, supposed what's to put the, the kid gloves on? Right, what's the problem? What a fucking piece of shit. Uh, just go away, Paris Hilton. What you don't see, uh, obviously, on the radio is uh, after he asked the interviewer asked that question, mm -hmm. she just kind of stares blankly and then glares over all at the, the way publicist. to her left. And so oh, that's why yeah, that's why she's not me. saying anything because she's just staring at the publicist, yeah. like, "Hey, you're gonna, you know, what are you gonna do?" What's help me, help me, publicist. Yeah, what's the problem? You never had substance, yeah, whatsoever, stop and your time it. is up. Kim Kardashian took your fucking thunder. And uh, Paris Hilton introduced the world to uh, yeah. Kim Kardashian. And Kim Kardashian is the same type of broad. She has nothing to offer. Nothing to offer. She's really hot. absolutely. fucking -lutely. She's beautiful. But past that, <sighs> Kim Kardashian has nothing to offer the world of entertainment. Nothing. That's her walking off? Yeah. See, that's the oh, question. Oh, she looks over at the publicist. <laughs> you want to wrap up? And then she walks off. PR convinced her to make good. I've been in this business for 15 years now, so it's been a very long time. And just like any other business person or someone in the industry, it's always important to reinvent yourself. Smart move, Paris. What have you done? Wow, you see the look in her Smart eyes, though? Smart move, she's Paris. She's fucking pissed. Because her whole life she's been just coddled yeah. by her parents and everyone around her. Because she dress in her panties and bra... Go out to clubs where a paparazzi was everywhere, drink, snort coke, do whatever the fuck she wanted to do. And that was like, holy shit, look at this wild bitch. And now, what is she reinventing herself into what? She thinks she's a businesswoman? She's not a businesswoman. I business run 17 woman. businesses. Do you really? Do you're, you? No, you don't. No, you don't. You're a figurehead for a lot of businesses. Yeah, and, you're a face. And you probably got some good business people behind you. And if she's not going to be that hoary fucking sex tape, uh, uh, you know, partying girl, no one wants to see her because that's what she did. That's why you're famous. That's why you're famous in the first place. And when the guy said, do you think that's passed you by? He's saying it because you're not seeing you on the cover of all these rag magazines anymore with your fucking cunt hanging out coming out of a limo. Like you said, famous for being a partier and right. uh, having a sex tape. That's so it. don't get pissed when uh, someone calls you out on it. And and she had a really good reality show because of Nicole Richie. Yeah. I love The Simple Life. I really yeah. did for the time. Which, I by the way, the she said uh, uh, she, that the Paris that you saw in The Simple Life, the airhead, bubbly baby voice yeah. girl, that's just a character. That's that a character does. like Mr. Yeah, Amos exactly. does. Well, and then when the cameras are off, that's the real Paris. Well, then she should <laughs> go back to being the character. Because what we got was a dud. Yeah. A please. really boring fucking person. Could you bring the character back, please? That, because I don't like this. That seems to have no original thoughts in her head. No. Nothing. 
She says zilch. Who's protected by a lot of fucking people. She's a zilch, and, it, and we were vindicated because she's a zilch on every fucking show she goes on. And then she blew off Sirius XM because of us? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, we yeah. did nothing that day. No, of course not. And, and she's proving it, obviously. And this shows. With this. Yeah. If anybody were to give us any shit about what we did and, oh, she left and we missed an interview, uh, look at what she's been doing since. Horrid interviews. She walks out because a, a guy's asking her questions that aren't uh, uh, milk toasty. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. God, I can't stand her. I'm going to play the rest of the clip I have over here. We played the, you know, yeah. this is a little different. And her publicist. Well, I don't want all this being used. After which she agreed oh. to speak with me again. I've been in this business for okay. 15. Then we get that. I don't want this being used. Well, tough shit. What? Yeah, then figure out what you want to say. Right. Before you get on there. Right. Have an answer, dummy. Be combative. Do something. Don't just walk off. No.